is the dog in bark. Big man who doesn't stand a chance when you'll be riding Randy. It fires in spurts. It fires in spurts. It fires in spurts. Here, Mr. Duncan Duncan. It fires in spurts. Punch your banker and your master. But I'm a shocker too. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to Wide Chat. How you doing? Welcome. We're back to Professor Layton. We're going to solve a puzzle and die trying. How y'all doing? Welcome. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, Get those jams going. Get those jams. Listen to those jams. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for the drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's real crunchy. <laughs> it seems crunchier than the uh, previous. That's fine. <laughs> We have so much room to spread out and spam emotes. Hello. Hello, Professor. It's me. There you go. Oh, it's, it's, oh the low the low fidelity jams are imminent. Uh, how y'all doing? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I did stream a, uh, a, a, a playthrough of uh, Curious Village, in case you're like, what? The second one. So you can go watch that. It's on the VOD channel. Um, a Twitch error? Oh, no. Hell yeah, sir. Oh, you got the Todd motes. Todd's got good, good emotes. Uh, welcome, everyone. How you doing? Um, I did have a uh, uh, thunk and thunk on BTTV, and I removed them because uh, the BT BTTV emotes you can't add the modifiers onto, so we couldn't squish down Luke. And that nothing makes me happier than seeing Luke all squished down. So I had to remove off BTTV. So if you're using off that, I'm sorry, but I give it and I take it away. Uh, look, he died. <laughs> he went to us. What'd you think of it overall? Oh, I've played them before. Um, that crunchy Moby Clip aesthetic, right? Um, I, I played all these back in the day, like around when they came out. Um, so these are second time playthroughs for me. But, no spoilers. Uh, because these games all have mysteries on top of the puzzles. And I don't want to ruin that for anyone who's never seen this before. Because every latent game has some amount of nonsense. That just makes me mad to think about. And this game is no exception. So I hope we go, we go in smiling all the way. The boy must be squished. <laughs> he must be squished. Floors, yeah, that, I was gonna say real quick that like if you missed Curious Village, it doesn't really matter. Cause the plot, I mean, as far as I remember, there's not much plot that like connects the games other than, you know, this one takes place after this one. Um, but one of the exceptions is that Flora becomes a, a bit of a recurring character from the end of the first one. That's about it. May I have a preview of me Space Salt, Professor? Yeah, that's good. Also, for everyone who's like, I can't wait to deprive Luke from more furniture, um, every game has multiple different mini-games. I, I, I don't think the furniture one comes back. I don't remember what's in this one. We'll find out. Um, they're similar, though, where it's like, oh, like, you know, Luke does this thing and Layton does this thing, but... I don't know if we'll get to deprive Luke from having a chair, but that's maybe for the best. Is this the T one? Is this the T one? Is it tea time? Oh my god. Holy shit. Luke will never get furniture. That's canon now. Exactly. That's the point. You finished the mobile replay game. Nice! Tea confirmed. I hope everyone has a nice hot cup of tea. Actually, maybe not a hot cup of tea. Here in Los Angeles, slash probably more places than just LA, it's like almost 100 degrees out today. So, I hope everyone's staying cool and maybe having an iced tea. That sounds better than a hot tea. It's so fucking hot. It was, like, nice out yesterday. <laughs> it sucks. But it's supposed to get be cool again in a couple days. It's just, like, a weird heat spike. It's I, I called it a summer jump scare. Because uh, you look at the 10-day uh, the, the forecast, it's like, ah, and then it goes back down. Uh, and so that's fun. It snowed today. Wow. It's April. How's that, that hot? Uh, LA is a desert. I mean, the question is, why is it that hot? everywhere but we know the answer <laughs> it's um, puzzles and good music we're gonna do it and get ready to watch me be a head empty and not know how to do two plus two so hope you're ready for that. 15 year downpour nice la is a heat dish it is also if i had more time uh before this this is uh, yeah I, I, well, it doesn't matter um uh, 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 so, at least, like, I know it's one of my favorite things. I know it's one of game's favorite things. There's a gif of Luke doing a little head bobble that's really, really good. And I wanted to turn that into a, a BTTV emote, but I didn't have time. So if someone wants to do it, 
you you will for I will forever be in your debt. Uh, but also no worries. I I can just do it probably tonight. Um, but if someone does want to do it, just be like I I'm on it. So then we don't have like ten people doing it potentially. Gam's got it. Gam's got the. It's such a he's vibing. Look at him vibe. Look at the boy vibe. Watch him. Sorry, chat. You can't be wide, chat. Look at look at him go. There's probably a higher quality version of it out there. It doesn't matter. It'd be real small. Uh, but yeah, like, ugh. Ugh, it just has to be square in 112 by 112. But anyway, I don't mean to be like, hey, do my job for me. But just also, like, if someone wants to do it. Otherwise, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, there you go. Thought I'd mention it. Throw it out into the void. Um, he said to music, uh... I mean, like, play this music over it? I mean, I have to fiddle with my... Streamlab stuff. It's fine. It'd be real small, like Luke. Yeah, I was gonna say Logos. Oh my god. Hook my my arms up to like robots that move my arms based off of chat. And then Twitch plays Barry builds a Lego. That'd be good. That'd be great. Good news! I attached my exoskeleton to Twitch chat. And then my arms pop off. I quap a Lego! Yeah. Uh is my instruction manual handy? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're good. Eat the Lego. Yeah, it's just they keep making me eat the Legos. Uh, what? What? Was there something else? I don't remember. If there's something else I was gonna mention before stream, probably. It'll come back to me if it was. Uh, but anyway, hope everyone's doing good. And we're gonna do it. Like yesterday, good timing then. Uh, this Layton was recommended that I stream by Clipping 3, Anonymous, Rage and Glory, and the Immortal Unicorn. Thank you for saying more Layton. Specifically, do this one. Some of them were just like any and all latent. Some were like, make sure you do them in order. Some was just like, just the original trilogy, please. I actually got a couple recommendations to not play. Uh, whatever the newest one was. <laughs> They're like, that one sucks. Do not. Here's a recommendation to not. Which I appreciate. I don't know if we'll even... That's a lot of games away, even if we get to that point. But, uh, what's in the box? I know. Also, this game's called Pandora's Box in other regions. I don't know why they called it Diabolical in the States, but, you know. We have to mix, 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 mix things up for fun. Oh, one of the things I was going to mention. The February highlights are out. In case you missed it, uh, Gam went ham. Uh, far more ham than was necessary for several bits. Uh, and I, It's great. Uh, and you should go watch the February highlights. You can do it right now, but then you'll miss the first hour or so of the game. Uh, but it's on the VOD channel. There's a handy dandy playlist of all the... Oh, I don't know what Pandora's box is. Hey, Todd. Oh my god. Sup. Wait, is- was Todd's raid message sup? That is- that is a very wholesome raid message. Hey, what's up? I'm about to start playing Professor Lane in the Diabolical Box. You're just in time. Oh god, how you doing? I think it was Mystery Room that everyone was saying stay away. If I remember correctly, but... Uh, yeah, I just started stream. Hello, how was your stream, Todd? We beat up all the streets while enraged? Hell yeah. That sounds like a good Todd stream. Also, Todd, I saw I saw the head bopping emote. Um, what was it? What was it? Head bob. It's real good. Look at him go. It's good for this. Mystery room's an odd one. Excited. Nice. Uh, but yeah, anyway. It doesn't play like Layton at all. That's weird. Yeah, it's a good jam. It's a good jam. <laughs> The Kurzak jig gets me so good, Chester. Thank you. <laughs> it's such a powerful move. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna get caught up alerts. We're gonna solve a puzzle, and I'm gonna get a headache and be like, I need to stop. They asked me to do simple math, and I'm not here for it. Um, oh good, Gam, Gam posted the Luke bobbing back and forth in the Discord. Uh, I must go have fun. Thank you, Todd. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Appreciate it. Ah! Screaming. Uh, let me get caught up. Mav Modla, thanks for 29 months. Welcome back. Bagel teeth, 100 bits. Riddle me this, barman. If there were no food left, what could people do? Uh, be hungry. Uh, Bagel teeth, thanks for 100 bits. Country people could eat their forest preserves, and city people could eat their traffic jams. Oh. Thank you, the Riddler. Triumphant Obtuse, thanks for 22 months. Hey, chat, you're looking cute today. It's true, I was there. So, I got thank you for the hammy. What is in the Tesseract? <laughs> Luke Whitwidgey, what is in the Tesseract? What? Professor? Space Succubus, thanks for 30 months. That's like a lot. In other news, I'm working on a Game Grumps compilation. Just want to see your editing work from back then. It's an absolute joy. Well, thank you. And it's very kind of you to say. I appreciate it. 
And thank you for the, uh, the 30 months. That's an outhouse key. You can shit, you can fart, you know, do all kinds of things in there. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Uh, PK Curb Stomp, thanks for five months. God, that is, ugh, every time that name. Ugh. Ugh. Eating rice. Eating rice? I don't remember eating rice. I believe you, but like, I don't know what you're referring to. PK Curb Stomp, thanks for five months. Diabolical Box, my first latent experience really enjoying reliving these games. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. They're great. Space Queen Leisha, thanks for 19 months. Now, now, Luke, this hamster needs furniture more than you do. You'll have to share. Professor, he's too small for that couch. Now, now, Luke. It's important a gentleman always knows to put a hamster before the horse. I don't know what that means. What's your favorite Layton game? Um, I mean, they're all good in terms of just like, oh, they just have fun, satisfying puzzles and silly characters. I prefer the DS games just because the aesthetic, I think, is so much stronger, and I don't know if it completely translates to 3D. If I get through all of them, we'll get- we'll probably get to the 3D ones. Well, at least do the first one on the 3DS. And you'll be like, oh, I see what you mean. Or maybe people will be like, yeah, no, it's fine. Just, I- I feel like the 2D art is so charming in these games. And gives it so much character. And the 3D, it just doesn't quite do it for me. Um... Also, they're, like, animated and stuff, so, like, that's good. But I feel like the static posing is just so strong with that art style. I don't even feel like the trade-off is worth it. For, like, 3D models we can animate, and they're like, doo 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 but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, I mean... I feel like the, 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 maybe the better way to judge a Layton is how mad I am watching the credits roll. And I feel like Unwound Future takes the cake. Um, from what I remember, because all of them, the details are, are hazy. Um, I think I remember the main plot points of this one. Unwound Future, I think, was the one where it's like, I think I need to stop playing these for my blood pressure's sake. There's some nonsense. I mean, it's called Unwound Future. It's a game about time travel. So you know it's fucky, so it's like, I don't even need to tell you anything more than the title and that there's a clock in the logo and you're already probably mad and you should be. It's completely insane. Uh, and, and, and I, I remember being very mad, so maybe that's my favorite, but that'll be the third in the series. That'll be after this one, so yell at me if you want to see that one. The titles are very good. Timey-wimey, very timey-wimey. They look horrifying. I don't know if they look horrifying, it's just... They ironically feel flatter in 3D. But it makes sense, because it's like, oh, it's the 3DS. You can slide up the slider and look at their models in 3D. I'm like, but they could have been cardboard cutouts. 2D cutouts in a 3D town. Make the environment 3D and the characters, whatever. I don't work for level 5. I don't call the shots. I barely know how to do anything. All I, do, all I know how to make is a, a 3D model that can ragdoll. Which, to be fair, is a very good time. Um, like the loading screens, yeah, oh my god, those were really satisfying, all the, the cutout layers. They looked improved in Azran, like, see, yeah! Yeah, I played Azran. I think I have it on the shelf behind me, but, yeah. Anyway, Professor Layton Ragdoll. <laughs> yeah. You mean like Danganronpa? Yeah, see, I've never played a Danganronpa. Maybe I should go watch Gam streams of those. I caught bits and pieces, and then Gam was just like, I can't explain what's happening. And I just left. <laughs> he's like, if you want to play these, these are spoilers. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. And he's like, I don't know what's happening. And I was like, great. Okay. <laughs> so maybe someday. Pardue, one, two, three. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes. I hope you, you, got, you got a thunk and a thunk. Two great tastes that go great together. They're delectable little emotes. Best Layton. Glad people are excited. Um, off stream watch games. Just don't stream people. Give butts, butts, buzz. Yeah, it seems like a very spoilery kind of a game. I play them on even Luke Ragdoll. Oh, God. Uh, Happy Harp, thanks for a year and a half. Enjoy your very mildly cursed skeleton key. Thank you. PixelKenJ, thanks for 100 bits. Brought to you by Diabolical Box. Enter Pickarats at checkout for a free puzzle. If you know how to read and write. That the, the puzzle is getting your receipt. And then you have, you have a little maze to fill out. Well, I'm playing, I'm playing on a DS. 2DS, technically. If if you if you if this isn't your first DS stream, you're gonna know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. Shout out to Jake Doodle for sending me a capture 2DS. Because holy heck, that's generous. Anyway, thank you. Um, I did see. Yeah, yeah. I I, I was gonna grab it and I forgot. But thanks for the reminder, Pickle Cat. Hey, thanks, Jake. Yeah. 2DS stream, right? Um, yeah. The Strongbat record's back. There was a new Strongbat email a couple days ago. Times are wacky. Anything's happening. A new Monkey Island game got announced. That was another thing. That was part of what made me in the mood for puzzles. 
was that uh, a new Monkey Island game helmed by Ron, Ron Gilbert was announced. And Ron Gilbert, for those that don't know, was the original creator of Monkey Island. He was like the main creative lead of the first two games. Ended the second game with a, fuck you, I'm out, no one can make more games. And then Monkey Island 3, made without him, just was like, no, don't worry about it. But so I was like, I, maybe I'll, I'll stream Monkey Island closer to whenever that's coming out. It would be fun to do the first two. Uh, when's the next Cree mail? I know. Gotta get your emails out to, was it D DJ uh, Mankiewicz? I forget what, forget what Homestar's email address was. It was so stupid. What's in the box? You'll find out in like 10 hours. Uh, that is a pog bones. After all, uh... Yeah, the Pandora's box. Exactly. Oh, Chris, thanks for 43 months. I recommend not playing any game. So that was you. If someone recommended... They, they, they filled out the form very kindly, and they and they, they said, What do you recommend? And they said, Don't. I recommend you stop. So thank you for that. Todd, thanks for the raid. Welcome. I'm doing well. Thank you. So, Co, thanks for four months. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Uh... DJ Mankiewicz, I believe there's some numbers. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that was great. That was me. Start. I will start playing in 10 hours. Exactly, right. Roanoke stuff, thanks for a year and a half. What do you call the water that you boil noodles in? Spaghetti. That is worthy of a very mildly cursed skeleton key. Uh, Zamoy, thanks for 50 bits. I just got here, can I say, ah, yes. Blue Bow 501 thanks for the sub, welcome. Enjoy the emotes. Uh, appreciate it, enjoy your crayon scribbling of a key. Uh, frivolous insults since for 11 months. I've seen nothing of the diabolical box TM. Well, you've seen the title screen, and soon you'll see very much more. Blue Bow with 100 bits. Want to provide support for a fellow latent streamer. Hope you enjoy the game. I gotta get back to writing. Have a good write. Thank you. Also, hell yeah. I'm glad to hear other people like to stream latent and get stumped by very simple puzzles for... Well, I'm saying I, I'm not saying you, I get stumped. What, I send you a game key? Um... Uh, if it's something that requires more of, a, like, a correspondence, you can send me an email to my business email, which is linked in my... on my YouTube page, as well as in my Twitter bio. Uh, otherwise, if you fill out the, uh, recommendation form, that just goes to me. So that also is an option. I can't guarantee that I will play it. Um, I don't normally accept codes, um, but I do appreciate it. Just thank you. DJ Make-A-Wish! Oh. Probably gonna take a break from DS games. Also, chat goes wild. Well, I did take a break from DS games. A break could be anything between one stream and 50 streams, but I definitely enjoyed doing Curious Village, but I wasn't like, okay, back to back, nothing but Layton for the next month until we're all like, please, anything other than the puzzle music. I'm losing my mind to the little music box. Da 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 da. But I'm just like, oh my god. Playing Among Us is serious. Nice. Where we send you personalized shit posts? Um, Twitter or um, Discord, Barry Cord. Um, yeah, it's all detective games. Exactly. Well, a lot of the DS had a lot of detective games. It was good machine for that. Ikisoba, thanks for nine months. Puzzles. Enjoy your Ruby Key. Zamui, can we get a story recap of all the entirely normal plot beats from the first game? No. The only thing you need to know is that Flora's here now. She's our friend. That's about. It. I don't remember. If I'm wrong, then be like, no, you're wrong. But. I don't recall there being major plot threads from one carried over the next. It's very serialized. You know, like Cheerios. Uh, where it just is like, you have this little self-contained mystery, and then we move on. Um, there's not like, oh, well, because of the events of the Curious Village, now Layton has this chip on his shoulder. About, it's, no, he likes puzzles. Floor is here now, that's about it. Ghost Trick was a pet simulator. Cheerios, Professor! Like Reese's. Like, yeah. It's a very normal village. That was the twist. He's now called Mr. Layton. Yeah, he, he listen, he hasn't been at that college in years. Pippa J, thanks for seven months. Been stuck in Vodland. Love that you're playing Layton. English hype. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the VODs. Integral, 17 months. More Layton, heck yes. S the soup. When do we find out these games are really about you and your favorite chat member? Luke. Sharaj, thanks for 20 months. Welcome back! Now I'm sad. Count! Oh no! Well, the VODs exist. If you missed, uh, the end of Curious Village, it's there. Uh, oh no more puzzles. Exactly. Gentleman Course 201. Do it, Herschel. I need the puzzles. Okay. I'm caught up. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna hop into the, 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 the diabolical box. New game! Let's go. Is peace in this game? God. 
Don't scare me like that. Uh, hey, guess what? The, uh, the capture stopped updating, but because the tile screen's mostly static, we never even, or I didn't even notice. Isn't that neat? Um, okay, come on. Initialize and capture device. Yeah, well, it would break, wouldn't it? Uh, hold on a sec. Let me just, uh, revamp here real quick. No, that's fine. We'll do it live. No, we'll do it live, though. Let me just refresh the, uh, the, the program. Oh my god, a JPEG. I can't believe it. Now, now it's small, and now it's different. Oh god, wait, hold on, I gotta... I gotta fix the thing. I gotta fix the thing over here because it duplicates that thing over there. Even though it shouldn't duplicate that thing over there. There you go. Beautiful. What's your name, little boy? It's Luke, Professor! Oh, my. What a delightful name for a little boy. Uh, alright, Professor. Uh, why'd I break it? I don't know, I just decided to break. Uh, is this working? Sweet. That's how you spell my name. Welcome to the Diabolical Box. My name is Zero. Uh, uh... My name is Bowery. 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 Okay. Great! This is a work of fiction. The characters, groups, and events portray- Okay. There are tales of a box that brings death upon any who dare open it. Tell me, do you think Oh, I don't know if the opening cutscene should be tall mode or Oh god, wait. Wait, wait. I got wait. Boom. There we go. I still have that from last time. Nice. Hey, look. There it is. Again on the train. Oh my god. Triforce. It's Zoe. <laughs> the diabolical train. The very same. They're going to Hogwarts. Now, this is what I call deluxe. Just look at this room. Yes, I can certainly see why some call the Molin Teddy Express a cruise ship on rails. <laughs> this sofa's great! <laughs> now, don't forget, Luke. <laughs> you don't get furniture. pays attention to his manners. Don't forget. In every setting. Why is that so ominous, the way he said that? Every setting, Luke. Every... I've never oh. seen a sofa before! <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the CG train. The dead eyes, like a doll's eyes. Stop being a child, child. That's manners. Hmm, that crunchy DS compression. Hey, Raina! Someone's got a glass bowl and they're running their finger on the outside. Stop that, it's ominous. So what's the actual story behind the Elysian box anyway? All who open it die, huh? Mm -hmm. hmm. Sounds awfully fishy to me. Perhaps so. But we've seen it happen with our very own eyes. The answer is out there, Luke. But I just need to find The truth it. is out there, we Luke. We will. I know it. Just like Scopus. He's out there, I know it. Oh, prologue the Elysian box! They saw someone die? Hey, I mean, who knows? Um, the game's already 10 plus. That 10 plus is carrying a lot of weight. <laughs> e? Fine. E10 plus? Murder. Totally fine. Pull me in. To my dear. Me? To my dear friend Barry. There was a box that was rumored to kill anyone who opened it. At first, neither the professor nor I believed it. But all that changed with the arrival of a single letter. Ten plus bodies. It's the body count. A few days earlier. Luke, have a look oh. here. Wait, we can... Oh my god. And then we can... Over here? Or over here? Over there, probably. There you go. But look, look, I got so many different scenes that I don't know which... Gotta love DS games. Uh, have a look here. Oh, what's that, Professor? It's a letter from my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Andrew Schrader. Mm-hmm. 
easy puzzles. Oh, hard. Also, is everything all right? Oh god, I forgot to. It's fine. My dear Herschel, knowing you, I imagine you've already heard of the relic known as the Elysian Box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that is that so? Tell me more. This strange antique is infamous for killing anyone who opens it. Mm-hmm. Truth be told, I'm a bit dubious of the box's murderous reputation, but you know how I am. Yeah, hold on one sec. I need to add the background behind. It's gonna appear in the foreground. Oh, God. Oh, boy. This is... I, I'm a professional. There you go. You gotta add that slight little bit on the edges of the screen. It looks nicer. Um, murderous! Once something piques my interest, I simply must get to the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. His middle name is The. We're doing it live. I mean, that's streaming 101. <laughs> also, look at look at that drawing of him over, over there. He's just he's reading. That's why I'm pleased as punch to tell you that the elusive item is finally in my possession. What's more, I believe I'm on the cusp of unraveling a great mystery tied to this box. Hmm. For the moment, let's just say I have a theory, though I haven't been able to prove it yet. <laughs> That's his face, Toaster Posey. That's his face. Open it! No, he'll die! But he's a Initially, man of science. it was my intention to finish my research before daring to open its lid. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the hydrate, Obmas. But I must confess that my curiosity is simply overpowering. Mm -hmm. In the unlikely event that anything should happen to me, please <laughs> finish the work I've started here. In the unlikely event that the murder box murders me, open the murder box. <laughs> Yours truly, the other professor guy. Your friend, Andrew Schrader. Schrader. According to the postmark, this letter was sent two days ago. We should go pay the doctor a visit. Mm hmm I just can't shake the feeling that something awful has happened. The mystery is afoot, Professor. Well, your intuition's usually spot on. Hello, hello. I say we head out right away. And we're off. The Elysian Box. Elysian Box is an antique said to bring death upon any who dare open its lid. According to rumors, the box has already claimed many lives and is feared in many parts of the world. Could this strange item truly exist? I mean, who knows? It's a big world. Luke, before we go, would you be so kind as to fetch my car keys? They're in one of the drawers in that desk. Sure thing, Professor. Um... Something you wish to inspect, Luke? Simply give it a tap. A rap-a-tap-tap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luke must find the keys. Tap to investigate. Yeah, I would- I would love to do that. Uncomfortable chairs make you smarter! <laughs> yeah. I don't remember- I don't remember if that was the same pixel art for Luke as in the first game, but man is that a great face for Luke. Apparently, uncomfortable chairs make you smarter. Mm. It's a good line face. Uh... A perfect view is the perfect- a lovely view is the perfect antidote to working long hours. Uh, no proper study would be with- should be without a little greenery. Uh, oops. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, eh. What on earth are all these funny little things on the shelf? What on earth? Who knew the professor was such a pack rat? That's a lot of documents. Uh, yeah. Look at all those thick books. No wonder the professor's so small. I did it. Now here we are, professor. I got Lane's keys. You can find items you pick up in the professor's trunk. Many thanks, Luke. Now let's get moving. You do know how to move about, don't you, Luke? And he's just standing there like, You know what? I never tried before, professor. Please teach me. All right, Luke. You bet I do. I tap the shoe in the lower right corner. And I tap one of those little arrows that appear to move in that direction. That's exactly right. Anytime you want to move, tap the shoe. Try it out. Tap the shoe. Oh, I did it! Moving. Run a bird, fix orbits. That's the way, my boy. One can't investigate properly without first doing a little leg work, as they say. 
I couldn't agree more, Professor. Then shall we head off? He's been T-posing his way. Well, Layton just picks him up and puts him down wherever he's needed. He's just, he's just permanently in a hmm pose. I'll just pick him up and be like, there you go. I found just uh, time to go, Professor. The spooky box. Uh, Project RF, thanks for a year. Enjoy your mildly Chris Celtic key. Artemis Knight, six months. A golden key. Thank you. And run a bird with some bits from Vodland. Thank you. On star. Luke is the furniture. That's the twist to Dr. Schrader's home. Look, all of appointments and meetings posted here. There's no doubt which office belongs to the professor. It's got his hat on the door. Is that an office or a cafe? Turns out he just works in the back room of a cafe. A plant or some other decoration would add some cheer here. Yeah, I suppose. I haven't done a single puzzle yet, so it's going great. Look, before we set out, it would be wise of us to get from the location of the doctor's flat. During one of his visits some time ago, he was kind enough to leave me a map to his home. The map, as you can see, is a rather unusual piece of cartography. Look here, Luke. Look here. This diabolical is... How clever. The map itself is a puzzle. Now, very unpog chimp. Thank you, Jake. Also, thank you for the 2DS, Jake. Uh, the map itself's a puzzle. Do you mind if I take a crack at it? I just know I can solve this one. You'll never find me. Map. In the map to Dr. Schrader's home, several pieces in the center have been cut out. Restore the map by inserting the missing pieces in the correct spots. Touch a piece of your stars to grab it, slide your stars to move the selected piece around on the screen. You can't rotate the piece. You can't rotate them. May sound simple. Don't forget that you can move or remove the pieces, including the one already in the middle of the map. Well, that sounds like part of the solution to the puzzle, doesn't it? Why? Why? Yes, indeed. Um, then that probably just goes there. Well, oh, just it's not part of. Just get get it out of there. Just, uh, uh, well, let me, uh... Alexander whoa. Hamilton. Whoa. Thanks for the Alexander Hamilton. Whoa, 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 How many times can I say Alexander Hamilton? Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alex... <sighs> Solve the puzzle. Almaz, thank hmm. you for Let's the ham... This works. Well, you don't point at me. That's rude. That was almost too easy. Thank you, look. Hey, Almaz, this puzzle reminds me of a puzzle. Hmm. This reminds me of the time I solved a puzzle. Now hop to it, you gotta get to Dr. Shrew's apartment! You solved it. Indifferent cat! Thanks for three bucks! One second. Pick a rats are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more pick a rats a puzzle is worth, the tougher it is. When you submit an incorrect answer for a puzzle, the number of pick a rats you can earn from that puzzle decreases. Think carefully before answering. Once you've been in the game and saved, go to the bonuses section and load your game file. From there, you can enter the top secret area where a number of fun extras are waiting for you, also known as more puzzles. The more pick rats you earn, the more extras you unlock. It's usually like concept art, stuff like that. It's neat. It's a nice little system. It's not overly punishing for being wrong, but there are stakes that want you to be right. Which is nice. Excellent. Well, our destination confirmed we're ready to pay the doctor a visit. Come now, Luke. I did it. I'll solve the puzzle. Oh, God. That's probably big enough. Than, than me switching to the other view. I could switch to the other view if you want it slightly bigger. But it is very crunchy DS compression. Play in mobile. He's got a good little car. Crumpch. I do believe we found the doctor's building. But which flat is his? That, I'm afraid, I don't know. So he gave you an incomplete map and didn't tell you where he lives. Are you sure you're friends? Thinking on it now, the letter I'd received did mention something about this place. The doctor's home. Find Dr. Schrader's window from the details in his letter. In the morning, I often wake into the sound of music drifting in from a nearby flat. Looking out, I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window. Take a single sip of my tea and turn my attention to the morning sun. Not many flats in London have a view of the sunrise anymore, you know? Circle the window from which the, the, the doctor views the sunrise. How do I know which way is my east from my west? Is the idea that just, like, the sun itself is casting light on there? Um, maybe he's the guy singing the music. Maybe that's him. 
That's possible. Yeah, well, there, there's light over here. But if it w if the sun was was shining from this direction, then all this would be in the same light. But it's like at an angle. It's like it's the building itself. So pr pro probably one of these. <laughs> I didn't think puzzle two would be tough. Uh, I awaken to the sound of music from a nearby flat. Looking out, I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window. So maybe this is him? Because there's a flag right there? I turn my attention to the morning sun. He turns! Because he turns that way and sees the sun from around the corner. Uh, the view of the sunrise. Uh, or is it this one? Because he's got a flag. Let's go with that one. Consider this puzzle solved. I did! Oh a my god. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. Thank you, sir. Now you know where it is, Headfooter's home. From the window outside? Okay. Hey, Epic Vanguard. Chat is good beans. How you doing? Unless I'm mistaken, I think we found the right flat. I'm so smart. My brain already hurts. Follow me, Luke. We're going up. I nearly forgot before I leave. Let's review how to use this trunk. Tap the icon on the screen in the corner. There's sorts of helpful information. Look how happy Luke is. Touch it to use it. Save. Puzzle. Solve puzzle. Puzzles finished. Index shows the locations. Unsolved puzzles. So we can revisit them. Tap the journal to display my personal notes on key story events. So whenever you need to access the trunk, just give it a tap. Okay, hi. Are you made of puzzles, sir? Hello there, mister. Never seen you around here before. Oh my god, it's Damon Albarn. Walking through the streets of London. Want to hear something useful? Check it out. See that mailbox right over there? Try tapping on it, will ya? Won't I? Oh my god. He put money in there. Brilliant. That's a hint coin you found there. Ever work a puzzle and get stuck? It's times like that when I bet you'd fancy a hint, yeah? Well, when that happens, you can trade in those shiny hint coins for hints. They're scattered all over the place, which means you should always be on the lookout for them. Tap on anything sus, okay? Good. Well, that's all I had to say. You take it easy, mister. Thank- Oh, he's gone. Uh, uh, uh. Tap, tap. The flowers are blooming. One dude takes care of them. He did the woohoo. He did the woohoo. Wait, I didn't mean- the, mm. Goose! Oh my god, they're gunning for the top floor. Uh, what is this guy about? Is this safe to watch on stream? Uh... Oh, it's a fan dub of the Time Daisy comic. It's very, very good. It's a, 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 a fan dub by ProZD. Oh my god. It's awesome. Thank you. This broom reminds me of a puzzle. Um, and different cat, thanks for three bucks. I remember this being my favorite of the original trilogy between this game and Thousand Year Door. I wanted to go on a sleeper train so bad as a kid. Still a little goal of mine to this day. Same. I, I, I've talked about it in the past, but like an uh, uh, overnight, big old fancy compartment comfy train sounds so nice. I have been on a sleeper train, um, but it was when I was studying abroad in China, we went on a sleeper train and the room we were in was a triple bunk bed and I was on the top, w which laying down, you had like a couple inches of clearance. It was not the, uh, the, uh, giant plush carpeted sleeper train that I intend to hopefully go on at some point. It was a little snug. Yeah, it was a little snug. Um, top 10 sleeps out of my life. Oh, man. Oh, like good air. Oh, yeah. Well, good air rises. So, it was good. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I would love to go on a, a... The problem is it's like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's way easier to just fly. Um, so... It's like the whole point needs to be the train, and, uh, I don't know, but, yeah, sounds nice. Also, they're insanely expensive. Yeah, I've seen a couple travel vloggers, and it mostly just makes me feel more envious and disgruntled than, like, oh, that looks so nice. I'm just like, man, that's bullshit. <laughs> Look how stupidly nice everything is. I don't watch those channels, because I just get upset. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hunter Gansy, thanks for four, uh, tier two and 14 months. What, what if Kirby Malfoy moded Layton? He's like, he's like, Kirby's the hat, and then like a little bit the top of the head. Just enough that you're unsettled by it. Sounds like a ship birthing, right? 
Murder on the express? Minus the murder. Bird Bird, thanks for a year. That's almost 12 months. Very close to it. Thank you. The smartest of the Poyos. He'd be a smart lad. The flowers are nice. We gotta get into that flat. Eh. Yeah. Oh. There's no time right now to examine cleaning supplies. Would you look at that, Professor? It's beautiful. We can look at the view after we make sure the doctor's okay. All right. This door is a puzzle. I'm sure of it. This is the right place. Andrew, are you home? It's Herschel. Herschel Layton. You are now the copy ability. Sir, are you in there? Doctor? I don't hear anyone in there, Professor. What if he's... There's no time for speculation now, Luke. We must get this door open immediately. It seems to be locked from the inside. Without a key, there's no way to get in. Of course, in my haste, I forgot about these keys the doctor included in his letter. How convenient. Let me try them on the door! Well, if he's a bloated, smelly old corpse, Professor. Huh? That's strange. It doesn't seem like any of these keys work on the lock. Luke, don't you see? Dr. Schrader has set before us yet another puzzle to solve. An ingenious puzzle. The right key. Which key opens the door? As you might expect, the key won't open the door if its shape will let us pass through the keyhole. Use the stylus to fit keys to the lock. Examine each key carefully. Use the stylus to move the keys to find the one that fits in the lock. Um... You just kind of... Oh, oh. Oh, no. What if you do it backwards? What if it went backwards a little bit? No. Okay, what What about... What about this one? Spin it around. You gotta do the key backwards. Because that's a puzzle. That was almost too easy. What a terrible puzzle. That's right. Look at that art. Of his hand. God, that is, that is sumptuous. Pow. Did it take you a while to figure out that the portion of the key resembling the grip was actually for the keyhole? Answers can be found in the most unlikely of places. Oh, you. HD hand. The right key. Uh, Professor, do you think life is more than just puzzles? Now, Luke, don't make me sap the devil out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, no. Red Mage, thanks for 17 months. And Slower Tide, thanks for five months. Happy to have been here for so many wacky adventures. We want to spend one minute, 40 seconds experiencing it. Safe work won't get your VOD claimed. Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen it. It might get me claimed, though, because it is a clip from a Disney cartoon. But thank you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Oh, my God. He's a window. Professor. Yeah. Hurt, Shaw. No, Andrew. He's dead. How could this have happened? How could what happen, Professor? I have no concept of my own mortality. This is terrible, Professor. Dead tired. <laughs> he just wakes up. Oh, man. I was pooped. Do you suppose the Elysian box did this to Dr. Strader when he tried to open it? John Williams took him out for playing Lego Star Wars. By the way, the Lego Star Wars VOD uh, probably got tomorrow. Um... It's it's good. It's it got claimed a million times as expected, but none of them were like like more impactful than like monetization, which is fine. So that VOD will survive. Good news. I'm very pleased. I honestly don't know, Luke. John Williams packed up his his briefcase sniper. But that can wait. Right now we need to notify the police. There's a puzzle in the corpse. Quick, help me. Of course, Professor. The Katamari saved me. I mean hmm? Yeah. What do we have here? A puzzle? Well, he has a tattoo. The Diabolical Box a was a copy of Fantasy Star Online for the GameCube for the with Express. the broadband adapter. Now, this is strange. Look, there's no destination written on this ticket. Have you ever seen a train ticket that didn't say where it was taking you? Yes, very strange indeed. Hmm. The ticket. The ticket. A single ticket with no visible destination was discovered in Dr. Schrader's home. It appears to be for the Voluntary Express, but where exactly is it supposed to take its owner? We don't know. T 
someone carved the most amusing charade in the flesh of the throat. <laughs> Look, it's Inspector Chelmy. But for real, this is actually, I think, the first time we've seen Excuse the real Chelmy. <laughs> Technically. That's fun. Huh? Hey, it's you! Well, Inspector Chelmy's the name. You two found the body, did you? That's why he introduces himself, because we've never met him. Oh my god, Luke. Let him go. Luke, stop that. That's his face. Listen here, Luke. Forgot about this. <laughs> Kill him, Luke. Oh my gosh. Get him. His face doesn't come off. He's the real deal. I forgot that they actually acknowledged that. Okay. So there are a couple little bits like that that connect them, but yeah, nothing major. What in the blazes? If you missed the first game, this guy shows up, but he's the villain in disguise. So, there you go. That's my face, not some piece of taffy. Hmm, taffy face. I desire blood, Professor. Fear the old gods, Professor. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. Oh yeah, that's Flora. Sure you, we we'll see her in a bit. On our hands. An imposter on her hands. Oh my god. Oh my god, Abogus. What in the world is this child talking about? <laughs> I swear. Sus, sus, Sussy Parker, no among manner. us, Professor. What in the world is this child talking about? Sus the imposter, Professor. The imposter sus, Professor. What in the phrases? My apologies for the confusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Herschel Layton. I'm a professor of archaeology at Gressenheller University. Gressenheller. Yeah. And I'm his apprentice, Luke. This NFT reminds me of a puzzle, Professor. You must solve this image without right-clicking. How will you do it? Control S, Professor. Very good. Interesting. So if I understand correctly, you keep a child around as an apprentice, do you? Yes, Inspector. Not at all, sir. In truth, he's... Professor Layton's apprentice, like I said. He's actually a, a Broomba that I put a hat on. Don't tell him. Hmm. Well, it's really none of my concern. He's on us. He's not a child worker. Oh, God. Are you paying this child? Is it better or worse to pay your uh, apprentice I have a another child? That needs my attention. Clear a path, will you? But of course. Mm -hmm. Luke, not a word about this is super fine robot man. All right. Like five seconds in the game, and Layton's like, "Okay, we have to withhold evidence." <laughs> Luke, you got me right. You're complicit in my crimes now, my boy. You got it, Professor. He gets paid in furniture. Hmm. Yes. Let's see. What do we have here? What's this sticking out of your pocket, sir? A murder? Or was the crime self-inflicted? Inspector, I should tell you that the door was locked before Luke and I came in. There's no proof of that, but you know, believe me. I see. So this door, the sole entry point in and out of this eighth floor flat, was shut tight. Then the doctor was holed up in here, completely apart from the outside world, yes? That being the case, hmm, yes, I'm sure of it. The old gent must have suffered a heart attack. What? How did you come to that conclusion, sir? Oh, that pause between conclusion and sir! Use your noodle, laddie. What other explanation could there be? It's true that the flat is on the eighth floor, he and knows that the me. door was locked, Inspector. Still, I'd hesitate to say that this room was completely closed off from the outside. Snape. Is that so? Please elaborate. Isn't it obvious? Oh, damn. You don't say that to an inspector. There's something quite unusual about our crime scene that's been overlooked. Eh? There could have been an evil worm that climbed under the door. Like this one here! Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's as plain as the nose on your face, inspector. <laughs> I suppose you academics think your fancy degrees prepare you to play detective, eh? I tell you, nowadays, it seems like everybody and their mum thinks they can do my job. Well, that's the thing, Inspector. I'm your mum. Now, as I was it's saying, me. the cause of death was heart failure, plain and simple. And there's what caused it. Dun -dun. This. Your mum. We're all your mum now. 
It's a scaled down model of a Kronosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. A Kronosaurus? I reckon that ugly mug will give anyone nightmares. Here's what probably happened. The old fellow turned on a light, took one look at the beast, and then killed right over. Yeah, that makes sense. But this is the doctor's own home. Why would the bones he put up himself scare him? People have a way of becoming forgetful with age. Not that you'd understand, boy. Well, you're right about that. I don't think I understand it at all. Bake him away, toys. Mr. Letton, was it? No? Ah, yes, Layton. Mr. Layton. What do you think? The scenario you paint certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. But, considering the lights were off when we entered the room, I don't think we found our answer yet. The Mr. Lenton. Oh, really? Furthermore, look around you, Inspector. Doesn't anything strike you as odd? Look around you. What do you mean, Professor? Study your surroundings, Luke. I'm sure you can see it, too. A, a secure room. With its windows opening out into thin air, eight stories up, and its door securely bolted, you might think that this room is inaccessible from the outside. However, a single unusual detail reveals the truth of what went on here. Your job is to look around the room by tapping the arrows and find this detail. Once you got it, circle the area with your stylus and mix. Choose submit to give your answer. Make sure to circle only one object when you answer. We gotta look around. Look around the room. Look around. Look around you. If anyone hasn't seen that, uh, do yourself a Google. Pull up. Look around you. Thank you, ants. Thanks. Uh, there's just a bunch of nonsense in here. Hmm. 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 Look around you. Thanks. Um. Is it the professor? Maybe this hat. Maybe the th the real criminal's hiding under his hat. Uh, how far in the game were you? This is puzzle number four out of like a hundred some, so not far at all. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, it looks like a normal apartment. You see it? It's Chummy's legs, isn't it? He got feet for days! There's no body. <laughs> Where'd he go? There's a vile ligma on the desk. Yeah, what's this about? Sir? Um... Is- is that something behind the bookshelf? It's really hard to see. Is that something? Or is there some- is there more? Doctor, you've been making mess in here. Yes, well, uh, that's confiscated police evidence now. There's no missile, right? <laughs> a gentleman always keeps a stick of lead in his hat. You never know when it might come in handy. I mean, it's gotta be a secret entrance, so that's like the only thing there's a table blocking this, so I don't think it's this whole thing here. Torn curtain? The curtain is torn? Over here? Oh! Well, that is kind of suspicious. This is, this is a might be suspicious. Hmm. An unusual detail reveals the truth of what went on here. Hmm. Jars of blood on his desk? I mean, it just happens. Here goes. I'm sure it's nothing. Ah! You pointed Piece at me. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. For some reason, part of the curtain shown here has been ripped clear off. Curious. Of course. This window is missing a curtain. Hmm. So it is. But what exactly does this have to do with my crime scene? You've earned a biscuit. Is that money, Professor? <laughs> what? What? He point! It means someone exited the building through this window, and I'll bet he's our culprit. Well, that seems really obvious as soon as you look out the window. I'd say that's a sound theory. Well done, my boy. 
No way they didn't see that before. They just didn't go to the window. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Sound as a pound. I was just about to propose the same idea myself. Mm-hmm. Liar! How the hell did no one see that? Uh, welcome to Professor Layton. <laughs> it's... I, I'm pretty sure I went on this rant about 20 times throughout the course of Curious Village. The way these games construct their mysteries aren't in the... Uh, dare I say, intelligent fashion, where if you're paying attention and taking note of the inaccuracies or someone's saying something uh, that doesn't match up with what we know, you're able to put together the, the puzzle and figure out what's going on. Uh, some of the best mystery, like a, a really good mystery novel is like as they're revealing it, you're like turning the pages reading and like you figure it out a page before they say it. Like that's like beautiful when that happens. It lines up, you're like, oh my god, wait, but that, and then, oh, and then you turn the page, and they're like, that's what that means. You're like, oh, like, that's so cool. Uh, that's not what Leighton does. Leighton pulls nonsense out of its ass incessantly. There's nothing ever that happens in these that's just like, oh, gotcha. I saw that coming. It's always like, there's no way you could have known this. Um, there are exceptions, but, like, I, it's just, like, the, it's the opposite. <laughs> TV Tropes calls it a clueless mystery. There you go. That's a good way of putting it. But they'll give you red herrings and clues, and maybe you can put it together, but most of the time, it's just like a complete, like, out of thin air, just by the way. Yeah, a little bit Scooby- No, Scooby-Doo is like... Scooby-Doo is always that first dude that they meet. The, the specifics of how it's, like, worked together a little bit out of thin air, but, yeah. You hit by a bus doing a spacewalk. Mm-hmm. This singular atom changes everything. Shh, look, listen. I don't believe our friend the inspector will be of much help to us. Luke, don't talk to the police. What say you and I conduct a little investigation of our own? You think he can hear us, Professor? He's right there. Professor, look! There's something in Dr. Schrader's hand. No crumpled up biscuits. Oh, delicious. Nom, nom, nom. It's an old photograph, but it's been torn into so many pieces, <laughs> I can't make out the original image. Torn photo. What a mystery. Torn fragments of a photograph are found in the late doctor's hand. In its current state, it's impossible to make out the contents of the photo. What could it be depicting? What a mystery. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just pour evidence in a crime scene. Get your hands off that. Uh, that. Uh, what is this, anyway? Nothing. Hmm. Not that it matters. I'll be holding on to that. Now, out with the both of you. Reasonable foreshadowing. We'll see when we get there, Dearborn, but I don't I don't remember predicting anything that happened in that game. Or in this game. <laughs> but also I'm not the brightest. Inspector Chelmy confiscated it. Maybe we shouldn't have just reached over to the dead body in the middle of a crime scene. Seems a little bit predictable. Chekhov's biscuit. Ah, oh, but we're not done. Well, what's the big idea? I'd use the Mission Impossible mask. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Schrader indicated that he was in possession of the Elysian box. I mean, that's the thing. is like the first game sets you up that something's not right because the inspector shows up after the drawbridge is raised and no one else can enter the city and he doesn't know things that he should and he does know things he shouldn't. But there's nothing that connects the dots to be like, Oh, this is a man impersonating the inspector. They just set it up that there's something not right with the inspector. So it's like the double twist of like, yeah, there's something not right, but it's like way dumber than you thought it might have been. That's the kind of stuff these games pull. And that's why I love them. Because after the first game, I went in each one going, okay, something nonsense is the reason. I'm going to turn off my brain and stop trying to think about it logically because the game certainly isn't. So there you go. I don't know. I would love to know, but I kind of doubt it. Ace Attorney. Yeah. Silly fun. It is silly fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I was very, very uh, impressed and frustrated that so many people figured out what the big twist of Curious Village was during those streams. I was like, how? Like, in hindsight, I'm like, okay, sure, now I understand what these details are pointing at, but at the time, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. And everyone chats like, uh, clearly everyone's robots. <laughs> Uh, obviously, that's the logical assumption here. No, I don't think so. But, uh, remember, no spoilers for, for this or any future, Layton. Um, 
You're, you, if you're new, if you've never seen the game, you are allowed to be like, wait, maybe this, but no one confirm or deny. You can just be like, I don't know, maybe this is happening. Wouldn't it be funny if? Uh, but yeah, no spoilers. If you shit post enough, you're gonna be right. Yeah, the dumbest thing you can think of is probably the answer. It's like it, it's kind of like an Occam's razor, but it's the the dumbest solution is the answer. He was in possession of the Legion box. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm there will be puzzles. There will there will be puzzles. What's the problem with trying to solve this game? Uh, we're still in the prologue, so we're still figuring it out. Uh, so far, just that the, the this uh, Professor Schrader had the Elysium box, and then he was mysteriously dead in his apartment, but also someone murdered him, maybe, and escaped. We don't really know, so. The box contains a knife on a spring. The box contains a crab with a knife attached to his claw. There's nothing resembling such an artifact in his home. Do you think the person who did this to him is after the box? It's an interesting theory, but for the moment, that's all it is. A theory. However, it's my belief that we hold a clue to understanding today's events, namely that ticket. The Molontary Express ticket, right, Professor? Correct, Luke. I believe that a trip aboard the Molontary Express is in order. The box's location. Somebody managed to steal the Elysium box from Dr. Schrader's home without leaving behind a single implicating clue. Who could have made off with the box? Ooh! Do you suspect we'll find the key to unlocking the mis this mystery on the train? Dr. Schrader did his best to point us toward the Monterey Express, should something happen to him. Sure as fog on a London morning, I know this train will lead us to the answers we seek. Professor Layton and Luke sped away from the city unaware of the secrets that awaited them down those iron tracks. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, let's save. Um, I have to save over someone's... This is this is the office's copy of, uh, of this game. Um, I, gu I guess we should get rid of the one that's not a 100% file. I don't know who... I'm Sorry, Jamie. Your you 11 know. hours of being thrown in the gutter. Goodbye! I did it. 42 minutes. Me. The legendary Monterey Express! Whoa. 07. Thank you for the salute. <laughs> Gosh, just look at this place, Professor. It's so posh, I feel like I should be wearing a monocle. Ah, uh -huh. quite so, Luke. Every decoration and detail in this room is more decadent than the last. Oh, he got squished, but he's still saluting Tanuki. Yeah, it's a salute. 07 is a salute. It's me. It was... I had the mask on. It was me! I'd wager the rest of the train is just as grand. How would you like to go exploring for a bit? Would I? What? Wouldn't I? Oh! Look at that, Luke. Your bag is wide open and your belongings are scattered everywhere. Oops, I guess they are. You should put your things away before we walk around the train. Mm -hmm. Uh, the solve entries don't spoil the game like they did in the last one. I'm not percent certain. Okay. Yeah, I think they got better about stuff like that. Also, there's a lot more puzzles later in... It feels like each game they kind of figured out the format a little bit better. They're all basically the same, but... There's, like, more puzzles that tie into the plot. Kinda. Sometimes. Luke's belongings are all over the place and need to be packed away into his trunk. Use your stylus to move individual objects into the trunk. Make sure none of them overlap. I think everything's been placed neatly. Yeah. Um, what is this? What do you got here? Who gave you all these things, Luke? Who said you're allowed to have furniture? It's not furniture. It's just some... It's just a pot and pan. It's my... It's my lovingly Dickensian... Uh, set up. I see, Luke. I see. Um. Oh, God. Well, that's not right. Why is this bear doing a karate chop, Luke? Well, you see, I quite like when they fight. Mm hmm. Makes me happy. Okay, Luke. Are you happy, Professor? Well, would you look at the time? Time to go! Um. Dang. No. 
Rush Hour Tetris. You can't rotate bears. Nope. Nice to see people playing it still. Hey, it's Nom Nom. Hell yeah. Uh, let's just restart. Okay. All right. All right, then. Wash all this, then. Um, I need something that can fit against this foot. But nothing quite. Oh, maybe it's like this. Yeah, it might be. It might be like this. Yeah, that could. That could be. That certainly could be. Uh, and then, well, no. Hmm. 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 Uh. Hmm. 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 Oh no. I've made a proper mess of all this. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey. Damn. I, uh, I, uh, this one took me too long. This, I apparently have no functioning brain cells, but we knew that. Maybe that. And then, um, like a little bit of that. That does, there's an extra block. Every space must be used, look. Everything fits if you cram it shut, look. It's not good enough. A gentleman must have standards, you know, Luke. Wait. That's bad. Nope. 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 Damn. Da -da 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 -ba -da 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 -ba. Can we just stack it? Luggage can be stacked in three dimensions, Professor. No. Always start with the biggest pieces. Yeah! I mean... But it could go anywhere. Could go anywhere, and I feel like they're trying to get you. But I'm like, oh, just put the big stuff in the corners, because it's it. There's, then, then you just screwed. That's not. That's no good. Um. Hmm. 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 Where? Where could it be? Three PO. Where could he be? Uh, am I gonna have to use a goddamn hand coin? <laughs> no, just put a couple things in the box. Mm hmm. Just get them in real life and solve it. Honestly, yeah, that would help. He's got he's got the foot there, and then um, uh, there's nowhere for this to go. Isn't that great? Gotta love that. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... You can use little items like the harmonica and book to fill in small gaps later. Pack up the big items first. I know! That unwieldy frying pan spatula set go in the lower left corner. Luke's teddy bear belongs in the upper right corner. Great! Frying pan spatula set lower left. Teddy bear upper right. Boom. Teddy bear upper right. Done. Okay. Alright. Now then, uh, 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 oh, that looks that looks a lot better already. Wait, um, oh, that's that's close. Perhaps a puzzling predicament. Um, shit. Damn it. Damn it. Wait. What if we? Damn it. What if we damn it? Almost there. Yeah, no. I know. I know, chat. There it is. Hmm. Let's it's way too early works. in the day to be this bad at puzzles. I, I had it. Pay. What do you mean? That's not possible. Luke should be able to close the bag easily now. Look at that, Layton. Look at that, Layton. Oh, you quasars! Look how- look, he's- he's proud. Luke's- <laughs> Lane's like, Luke has noticed the whoopee cushion I placed inside his bag. Excellent. Uh, Quasars. I'll take his furniture later. <laughs> the <laughs> Professor! The furniture in the train's bolted down! How did you get it taken out? Well, I told them that I didn't need all of it, so I informed the staff. And they- they got rid of it for me. Oh, no. Oh. Yo. Yo, no. Oh, no. Ugh. 
Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. No, I mean, that is that is exactly what I said. Where it's covering his hat, but then it's just doing just enough above his head. Even at a little bit of drool, which is... That's great. That's that's great. Thank you. Oh, the lines too. Oh, ugh, ugh, thank you. Oh God. Appreciate it. Uh. Professor, he's got mouthful mode. Zoe, thanks for fifty bits. It was actually the opium. A life like Marinette, thanks for sixteen months. Here's a puzzle. It has thirteen hearts, but no other organs. Uh, um. Now I don't want to think about it. Picks, pickle shoe, 49 months. Oh, we'll be puzzling. It's true. Thank you. Layton is a perpetual Gorgle face. I think that's why I've always liked him. And why I immediately liked Gorgle. A deck of cards. Oh. Uh, uh, Smash Matthew for the 96 bits. I've beaten Kirby in the Forgotten Land 100%. I'm so glad beating those obnoxious ball rolling minigames on extra hard within the time limit doesn't count towards 100%. I just can't even with that third one. <laughs> Wait, there, one of the pictures on the wall is for the puzzles. Is that just the first three, but not the extra hard versions? That's fun. Yeah, I finished my 100% of uh, of the Kirby. It was satisfying going through some of the early levels and, and grabbing the, the wallabies I missed. But um, most of them were just kind of like, whatever. It was fine. Just the first three? Oh, that's nice. Well, yeah. I didn't go... I mean, I feel like the true 100% would have you... Uh, uh, level up everything, but I was like, that is literally just a grind, and I do not care. My five, I got a 100% on the pause screen. I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. Ryan, thanks for 100 bits. If Kirby were to go mouthful mode on Cappy while Mario's wearing him, who would be in control? Uh, I do, I, I, it's, 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 uh, the, the transitive property. Or, the, or, or, or like, it, it, it's like, it's like, A goes to B goes to C. So it'd be Kirby. On top of that chain, Kirby of controlling Cappy is controlling Mario. I guess the question would be if the if Kirby mouthful mode in Cappy gives Kirby Cappy's powers, because otherwise he's just a hat. So there's your there's your answer. It depends. <laughs> How satisfying. Anyway, done. Poyo, my boy, Poyo. Cappy's just a magic hat. That's nothing. It was a tight squeeze, but everything finally packed away. A bit of planning will prevent this type of scrambling in the future. You're right, I do feel bad with everything put away. Does Cappy control Mario? Yeah, absolutely. Probably. Let's talk about it. Look at some more. I mean, I just assumed that it was like a parasite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always nice to have a light around. You don't have to have a comment for everything, Luke. Handmade items are such a luxury. The scenery outside is a blur. We must be going really fast. Mm-hmm. Wow. Pixel with a hydrate. Professor, the sugar is covered with ants. Oh, dear. I have to remember to get sugar for my tea elsewhere. Curious, though, isn't it? How did they get here? Perhaps this puzzle will shed some light on things. Thank you, ants. The worker ant. Boy, they really did just have a puzzle about ants and didn't have a place to put it. Hello, dear. Busy ants work tirelessly carrying food back to their nest. One day, one such ant was returning with food when he bumped into an acquaintance in front of the nest. Whoa there, doofus. Don't you know that you took the longest path possible back to the nest? Think about where you're going, man. Knowing that the ant never traveled the same area twice, can you trace the path he walked to get to his nest? The longest possible path? Why? That's probably like a doo-doo-doo-boo. A do ba do ba do do boot wait no a do 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 ba do 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 boot How's that? No, I can probably use the path in the middle. Hmm. What if it was like uh do 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 That's pretty long. Professor? Oh, sorry about that. You got you gotta see what I'm doing. There you go. Yeah, sorry about that. The screens are swapped. Um, what if a longer path was like the do 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 do? I should probably be counting these out rather than just singing a little song. Um, hmm, a hat yokai. Yeah, I believe that that's canon. Um, um, yeah, gah, 
Gaha. That was 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's 22. That's not bad. What if we go straight down the right? Um. Oops. Oh, oh. Uh. That's not bad. Oop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's only 20. That's worse. Much easier to count the missing pieces. That is much faster, isn't it? Um. Uh. So was it, was it this one? Yeah. That's three. Uh, you can stay at the top of the path. That's true. That would be objectively better. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Just leave it to me. I was thinking with that brain cell is vibrant and real fast. Again. That's right. Perhaps all the heavy lifting kept this little ant from thinking about his path home. If only he thought about where he was going, he could have saved himself a lot of walking. Well, good for them. Look, we fucking nailed it! You got it, my boy! Well, I'm no fan of ants and my sugar. You have to admire their craftiness and work ethic. Maybe they're working so hard because even the sugar on the Molotary Express is extra fancy. Luke's, Luke's American VA is a treasure, and I will not hear any comment to the uh, to, to the opposite. I must admit, it is a compelling motive. Worker ant. Yeah. No? I'm awfully surprised a train as lux as this one would have an insect problem. Yeah, you know, it's fine. Wow. The professor's trunk was real heavy. What's in there? Yeah, what is in there, Professor? Why? I'm in there, Luke. As are you. That's fine. Remember, Luke, we're here to find the Elysian box so don't get sidetracked. You don't have to tell me twice. Now why don't we start our search by investigating the train? They're exploring. Schrodinger's trunk. Hello? I hear the rooms in the front of the train are so fancy that the doorknobs are made of gold. But no one's allowed in except for really rich people. So, misters, are you really rich? Because if you are, you can go see the super duper, super duper fancy rooms. Super duper fancy rooms, eh? That none but the extremely wealthy can enter. If our young friend is correctly informed, there must be a set of deluxe rooms in the next car. Soupy doopy. I'm sure I'd like to see those a bit. They're utterly fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'll need to hold on to those doorknobs as a, it's a puzzle. No, uh, no, there. Let's go into their room. Fuck yeah. Whoever did the lighting here has excellent taste. Uh, yes. Yes, Any kind I of suppose soup. these accommodations will do. I do hope my darling boy will be pleased. Her darling boy better be a good pup. That reminds me, I believe the are there. in time for my sweet baby. Confirmed. I'm off to visit the dining car. I, I mean, a pup, pup or a kitten. A voice acting. Gosh, that lady was just the type I'd expect to see on the Monterey Express. Talk about rich and fancy. Quite. This train is full of many well-heeled patrons, like the woman we just met. We must watch our deeds and words here. A formal set setting demands formal manners, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Professor! Oh, absolutely! Oh my god! Look at the craftsmanship on this picture, Luke! I'm almost certain it was hand-blown. My god. The beveled edges, Luke! The beveled edges! Professor, you're frothing at the mouth! Look! You can, you can see clear through the crystal! Oh! Who knew that something as ordinary as a picture could be so fancy? What could be more relaxing than sitting in your suite with a cold beverage and watching the sunset? And speaking of beverages, or in this case, deadly beverages, have I got a puzzle for you. 
Let me out, Professor. Why, thinking of water reminded me of poison, Luke. You know, that's a normal thing, right? Poison. Two men, known here as one and two, are playing a strange game. First, both men put their empty pitchers on the table. Next, a judge? Y'all got a judge for your poison game? A judge brings a pitcher filled with purple poison and places it in either spot A or spot B. The judge then starts shifting the poison from one pitcher to any adjacent pitcher over and over. After moving the liquid 55 times, the owner of the poison-filled pitcher must drink its contents. Oh, absolutely not, Smash Mitt. Show me a cat that isn't the plug. Yeah. I mean, the, the, most puzzles are completely random. Every now and then there are plot relevance puzzles, but the vast majority are just, why this reminds me of a puzzle. Or you talk to someone, they're like, hey, you like puzzles, don't you? Here you go. And they do a thing. Totally not a plug. Ba 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 ba. Pause for a cause. Uh, did you know? Did you know? On Saturday, April 16th at 3 p.m. Central, I will be joining twitch.tv slash deerbits for a charity stream? For a animal shelter in Central Texas that you're supporting? It's true. Save the date. Meow. Yeah. I said meow. Yeah. Why we? That's a great kid 10. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, oh, wait, wrong one. That one. Save the animals. Ba -da 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 the cat will be there. Right, dear? Confirmed. The cat will be there. It'll save me out. Games with animals, you know it. Yeah. The animals. Uh, if you were the judge and secretly wanted one to win, would you place the poison-filled pitcher down spot A or spot B? Hmm. Hmm. They put their empty pitchers. The judge brings a pitcher filled with purple poison places in either spot A or spot B. Start shifting the poison from one pitcher to any adjacent pitcher over and over. Hmm. Of course, dear. Yeah. So... They, they put they put it down. Yeah, right. You got memo mode. So they like if they put it here, then it goes like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Or d does the does the purple pitcher count? Or does it start here and then go one, two, three, four, five, like that? Does it matter? Maybe that's the question. Because if you start here, then it's uh, odd, even, odd. Even, odd, even, odd, even. Okay, it doesn't matter. Great. <laughs> um, and it's 55 times, so it's odd. So if you wanted one to win, you want to poison two, which means start with B, right? Right? Two guilty of murder. Phoenix Wright rules. Um, Because you started here, then it's odd, even, 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 odd. Doesn't matter. Odd always lands here. 55 times, you poison two, one wins. So I'm missing something, because that seems really easy. Here goes. Nope, okay, that was it. Great! That was almost too easy. It's too easy. I mean, I think they assume that you're gonna sit there and count out 55 times, and they're like, but actually it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's how a lot of the counting ones go. It's like, but it doesn't matter, there's a pattern. <laughs> yeah, if I got it wrong, I could do it again. But actually the answer is none of the above. Don't just don't. The liquid changes pitchers 55 times, which is an odd number of pours, regardless of where you set down your pitcher. Whichever pitcher sits in the middle will always contain after the odd number of pours. Therefore, in order for one to win, the poison-filled pitcher must go in spot B, because doing so in the pitchers... Too easy. You blow into the mic to cool down the poison. Door puzzles are not only above. Yep. Latent puzzles love their gotchas. Let's press on. We mustn't stand around all day. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of them aren't even really puzzles. This piece fits in with the room's decor. Boy, they have the same things to say in every room. Beautiful. Let's go. The pitcher with the poison next to the pestle with the pellet. Naturally. Excellent taste on the lighting. But one of them might have a hint coin, so I have to tap all three. Some make me want to commit violence. Yep. Oh my god, everyone's eating. Look at this gentleman in the bottom left. I'm gonna tap him on the nose. Hello, sir. It looks, it looks lovely. Eh. 
Nye. Hmm? Ah! It's me. It's me in three years. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but I'm afraid all the seats in our fine establishment are taken right now. What a pity. Indeed it is, sir. But while you wait for a table, may I interest you in a puzzle? No. No, bring me food to my... Do you have any idea how expensive this train is? Bring me food to my... my train car. Four couples sit elbow to elbow in a crowded dining car. All diners are sitting next to or across from their partners. The Joneses are sitting by the aisle. The mustachioed Mr. O'Connor sits beside his wife. Mr. Lambert, or Lambert, sits across from his wife. Using the information above, can you determine where Mrs. Hadley is sitting? Circle her and touch submit. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's overbooked so much as they don't have enough room in the, in the dining car. Seems like a bit of an oversight. Um, I, I do like memo, because you can just sc scribble all over it. Um, uh, they're sitting up by the aisle, so that's, um, probably these two, the, these two, meow, in the aisle, and then a gay couple, no, no, no gay couples allowed on the Voluntary Express, this place sucks, the swingers, mm-hmm, uh, sitting by the aisle, mustachioed Mr. O'Connor sits beside his wife, who got a mustache? Only the one, Mr. Monopoly Man, has a mustache. Okay, so he's sitting beside his wife. Pow. Train's not good enough. Yeah. Obligate to draw at least one dingus. Okay. I will draw one dingus. There's a dingus. There he is. He's concerned. Is that Gwank? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Gwank. Okay, so these two, these two, and then Mr. Lambert sits across from his wife. All diners are sitting next to are across from their partners. Oh, so it can't be... What? A what? A what? Right? If they're sitting across, then how is that even possible? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there was a memo feature in the first game. Is there no one uh, as an option across the table? Huh? Next to or across from. Right. But what I'm saying is if this is a couple, and this is a couple, then who's she with? Wait, oh, the capture stopped. <laughs> Great. Hold on a sec. Technical issues. There you go. Great. Thanks. Um, so I was saying if these two are a couple, oh God. These two are a couple and these two are a couple. Who's she with? B, F, or C, G are by the aisle. Yes, that's, yeah, that's the aisle. So, the Joneses are sitting by the aisle. Oh, that could just be these two. I'm smart. Where's your de uh, favorite detective, uh, the Mr. Guana? Uh, why, he's around. Uh, he's waiting in the wings. Um, Mr. Lambert sits across from his wife, so this is Lambert and his wife. Mrs. Hadley is E. 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 This should do the trick. I go, Professor. Here's a puzzle. Name our diner patrons. That's a weird puzzle. Yeah, 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 yeah. With everyone else identified, you only have the Hadley's to deal with. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. E. That's exactly right, sirs. They say that nothing whets the appetite like a hearty puzzle. It appears the table has just opened up. Allow me just a moment to tidy it up, and I will happy be happy to escort you to your seats. Maybe one of them didn't take the other's name. Yeah, you're making a lot of assumptions for that puzzle, pal. Oh, I'm starving! Oh, good. Our table is finally ready. We'll just be taking our seats, then. 
Madam, please wait just a moment. You see, these passengers have been here much longer. Nonsense! We'll not hear another word of this. You take these people before us? We are insulted. I do apologize, madam. It's simply that these gentlemen arrived before you. We will not be kept waiting, do you understand? Not a single second. Now out of our way. Madam. Talk about pushy. I do apologize, sirs. There's a lovely observation deck on the last car of the train. May I suggest that you spend a few minutes there while we prepare a new table for you? No need for apologies, my good man. Your job is not an easy one. We'll go see the deck and return in a bit. Did I did it. To the observation deck. Yeah, but where's her pooch and or kitten? Huh? Huh? Goodness me, no need to look so put out. Don't you know that ladies always go first? Especially ladies of a certain class. Like, uh, <laughs> moi. I'm not sure if class is the word she meant to use there. Damn, Luke. I've trained you well, my boy. The best pairing for great food is superb scenery. Did you know that the color green is quite soothing? Did you know? Green is a color. This is one heck of a dining car. Gosh, I bet even the kitchen's super posh. What do you think? Well, that door to the left seems to lead to the kitchen. What do you say we take a look for ourselves? Yeah, we can go right in there, right? Why not? Why not? Just look at all the stuff there is to eat. It seems that the Molontary Express is a first-class operation, right down to the kitchen. Green isn't that soothing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not very creative either. An observation deck is going to be the scene of a murder. You mean, hey, maybe. Uh, Kitsuna said, thanks for the dollar. The dollar. I had my first day at my new job at a bakery today, and it went well. I want to mention a game called Rocket Slime for DS. Already put in the recommendations. Thank you. Also glad the first day went well. Time to face what? Blue is uh, soothing. It's used to keep on a website without realizing it. Mmm. 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 I see. Appleton, thanks for 200 bits. Luke is savage, and I'm here for it. Thank you for the bits. Passengers in the kitchen, I'm sorry, but we just can't have that. I like his tiny little mm -hmm. mouth. Wearing those dirty clothes of yours in here could earn me a health code violation, you know. I'll have you know that there's nothing at all dirty about our clothes, sir. Well, maybe the professor. I'm riddled with filth. My professor's in tip-top shape, he is. Say what you like, short stack, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm running a kitchen here. His name's Macaroon. I thought it was 1922. It's not really clear when these take place. They tend to have, like, early 20th century technology and then randomly be like, eh, you know, whatever. You can just have a flying machine, that's fine. Only our minds are dirty, sir. Did you stop to think what could happen if icky outside germs made it in here because of you? I see your point. Terribly sorry for the intrusion and any worry we may have caused you, good sir. All right, I'm sorry too, sir. Wait, what's that? Oh my god. It's just modern day France. They don't have cell phones yet. Professor, look here. It looks like our friend the cook has been keeping a pet in the kitchen. And to think he was lecturing us about germs. He is rotund. Oh boy, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Or the hamster, I should say. Believe me, I know it's not okay to keep a pet in the kitchen. But he's my only friend, see? Furry or not, he's the only pet rodent I've got to talk to here. Why, he certainly is generously proportioned, isn't he? You said he's a hamster, yes? That's right, a hamster. The noblest member of the animal kingdom. See, when I first started working here, I needed someone to keep me company, so I bought him. You got a job as a chef on a train, and your first thought was, I better buy a hamster. Thing is, I feed him all the table scraps we take back, which makes for a diet that's a bit... rich. It's it. Thanks, Todd. We're all generously proportioned these days. He's really put on the pounds, and if he doesn't get in shape, it could really be bad for his health. For anyone in chat, who's thinking, oh boy, we're gonna have a, a, a hamster workout puzzle. You are not ready. 
The poor little guy. That's why I want to ask something of you, boy. Would you mind holding on to my friend for a little while? When he's here with me, I can't help but feed him. But those scraps of pa pastry and pasta add up. So you're saying you want us to hold on to him and help him shape up? Sounds like a great idea to me. I mean, what do you think, Professor? Can we please keep him for a little while? I do believe that helping those in need, rodents or not, is the duty of every true gentleman. We'd be happy to take custody of this hamster for the time being. Oh, thank you so much. Hearing that is a real load off my shoulders. We've been given the hamster mini game, which is now in our trunk. You could access the hamster mini game by tapping the hamster icon inside the trunk. One more thing. Since we won't be seeing each other for a while, please give him this apple, will you? He loves them so. I got a hamster toy. Use this apple to help your hamster get in shape. We got a Tomagotchi inside of our Layton now. Well, it's 4 p.m. I'll have a go about the community to see if anyone would help, like my help with anything. That'd be nice. <laughs> Tier walls of the cabs of railroad locomotives are traditionally painted light apple green for over a century now. So it's becoming help to keep the engineer from going stir crazy. <laughs> It keeps the passengers calm, and keeps the engineer from riding the train off the rails. It's a win-win. I'm gonna miss my little guy! Please take good care of him. A mech analyst Tamagotchi. Yeah, that's what mech analyst Tom is short for. Hamsters join your team as a manager! Don't worry, he's in good hands. What's your hand? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, hear me out. Hear me out. What if we named the hamster Luke? I don't think it'll get confusing. And best of all, we can probably replace Luke when hamster Luke gets better. What about Tumby? We could name him Tumby. Luke Jr. Better Luke. I don't think we have enough characters for better Luke. Uh, oh, God. Bet. Space. Nope. Can't do a space. Better. Oh, it does fit. It does fit. <laughs> Let's go see how better Luke is doing. <laughs> oh no, Luke named it that. Oh, now I'm sad. If Layton calls him that, it's funny. If Luke calls him that, then it's tragic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, little guy. From now on, anywhere I go, you'll go too. Squeak. Squeak, squeak. Ah, uh, it appears your special talents with animals has earned you a new friend, Luke. I always forget that Luke can talk to animals. It's like his special power. Hmm. I think so too, Professor. Oh my god, well we gotta, you know we gotta. Oh man. New hamster just dropped. Use the items you've picked up to help that sluggish hamster get back in shape. Items at your disposal are shown at the top of the touch screen. Drag items with the stylus to position them on the hamster's playground. The hamster notices any items within three spaces of his position. He won't react to any items four or more spaces away, so really think about where you place items. Tap an item to see the properties it has. Take advantage of the special properties of each item to maximize the hamster's workout. Once you've placed all the items where you want them, tap exercise to get your hamster moving. Once the hamster interacts with an item, it disappears from the playground. His workout ends when all items are gone or when he can't find the next item. Each time the hamster walks the number of steps listed as his goal, he'll get a little healthier. If you can get the hamster to his peak physical condition, something neat will happen. As the hamster's favorite snack, when he comes within three spaces of an apple, he'll walk towards it and ignore all their items around him. Go get it. Got any snacks around here? I Don't hold out on me. I forgot that he talks. He couldn't find the apple. I guess diagonals don't count. Um, go over there. Oh, come on! I'm tired! <laughs> B 
better Luke walk three steps. They show the exact place to put an apple in without not working. Excellent. <laughs> He's got a great walk cycle. Well, good luck, better Luke. I'll see you later. Um, yeah, we'll save. Sure. Hey, da -da Why is he from Brooklyn? Hey, you got any of the uh, pizza pie? It's me, better Luke. I'm gonna miss my little guy. Please take good care of him. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Better Luke next time. <laughs> Can you imagine all the dishes they must have to do? I bet those veggies come straight from the farm. Unlike the rest of the train, it's kind of dim and dreary here. Hmm. This fresh baked bread smells so good. No. Yeah, he had one friend, and he's in the dingiest part of the, of the train, and we took him. Bye! Looks like no one's here right now. Let's check back later. Alright. I check all three of them. You there! I have not done the trash puzzle yet. We're pretty early on. Welcome aboard, sirs. May I interest you in a refreshing beverage or a scrumptious snack? Thank you, but I don't think we need any snacks right now. Of course you don't. And I put on my best smile for nothing. Since we got this ritzy dining car on board, most people get their chow there. With competition like that, it's hard to sell even a cup of tea. I'm so bored. I got a while until my shift ends. Help me pass the time with this puzzle, would you? She's definitely from Psychonauts. <laughs> Puzzle. Here's a tasty puzzle for you. Your task is to take that big stack of pancakes and left plate, move them to the plate on the right. Uh, uh, you can only move one pancake at a time. Pancake can never rest on another pancake smaller than itself. Shift things around as much as you like. Use the middle plate to complete the puzzle. Oh my god, I gotta stack the pancakes. Don't stack the pancakes. Better stack the pancakes. I did it. Here goes. Yeah, we were stacking cakes. It's pretty good. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. He strikes again. <laughs> Collateral. That's very good. Delicious. Seven moves. It's actually a variant of the famous Tower of Hanoi puzzle. A brain tease invented by a French mathematician over 100 years ago. All caked up. <laughs> Check out the brain on you, kiddo. Let's our next stop is in this dinky little two cow village called Dropstone, right? There's like nothing there. I sure wish we could stop somewhere more exciting for a change. It has another piece, but it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry, we'll be seeing that pancake puzzle like 50 more times. Sally doesn't need a nap. I guess that's working a job for you. Sometimes you just have to deal with crippling boredom. Pancake stacks one. It's weird that it's got a one at the, end of the name of the puzzle. Probably won't do that one again. 50 more times. Stacking pancakes all day. No, oh, it's coming back to me. Na, 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 na. Who's in here? We will now be entering the cow zone. Oh no. Is this a bucket or a cauldron? Bucket. I wonder if this is one of those brooms that can fly. Say, Professor, does that little shack over there seem familiar to you? Indeed. Unless I'm mistaken, this must be the residence of you-know-who. I have a feeling she'll be a big help to us again. It's best if we just don't... Don't think about it. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, Voldemort. He's in the building. Eh, oh. Everything in here just seems so fancy. Why is everyone obsessed with puzzles? Tastes like puzzles. What a lovely deck! I love that it's animated. Well, when they're not talking. This is the best! This breeze feels great! Indeed, and the scenery is simply breathtaking. Weirdly smart and incredibly dead at the same time. Like, m like moi? Like me? It's an analog. Indeed, the scenery is simply breathtaking. Look, Luke, you can see a lake over there. The sky is so blue! Hey, just look at those trees fly by. Now that's what I call a view. It is quite amazing, Luke. Goodness, all this talk of pristine scenery reminded me of a puzzle I heard once. Why don't you try it? Puzzle. I do like four Wordle-type puzzles a day now. Only four? 
I do like 15 Wordle variants. I don't even do the regular Wordle anymore. It's too easy. The forest below contains four different types of trees. Use your stylus to draw dividers in the forest. So you form four different sections. Each section should contain one of each type of tree. All the trees must be connected horizontally or vertically, not diagonally. All right. Um, what about, what about a little bit of that? And then uh, a little bit of that. And then perhaps a wee bit of this. Oh, I, I cheesed it. I beefed it up. I beefed it real bad, Professor. Um, well, this one sucks over here. You gotta do like that, I think. Oh no, wait. Hold on. Wait, hold on. No, that's fine, you can do like, like that. And then like that. And then like that. Oh, I did it. This is my gigantic brain. My gigantic brains. Oh! Cool, blimey. The apprentice strikes again. There's miniature trees. Now take a moment to admire the gorgeous scenery. You did it. I did it, Professor. <laughs> He's taking out the vowels out of Professor, and I just goes. Pfft. That's exactly it. Well done. Well, did you expect any less, Professor? Yeah, yeah. It feels so nice out here, I almost forgot we're supposed to be searching for the Elysian box! I can't say I blame you, Luke, but that box led the doctor to his death. Come what may, I will solve this mystery. Of course! Good. I almost forgot a man just died! I was having so much fun! I think we finally have a good grasp of this train's layout. I think it's high time we began a proper investigation. Okay, Professor, let's get to it! The Professor and Luke decide to continue their investigation of the train. What's in the box, Professor? What's in the box? Look at that! Someone left rubbish on the deck here! Trash puzzle? Can you believe that? Some people have the worst manners. Listen here, Luke. A true gentleman cleans up after himself and others should the need arise. What do you say we take care of this mess? Feed it to the hamster. Taking out the trash. Oh no. Put that garbage into the trash can where it belongs. Using your stylus, move the blocks obstructing your path and slide the clump of garbage all the way into the can at the bottom of the screen. How hard could it be? Uh, we'll see you guys in an hour. Uh, let me just uh, do a little some, some of this. Uh, yeah, a little, a little something like that. Uh, oh god. That's that's probably good. It's probably pretty good there. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, shit. Yeah, sh shoot. Uh, what if instead we had that over there? Uh, great. Good. Excellent. Okay, hold on, hold on. What if first we move those out of the way? Nope, can't do that either. Well, that's just rude. Uh, same face from earlier. Might be. Crap. Wait, wait, what? How about... We just do that. That's not enough either. What, what if we did that? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Wait. Um. Uh. Uh. Gotta get that out of the. How the. How the. How? How do I. Uh, um. Uh. Uh, <laughs> how do I get it? How do I get it? <laughs> um, hmm, hmm, hmm. This sucks, Professor. This is Professor. Where'd he go, Professor? No, I'm good. 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 God, so good. Wait, what if? What if? Hold on. We we sh shuffle these around a bit. 
get that out of the way. Um, and then is this is this anything? Is this anything? I'm kind of right back where I was, but now I can do the nope. I'm just moving around in circles. Uh, the the ba 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 ba. ba. How? I need it to be here and able to move stuff around, but I can't. There's no way. Not like that. Um, apple time. No. No. Um. I'm thinking. I'm thinking with my brains, and it's not going well. Um. Why the fuck? Do some rotating. Um, how so? Um, um, like that? Yeah, like that. And now to test my theory. Easy. Easy. And there we have it. Spick and span. If you really know how to work it, you can complete this puzzle in as few as 29 moves. Don't forget trash belongs in the trash can on the street. Yeah, I, I got it just, just above 29. There! Now there's no trash cluttering up that amazing view. I, I wish he just reached over to pick it up and a gust of wind blew it away. Because it's outside the train line. Wonderful, isn't it? Keeping a place neat really brightens it up. I did it. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. It must be lovely to sit out here with a cup of tea. Maybe we should just stay out here. It's so nice. It's so nice. My, this observation deck certainly does command an impressive view. Sure does, doesn't it? My eyes can hardly follow it. Uh, oh. With a railing as solid as this, there's no way I could fall off. Oh, help me, Professor! I'm heading inside. You hear that? Oh, I'm angry. Oh, there. He's ah, really windy. There's nothing like travel by rail to put a spring in your step. I couldn't agree more. And there's no better way to do it than on a train as fine as yours, Mr. Beluga. Mr. Beluga. Hmm, so you know my name, do you? But of course, this train and its owner have quite a reputation in London. I've seen your face in the papers more than a few times. Oh, is that so now? I'm sorry, uh, my friend, but I can't say I know you as well as you seem to know me. The name is Herschel Leighton. I'm a professor of archaeology by trade, but a train enthusiast on the side. As we all are. I've heard tales of this train's grandeur, so I decided it was time to experience it firsthand. Also, there's been a moid! Well, isn't that something? It certainly is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Leighton, was it? Oh my, just look at how late it's gotten. I really have to run. Do enjoy your time aboard. What a lovely gentleman. She's not here. She's not here yet. 100% model train guy, 100%. And he would hide puzzles inside of the train. Why don't we head back to the dining car, Luke? I've worked up quite an appetite. They decide to visit the dining car a second time. Treyman doesn't want to be our friend. Yeah. Gosh, I'm just about to keel over from boredom. Sure, the job pays well, but it's so slow, it's painful. Well, good luck. No one's here right now. Hmm. It's a tile moving puzzle. Welcome back, sirs. My deepest apologies for a long wait. Let me show you to your seats. All right, it's finally time to eat. My sentiments exactly. Look at all these choices. It's enough to make my head spin. Look over there. There's some sort of commotion going on. You call this hot cuisine? I call it slop. You're saying we actually serve this to our customers? I'll remake it right away, sir. Hey, get that mess out of my sight this instant. But of course, very sorry to have displeased you so. And another thing, look at these vases and that picture. Utterly tacky. Replace them immediately. 
But, sir, that piece is the quintessential work by the world-renowned... I don't care if the Queen of England painted it. Replace it to be quick about it. Yes, of course, sir. I'll start making the arrangements at once. We took this friend and he gets bullied. It's that same man we saw earlier. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so bossy and loud. That would be Mr. Beluga, I believe. It's too bad that picture wasn't to his taste. I think it's marvelous. And speaking of pictures, Luke, have I got a puzzle for you? Is there everything about a puzzle, Luke? Yeah, anything about a puzzle? Heed not the rabble who scream. Here's my grandson. That is, in fact, not their grandson. Don't let them take my grandson. They are they would just say the queen. It right. isn't <laughs> possible. Don't let them be your grandpa. Oh, yeah, looks like they're oh. Trumpet wings. Thank you for the hammy. Plane landed after a four-hour delay. Turn off airplane mode and saw you're playing more Layton. Can't wait to see what happens next. Hey, thank you so much for the hammy. Appreciate it. Safe travels, whatever you're up to. I really appreciate it. Uh, Dracula, thanks for 15 months. Kicks Art Fia, thanks for five months. You're great, Barry. Presto. Thank you. Any gig art? Thank you for 16 months. 16. What even is time, man? Did I sub through all of COVID? Has it been, how, I don't know how many months it's, it's been long. It's been a long time. Thank you, though. Blangry, thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. Right, thanks again for that hammy trumpet. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, her bleeding hoyness. The drawing below is made up of curved lines that intersect to create sections. If you want to color in the entire canvas, so no section touches the same s side of a section with the same color, what's the fewest number of colors you can use? You can use the color as many times as you want, as long as it doesn't touch any ears of the same color. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, well, um, what we got? What we got? So, um, like this one has to touch, uh, one... Two, three, four. So that's five colors already there. Uh, do we need more than five? This guy touches one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a lot. Uh, this one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot more too. Corners don't count. Doesn't touch any here with the same color. No section touches the side of a section with the same color. Corners don't count. Thank God. Okay. Then that's just one, two, three. This one is one, two, three, four. So that's five total. This guy. This guy. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. That's probably the most. That's quite a lot. I know the answer without even looking at the picture. Dang! Smart over here. Uh... But there could be duplicate colors between these. Those don't have to be that many different ones. There's a theorem that states the max number. Hmm. 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 So just by coloring. Yeah, you could just be like, I'll just do like dashes for that one. And, and then like swirls for that one and dashes like... You could do that, but I'm lazy and dumb and bored. Um, I'm gonna guess it's like four, like four or five. <laughs> N minus one, but what's N? Mark sections of letters to see how many different letters are needed. Yeah, but then at that point, I might as well just do it all. The whole point is that I don't wanna. What if the answer was was a mogus. What if it was just an emogus? Solve for so this is n. Solve for n. This same 2DS. My old DS fell down. Broke the top right. Listen to my games. No, sorry to hear about that. Can you find the piece that touches more spaces and count that? Well, yeah, this one touches a lot of spaces. The the question is how many of those actually do need to be different. I'm just gonna guess four. I'm just gonna guess four. That sounds like a good. Oh. No matter how many shapes you have, the max colors is four. Done. Boom. Just leave it to me. Nope. Wrong. Well, I'm stumped. Think hard and try again. Nice. Let's try again. Among Us being on Jeopardy? No, I didn't. You screwed it up, Luke. We're all gonna die now, Luke. Because of you. Yeah, I'll throw some hints at it. 
There's no trick. You might have an easier time if you mark the drawing by using the memo function. That's not a hint. Let's take a closer look at the corners. What about the corners? Oh, because those have to be different? So that's, uh, one, two, three. And this one's one, two, three, four. But those could be the same. This corner is a mess over here. One, two, three. I mean, answer is, is the answer three? Maybe the answer is three. That seems low. How many colors do you have to use? It's about refilling the ink in the printer without going broke. Uh, if you're using a printer, then you're already broke. I'm gonna guess three this time. Based off of very Ooh, little thought on my part. Works. Oh my god. That was almost too easy. Too easy. Oh, most of it can be done with two colors, and then you just have a corner. <laughs> I hate seeing that. I hate seeing this, and it's like, well, obviously you don't need a lot. Man. I was convinced leaving a spot blank was a color without using a color and ruined myself. Oh, no. Oh, no. You'll need three colors to fill in the drawing. Most of the drawing can be done with two. One pesky area in the lower left corner requires a third color to complete. It's very unsatisfying, yeah. Expertly solved, Luke. The guy said the answer is always three was correct. Damn. Let's make a puzzle. Use our new memo function. What if I just guess a low number? Done. After a puzzle like that and a lovely meal, I could use a break. Let's head back to our room. Back to the room. Sorry to interrupt your game. There's something important you should know. As you progress through the story, some puzzles will disappear from their original locations. These puzzles are then moved to Granny Rilton Shack, where you can solve them when you want. Here's the first set of puzzles to be sent to the shack. If no puzzles appear on the next screen, it means you're good. I missed a puzzle. A strip of paper! Good. I do really appreciate that functionality. That's nice. Don't have to worry about missing stuff. Oh, we got a snail race? We do have a snail race. If you want more riddles, shack up with green. Thank you for your patronage, sirs. I hope our cuisine was to your liking. Oh yes, both the variety and execution were excellent. You honor us, sir. Professional service such as myself live for words like those. As a fan of diverse menus, perhaps you might enjoy this puzzle. Sir. Bomb snail, best snail. One, two, three, four, five. You gotta vote. Vote for that snail that you believe. Now, Luke, are you sure you can really eat all of that? You put in quite an order there. No sweat, Professor. I'll clean my plate and still have room for more. It's no wonder the Professor is concerned, as Luke's order cost twice what the Professor's did. Below, you can see all the items Luke and Professor Layton ordered, as well as the price of each item. Touch the price for each of the items that are part of Luke's order. Yeah, I find a number that adds up to double the other. Oh. I hate these. <laughs> these puzzles are literally just like, I don't know, do some math until you do the right amount of math. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Have to cost the entire meal. No. Luke's meal costs twice as much as the professor's. That means the ratio of Luke's cost compared to the professor's must be two to one. Yeah, I read the puzzle as well. The cost of the entire meal is 105 pounds. This tone needs to be split to fit our ratio of two to one. Therefore, Luke's meal costs 70, professor's cost 35. What combination of food and trick items can you find that up to 70? Thank you. I don't want to do the monster math. What well, adds up to 70? Uh, good night, Duke. Take care. Uh, oh god. 70. Well, these two are 30. This is 55. Uh, and that's 75. No. Um, that's also 30. 30, 60, nope. Eight. It's 25 pie looks tasty. I, I can't quite tell. Looks like a meat. Looks like some kind of a meat. Liberal use of hint coins to make things fun later on. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> Just throwing away hint coins. Uh, everything except 8 plus 13 plus 14, right? Uh, these? 
How are we that there? Um, that's 30. That's 28, 25. Uh, it needs to be 70. Gravy costs 8 pounds. I like the made it LBS pounds. Yep. It actually doesn't matter what, how much currency you spend in the UK. You just need to give them a heavy enough bag. They'll accept it. 25 is a block with some honey drenched on it. Ooh. Scrumptious. My water tastes like sand. A Freudian slip. It's not gravy, it's tea. Yeah, that's tea. The eight. Um. Man, I don't want to think. Why did I play this game again? Um. So it's like a bunch of them just add up cleanly, but then I can't use those because then it doesn't add up. Right? Remind, remind me of what we're doing. Professors cost 35. Let's just find something that costs 35. Do that. That's way less math. <laughs> uh, 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 35, 35. No, 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 don't, no. Wait, wait. No, wait. Almost, wait, no. Damn it. Which one's those? No, that's 24. That's 26. Wait, 26, that, no. Um, huh? 12, 16, 25, and 17? Yeah, you can do it for me. That'd be great. 4, 8, 15, 16. What? There's no 4? 12, 16, 25, and 17. 25 and 17. These ones. Those ones. Uh, let me see. Let me check your work real quick. Um, yeah, fine. Um, part of Luke's order. Luke did more. So those. Come on, come on. Thank you. Unfair this himself. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do any math. Ever again. Huh. Wonderful. Good thing that's the last math puzzle in a Layton game. I mean, it's, it's like, I don't know. Did I solve these back when I first played them by myself? Yeah, of course I did. Did I enjoy it? No! Because you're just sitting there counting. <laughs> it's like... It just feels like homework. But like homework that I have long since outgrown. So it's very easy and that makes me more frustrated. <laughs> Maybe you suck at counting. No! I don't want to count. I also use the calculator. Well, I use the calculator called chat. Also, you could just look online. Uh, if you calculate the total tab, you say, but, 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 once you got those numbers, it's easy. Are you sure you didn't order too much? Nope. The stew is great, and the steak's great, too. Eat up, I suppose. He's gonna be better, Luke. Oh, how's better Luke doing? You must possess quite the intellect to solve a puzzle like that so easily. Are you sure? What's the point, sure, if I can't use chat for math? Yeah, we're doing it together. Now, as we have some time until our next destination, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the ride. Thank you. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Oh! No doubt about it, the Monterey Express is the last word in luxury. Even the crystal is first rate. I'll say, look at this glass. Yes, it's etching is quite impressive. Oh, speaking of glasses, have you heard this one, Luke? Your TS. What the hell's a TSI test? What's that? You can help with math and nothing else. You can help with whatever you want. No plot spoilers, but by all means, you can yell at me and be like, eh, you do it. If I'm like, no, 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 I got this, I got this, then it's fine. The owner of a four-star restaurant assigns a young waiter the task of stacking glasses in a decorative way. Eager to please, the young waiter immediately draws five separate designs, shows them to the owner. The owner takes one glance at the designs and with a look of irritation, turns to the boy and cries, this design is preposterous, what were you thinking? Which of the five designs is the owner talking about? Uh, D. He's talking about D. Here goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's preposterous. Layton's apprentice strikes again. The smath test. It's like the SATs for people that didn't take them or now adults need to apply to college. Oh. The answer is three. <laughs> it was only about sketch D. If you look closely, closely, you can see the first and second row of glasses couldn't possibly be arranged in the manner depicted. It's a simple 2D sketch, didn't take into account the rim of the glass. Yeah, you can't stack a single glass that's round on two glasses. These nuts. And it does look a bit like a puppy. Thank you. 
Nicely done, Luke. Now, let's move away from the glass, shall we? It'll all be all too easy to break it. Can't even break the shell of the glass. Yeah, if your glass is two-dimensional. Because you shattered it to pieces. Hey, Go Team Venture, welcome. Let's don't break it, Luke. I see you looking at it. Approaching it steadily. Too small. Interesting. That was bad, even for Mr. Beluga. You mean he always blows up at you like that? Well, you know, me or someone else on the staff, the boss can be real hard to please. That's awful. You guys shouldn't have to put up with him bullying you like that. Well, the boss does have a point. After all, he made this railway what it is. He always says that a first-class train deserves first-class atmosphere. Yeah, yelling in front of the patrons is not exactly first-class atmosphere. But... Heck, even the plates we use in the dining car are special order. The workmanship is amazing. Check out the details on the back. On your plate. The plate in front of you bears a mark made up of two nesting equilateral triangles. Can you puzzle out how many times bigger the three, ch the large triangle is when compared to the smaller one? Um, well, it's like a fourth of the size. So is it four? Is it, is it just, is it just, is it just four? Is it just four? Is it, is it just four? It was just four. Try four. That was almost too easy. That was too easy. That was so easy. I was like, "What am I missing? So am I missing something?" Well, I don't remember this puzzle because it's not. <laughs> also, oh my God, their plates are MREs. That's great. It's like math, but worse. Uh, being successful does not excuse workplace abuse. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, he does run a fancy train. Yeah, and that gives him the right to be mean to his staff. If you think to flip the little triangle around as shown, it should only take a moment to realize the Triforce. All plates are MREs if your stomach's powerful enough. Yeah, if you're like a goat. Or a, a pool of acid. Hey, Gonzor. You have MREs? Oh, no. Are they ready to eat? That reminds me of a joke. Triforce. Gosh, you really have an eye for this kind of thing. It's me, Pool of X. <laughs> what exactly do you think Mr. Beluga doesn't like about these plates? You got me there. I guess rich people are just fickle. That's where we're leaving it. <laughs> just, I guess they're just weird. Rich people are weird. The boss can really bust my chops sometimes, but at the end of the day, I don't mind the job. Much. Mm. Good luck, man. Maybe ready to eat. Maybe. This man has been chomping away. And I respect him. Me. Ready to eat. Who's ready to eat? Me. Now what do we have here? My boy, my sweet little boy. You've got to do something right this instant. Search the entire train. Adam, please calm down so I can understand the situation. Oh, Inspector Chummy, I had no idea you were on board. If it isn't Mr. Layton, what are the chances, eh? Enough small talk, I have other matters to attend to. Namely, a missing boy. It seems this woman's child has gotten off to somewhere. I don't suppose you've seen him around? No, I don't believe I've seen any young boys. My little boy wandered off, but he hasn't returned yet. I'm simply at my wit's end worrying about him. Take my boy. You can have Luke. He's, he's great. Gentlemen. I demand that you drop whatever it is you're doing and help me find my boy! <clears throat> She's been going on like this from the moment I walked in. I understand your concern, madam. My friend and I will be glad to lend you a hand in your search. We'll have the best chance of recovering your boy if we set out searching immediately. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. Now go find my boy already! Tell him mommy's worried about him! It seems the only clues we have to go on are this shoe the tyke left behind and his name, Tom. I've tried to squeeze more details from the woman, but it's useless. She just keeps demanding I search the entire train. A tiny shoe? Tom the cat. This is one of Tom's shoes. It's positively tiny, isn't it? I find it quite curious myself, Luke. What's strange is that I don't think most children with feet that size can even walk yet. Hmm. It's Tom's shoe. Can we throw Babette off the train? Tom! This is a big mystery. While riding on the Molotary Express, Babette's little boy, Tom, manages to disappear. If the shoe he left behind is any indication, Tom must be a very young child. 
Where could a child that small have wandered off to on his own? I don't remember this, but I like that seconds in, I was like, oh, she's got a pet. And they're just dragging it along. Play this in high school. I played this game in college. Yeah, I was in college doing like, the fuck is 18 plus 13? <laughs> Shit. What, he's got a puzzle? I was certainly surprised to see you on board, Inspector. May I ask what brings you here? The DS came out while I was in high school, so... <laughs> During the investigation, we stumbled upon the late doctor's diary. Its pages detail the doctor's final days, which led me to this train. But since this investigation is none of your business, that's all I can tell you, Mr. Layton. Yeah, I was struggling with addition. Yeah, as I said, yeah. Balling my eyes out the sad parts, no! What's with these games and rich ladies who treat their pets like kids? I... Uh, just... Yeah. Circuit City! Oh. You ever see an old Circuit City? And you can tell that it used to be a Circuit City because it's got the giant weird block on the front. And they're like, no, 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 it's a hardware store now. Don't mind the Circuit City part. No, I've not played uh, right X Layton. I have not. Maybe someday. We may be looking for a dog, but this lady is the root. Oh! Dear catapulting stones out of their glass house. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. <laughs> right now, finding that lost child is my top priority. However, since all I have to go on is a shoe and a name, this search will be an uphill battle. Luke and I would be glad to offer our assistance in the matter. I'm sure you would. I've heard about you, Leighton. You've got quite the reputation for poking your nose in other people's business. I have a reputation, but you didn't know my name, and you're like, what is it, Leighton? You jerk, chill me. Before I let you know my case, show me your famous powers of deduction by solving this problem. Media play sign just as big. Nice. I miss Circuit City. Todd says, do you? What, they have circuits? Yeah. Yeah, you, you walk in, they'd have, they have those giant, like, mesh bins just full of loose circuit boards. Which is, like, random shit attached. And you'd be like, uh, I guess this'll work. And you'd slap it into your beige box. It was the 90s. You know, it was a different time. you just grab any random piece of circuitry, slap it in a beige box, add a floppy drive, and boom, you're good. That's all you need. You missed the smell of Circuit City? Ozone. <laughs> I was like, I was about to ask, what did it smell? It smelled like ozone. They also sell cities. Not as popular business. Oh, I miss Borders. I do miss Borders, though. A woman in a shoe store pays for a pair of $30 shoes with a $50 bill. Here we go! The clerk doesn't have a charge. So it doesn't have change. I don't know how to read. He goes to the shop next door to break the $50 bill. He then gives the woman her change. A while later... The clerk next door comes into the shoe store complaining the bill she got from the shoe clerk was counterfeit. The mortified shoe clerk gives the other shopkeep a $50 bill of his own in apology. Both the woman with the fake bill and the shoes she took are gone. In total, how much did the shoe store clerk, clerk lose in dollars? How much did he lose? Um, $50, right? Well, I guess, are you including the cost of the shoes? So, she wants 30 bucks, and so he gives, is it 70? Is it the, the, the difference of the, a hundred dollars, four, four dollars, three dollars, is it, it's always three. <laughs> um, she pays for sure, she got 50 dollars, he goes, I got, I got 30 bucks from next door. So, if we don't include the cost of the shoes, he's essentially giving her 20 bucks, as well as the 50, which is 70. But if we're... It, it says how much did he lose in dollars, so I don't think we're including the cost of the shoe? The shoes are 17.95. It's asking for total, in which case it would be 50 bucks? But he's out 50 bucks he never had. I'm gonna say 70 and be mad when it's 100. How about that? How about that? This should do the trick. No! No! Well, I suppose that's one possibility. Well, yeah, what about eliminated. inflation? Maybe, maybe, maybe she tried to buy them in crypto. I failed. What about shipping and handling? Is it 80 then? The, the inverse. Let's, let's be wrong again. 80. 
And now it's worth it's worth more. My theory. No. Okay, is it a hundred? My, this one is quite formidable. Come on, come on. Yep, yep. Is a hundred? A hundred in it? Yeah, I don't need any pick rats. It's fine. What if it was a hundred? And now to test my theory. Sweet. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, well. Yep. I suppose you can't win them all. Not them all. You can't win them all, Herschel. Okay, what if it was 50? It's 20? Wait, why is it 20? Why would it be 20? 100? No, it can't be 120. Three shoes. She had three shoes. 100... 10,000... <laughs> I think you have the least amount of progress still got the bonuses. Yeah, probably. 20 and change. But he spent 50 of his own in apology. Which is like a separate transaction. He sells the real 30 bucks that he got from next door. Right. But she took the 30 and left him with 20. But that's how much did he lose. So he lost the 30 from... Plus zero from fake money, plus 50 from neighbor, minus 20 change, plus 50 repayment. So it's it's so it is twenty. He would get it to fifty percent. How much for shipping and handling? This should do the trick. Sweet. Oh my, this one is quite formidable. Qu cool. Cool. <laughs> Neat. Forty. Thirty. <laughs> just it's just. Is this a puzzle solving stream or an auction? How about 30? Nope. Yeah, well. Let's just try Consider random numbers, see what sticks. Solved. Nice. Thing includes the shoes. $120. This one is quite nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Maybe we should take a step back. I got to 120, but I don't know how. Did we try 50? I don't know if we tried 50. Did we try 50? I don't remember anymore. We've tried too many times. 50. Consider this puzzle solved. Obviously, a it's true 50. true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. How, literally, how could you get any other number? Oh, oops. Hold on. I jiggled the cable. I jiggled the cable. There you go. Well done. You know it's a good puzzle when, when this is what you're looking at. When that's what's on the, the top screen. Just a bunch of minus and pluses and minus minus numbers. You're like, great. Thanks for the puzzle. The shoes the customer made off with cost thirty dollars. The change the shoe clerk gave him gave her cost him twenty. Bring the shoe clerk's total losses to fifty. He received fifty in real money when he swapped the fake bill for change, but had to return this same fifty when the counterfeit bill was discovered. This means these two transactions effectively cancel each other out. Mm hmm. Right, because he gave a fake dollar, but then got a real one, and then gave it back, essentially. So then he's just out. Okay. Okay. Do you know math? Three? Uh, sometimes no, maybe. And the answer was three. <laughs> the winner of the poll was three. Hooray! We did it! <laughs> it seems your fame isn't entirely undeserved. <laughs> mm, let's see if you're as smart as you say you are, Layton. Uh, 20. No, 30. 100? 120. 130? Final answer. 80. 50. It was 50. I see. Your reputation precedes you, Leighton. Nevertheless, this is my case, so I'll be searching for Tom alone. Search on your own if you like, but don't get your hopes up. Right. Hang on. No. Looks like no one's here now. Let's check back. Okay. We gotta find the small boy. She's in car number six. Let's go back to our room. Maybe. What are you doing? You gave away 30 shoes and 20 change. I listen. I don't care to think about it anymore. Selling shoes for 30? They looked awful. Well, they were on sale because they were awful. Excuse me, madam. Have you seen a small boy wandering around here? He would be missing a shoe. No, can't say that I have. I'd certainly remember if I'd seen a shoeless little boy. I see. Well, thank you very... Oh, but while we're on the topic of shoes, maybe you could help out with a little predicament of my own. Puzzle. Hamster check? I haven't got anything new for the hamsters, so there's no 
reason other than just to say hi, wave. Here's a maze made up of shoes. So what do you guys want to do other than Layton? You guys want to do something else? Uh, we could play, play. Uh, we could uh, open up the calculator and do one plus one and hit equals over and over. Watch the number go up. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, Todd. Ooh, that sounds fun. Here's a maze made up of shoes. Your task is to travel from start to goal. You may only travel horizontally or vertically, one space at a time. You must alternate between left and right shoes every step. You may not pass through any of the walls in the maze. Tap each space one at a time to highlight the path you want to take. To make a misstep, you can deselect that space by tapping again. Is there less math in Ace Attorney? Uh, left foot, but you can step to the side. Right? So it could be like left foot, right foot, cross them over, right foot, left foot, right foot, mm, left foot, right foot. Shit. Go back. Right foot, left foot. These are all left feet. Right foot. Nah, uh, yeah, I thought I was being clever. Yeah, beans. Um. Uh, well, I, I, <laughs> I, I, as I said, some of these puzzles, I'm just like, this is not a puzzle. I don't enjoy it. But I'll still, th these are very nice, relaxing games to just like chip away at. Be like, oh, I got like 20 minutes. I'll do like a puzzle, walk around a little bit. I'm good. Um, th these are a weird choice for me to stream. You know, the games that I stream and the games that I play are not always one-to-one. -one. Some games that are really fun to stream that I would not otherwise play, and otherwise they're games that I might love to play my own time that I might not stream. People really like the stream of Curious Village, and I was like, sure, we can do more of it. I think maybe part of it's because I'm just like, fuck math. <laughs> but, yeah. It's a little bit brain off, a little bit brain off, not entirely, but yeah, it's just like a little, little, little teaser. And, um, and also because so many of these puzzles are optional. So you'd be like, you know what, fuck this, I'll do it later. You just leave it abandoned, go back to Granny Rilton later, and be like, alright, now I want to try it again. So, but because chat, <laughs> if I'm like, I'm not doing this, I'll do it later, chat will yell at me. So we're going to sit and do every single puzzle I come across until we get it done. Or I'll have to look it up. So, no puzzle left unsolved. Left foot, right foot, 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 left foot, left. I've done it. Consider this puzzle solved. Thanks for the hydrate. Charlie Brown. Huh, wonderful. Criss Cross. Skip what you want to skip, Barman. Appreciate it. I think I would sooner just look up a solution and be like, all right, we're done. Moving on. Just so you get that closure. In memory. Charlie Brown's father. No dinner till puzzle. Color me surprised you got quite the noodle under that hat, don't you? He's just got like a really tall, thin head that's just, it's like folded up upon itself like spaghetti under the hat. If he takes his half, it's just like, it's really good. That's latent lore. That's canon. He's got a pile of spaghetti. There's no math in Knockout City. Why would you do it? What, what happened? How many balls do you have in your hand at this moment? Zero balls plus one ball equals enemy gets hit. Sadly, it is math. <laughs> Good. There is math. Gotcha. Uh, nothing's in here. That's a noodle. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Nope, I wanted... Oh. Oh, man, I am dog food. Is Sammy wearing a mesh shirt? What's the matter, mister? Whoa, oh, hey. Oh, so I snuck into my uncle's room and borrowed this camera, right? Thing is, then I dropped it. I've been here trying to find all the pieces for like an hour, but I've only found one. That's quite a predicament. Yeah, and if word gets out about this wrecked camera, I'm gonna get major flack from the boss, man. Whoa, brain flash incoming. Dig this. I'm gonna give you this busted hunk of junk. You do with it what you want. Just get rid of the thing, will you? Catch you on the flip side. Hey, come back here. Camera mini game has been added to the trunk. Catch you later, uh, Akaru uh, Ak Akaru-chan. Akarui-chans? Yeah, I got it eventually. Thank you. Chat is cute. I've got a squarish part. Rebuild the camera in the professor's trunk. I got it. Sorry, it took me a bit. Camera icon has been added to the trunk. Reassemble the broken parts of the camera there. Touch the trunk icon, touch the camera icon. Good. Yeah, good. 
The squarish part is probably part of the camera. Drag parts from the bin on the top of the touchscreen in the camera to enlarge them. Drag around place inside the camera's body. Control orientation, position the camera parts within the stylus, touch the center of the part, try to move around. Rotate a part by tapping its edge and dragging your stylus around. Fix the camera, gather all 10 missing parts, place them correctly so that no gaps remain. What happens when the camera's restored to working order? You'll just have to find out for yourself. Oh my god, well, squarish bit. It may be like there. Just rattle around in there. Nice. How's better Luke doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. Chill banger song. The, uh, the soundtrack in these games is always very good. Let's go talk to Babette. And Car Sace. Um. Be -be 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 -be. Wah. Nope. What's this? Something's falling behind those boxes. It appears to be a cap of some sort, but I don't think I can reach it from here. Maybe the cap belongs to Tom? We certainly shouldn't rule out the possibility. Since we're on the subject of caps, have you ever heard this one, Professor? There is a missing child, but I remember a puzzle about hats. A preschool teacher, as everyone in her, in her class, closed their eyes. While none of the students were looking, she slipped caps onto their heads and then said, Okay, everyone. Open your eyes and look at the hats all your friends are wearing. Whoever sees four or more people wearing red hats gets a balloon. Whoever doesn't gets a blue balloon. In a class of ten children, only some of the kids got a red balloon. Knowing this, how many kids went home with a red balloon? The answer is ten! That child is the shoe clerk! What happened? Hi! Yeah! Tolner, thank you for ten gifted subs! Holy heck, that is a lot. Thank you very much. I'll read those out in a moment. I gotta count some hats first. Uh, num, 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 num. Yeah, whoever sees four more people wearing red hats. So, so if you got, you got like five kids over here. These guys are all wearing red. They're wearing red hats. And then, um, how many people are in our class? Ten children. So then you got, you got five more with blue hats. Blue! Um... I guess only uh where's these four more four or more gets a red balloon. Only some of the kids got a red balloon. Oh, so then actually uh she only has seven red balloons. Don't look at the picture. The picture might lie to you. Uh 99 loose balloons. Cause if it was like this, then each of the kids wearing red would see four other and get a red balloon. And then all the blue kids will get red balloons. So that can't be it. But what if... Um, what if it was only four? And then it was over there. And then each of the red kids only saw three others. And the blue kids all saw four. So there you go. There's your answer. So then... Uh, how many kids went with a red balloon? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? No. Wait. Yeah. Red would get... The red ones get balloons. Yeah, yeah. So six. Six! Answer six. Final answer. Don't even and now think about to it. Test my theory. Yeah. Oh, I did. Huh. Three Wonderful. twice. If the answer is not three, it's got to be three again. That's right. Since you know only some of the children received red balloons, you also know that some children didn't receive them. If five or more children were wearing a red hat, every child in the class would get a red balloon. If three or fewer were wearing red hats, everyone would take. It. No one would get a red balloon. Four children must have red hats, meaning six children received red balloons. There they go. The teacher, the answer is that the teacher has to forgive herself. The accident was 10 years ago. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. We've moved on. It's okay to forgive yourself. Rats! I was sure I could stump you with that one. Better luck next time, Luke. For now, we'd better return to searching for the little lost boy. Right, yep, better get back to that. Now that you mention it, how do you suppose Tom managed to worm his way into such a little space? Good question. He's very small. He's very little. Look, you fail. Did you see a child in here? Did you see a child? There's a hat belonging to a child in here. You think you would notice that? The professor's trunk. He's got a shoe and a hat at the bottom. Very established he's small. Yeah, but he's real small. We didn't realize just how small he was. Uh, Jerbear, thanks for five months. It's been five months. 
It's been. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. Joshua R.B., thanks for five months as well. Professor Lean keeps his lunch under his hat, which is a slightly smaller hat, as you might expect. Oh. Oh, she's sleeping. Thought she died. She also opened the box. He was raptured, bit by bit, as he ran around. Take a look at this, Professor. It's food scraps, if I'm not mistaken. Do you suppose Tom wandered into the kitchen to grab something to eat? It's possible, though, if, if that's the case. The child certainly is lacking in the manners department. He made a mess. It's why Kirby. It was all Kirby. Na 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 na. Whoa! Uh, Tiger, thanks for 96 bits, Professor! Kevlar, thanks for 49 months. This reminds me of a puzzle. Have you heard the one about the puppet and the Reese's species? I'm gonna choose to not acknowledge that. That flower vase looks like it cost a chunk of change. It's true, but lovely decorations really do wonders for a room. That's doubly true for flowers. Tell me, Luke, what do you think of flowers like these? I didn't acknowledge anything, how dare you? Crazy daisies. Now for something on the flowery side. One of the three pictures labeled A, B, and C. Of the three pictures, A, B, and C, one is actually the same as the picture on the far left. However, the image on the far left has had its contents flipped left to right and its colors inverted and changed to black and white. Of A, B, and C, which picture is the same as the black and white picture on the far left? It's been flipped left to right. Uh, um, num, num. It sure does look a whole lot like A. Um, uh, what are the differences? Well, it's not C. And what's the difference is A and B? A and B look very similar. What am I missing? This is like highlights. What's well, different? There's an extra little dot. There's a tiny little dot. I think it's just A. Is it just A? I think, I think it's, just, it's just A. I'm gonna go there. This is a little dot. Let's see if this works. Okay. Great. The one that was cake. immediately the most obviously matching one. Okay. Yep. Great! You can't spell three without A. Ty guy, thanks for 15 bits. I usually stick around and watch, but I'm really late into the stream. I think I'm gonna head on out here probably soon. Hope everyone has a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Ty. Appreciate you stopping by. That tall nerd with 10 gifted subs to Swift. I must. Swift, Swift and Must TV, Sharpest Ensign, is Isaac O21, Last Unicorn underscore, not the Belmont, Piotr Ikbink, McBabak, Mercanius, King Ramen Noodle, and Niachi Merperius. Thank you so much, that's all heard. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone enjoys the emotes. He can thunk and thunk all day long, and you can use channel points to make them think twice as hard. Or maybe give them sunglasses or squinch them up or whatever. Luke can die and turn grayscale. That's a good one. So many options. It's priceless. Not all puzzles. Actually, it's not priceless because you guys spend channel points. Oh, uh, not all puzzles would be such a breeze. Let's keep moving for now. Let's keep a move on. Frozen peaches. That's not good. I bet this wine costs an arm and a leg. Gosh, this dress is big enough to be a bedspread. Luke. Uh, okay, what's up? Hi. Yeah, snork! Sweet baby boy! Yeah. How can she sleep at a time like this? I imagine she tired herself out fretting over her child's disappearance. Come, Luke, the sooner we find the lad, the sooner we can put the poor lady at ease. Mm-hmm. I gotta find my boy! The beautiful boy! Oh! Is everything all right, miss? I'm just fine, thank you. Excuse me. Say, does that lady seem kind of... familiar to you? Yes, now that you mention it, something about her did seem rather... familiar. Hmm. Hmm, that reminds me of a puzzle. The time I was asleep on a train. In order to solve this puzzle, you have to leave me alone for ten minutes, Luke. Can you do that? Oh boy, I love puzzles, Professor! Welcome aboard, sirs. May I interest you in a refreshing beverage or a scrumptious snack? Sorry, miss. Right now, we're busy searching for a small child. Have you seen a young boy wandering by himself around here? A little boy, huh? Uh, nope. Sorry, mister, but that doesn't ring... That doesn't ring any bells. Oh, what happened? Did he get lost on the train? 
Unfortunately, we haven't been able to track down the missing tot. You know, I probably shouldn't spread rumors, but hey, I got nothing else to do. Did you know that there's a weird old lady staying in this car? What if she kidnapped the little one and has him stowed away in her room? I know it's probably not true, but what if she's just so bizarro? I can't help thinking that. But I could get in trouble for spreading rumors about patrons, so forget I said anything, okay? Bye. A strange older lady, huh? I wonder if we've seen her around. Your guess is as good as mine, Luke, but it certainly does make one wonder. If it's Granny Riddleton. Hello there, sunny boys. Ever get all knock-kneed and goose-pumpy goose from a terrifyingly hard puzzle? Well, have no fear. The beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton stands before you ready to help. I should have known. Who else could this tiny house belong to? Hey, wait a second. What are you doing here anyway? So you've heard of me, eh, shorty? Good to know I'm still a hit with the youngins. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course I've heard of you. We met before, remember? Nope. I suspect you got the wrong granny, boy. Never seen you before. But you're here now, so that means you want to hear my spiel, right? Not really. Oh, no need to be so modest. Allow me to thank you for visiting me by bestowing a little tidbit of information on you. My specialty, you see, is puzzles. Puzzles people forget about. Puzzles people miss. Surely you boys have had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red. It happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take those poor lost little puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. I imagine any puzzles you left behind have found their way to my hut as well, if you want to say hello. If my hut is empty, then you clever lads will just have to go out there and find some more puzzles. Or miss more puzzles. Now why don't you take a peek inside the hut to see what's there? I'd rather not. Goodbye. Is this as good a puzzle game as Ghost Trick? Well, Ghost Trick is very unique. <laughs> the puzzles packed in the hut are the ones you left unsolved. Take a peek. No. No. Hey, Xanry, we're on a train. And we're looking for a little boy. Hi. Are you a little boy? Oh, passenger. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to get in the way of you using the deck. You're not a passenger, too? No, I'm just a mechanic on the train. I ride along with her in case something goes funny. But as you might figure, she's as smooth as butter. Makes my job pretty easy. In fact, I got so much free time that I started making up puzzles. Want to take one for a test drive? He does have carrot eh? It's delicious. And snap it off. After years of bad business, a local zoo has finally run out of money to feed its animals. Bellies rumbling from days with no food. The animals make a plan to escape the zoo. After prying open the bars on their rusted cages, all the animals attempt to find their way through the maze-like walls of the zoo to the exit. Tap the picture of each animal you think made it safely out of the zoo, and then tap Submit. Just remember, an animal shows its true colors in the wild. What? 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 Time to just solve a maze a couple times. Um... Oh, that the oh. They show the true colors in the wild. Does that mean the alligator is gonna eat the panda? I think that means the alligator is gonna eat the panda, right? Hmm. Hmm. It's not about don't let. It's about uh, I don't have any say over that happening. Well, they they're dead. Uh, great. Um, how about the the, the line we can worry about later? Um. Oh God, which way? Uh, not that way, not that way, not that way. That loops around in a circle. Uh, nope, nope. So... I think I have to go down from here? No. That's all dead ends. Oh, that's the way out. The bunny can get out. Good news. No. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. Uh, I think that might be the only one. I think it's just the bunny. Got out. Oh, wait. The bunny might get munched by the lion. Hmm. 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 Because they do connect. Boop. And boop. So they're both dead. Well, not... Well, I mean, th that... Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. So, so, wait. The lion's gonna eat the rabbit, but then the lion will get out. They're not gonna eat them. They're not gonna eat each other. So, that's fine. Uh, as for the panda and the gator, can the gator actually get out? So, if we start from the exit, as was recommended by people smart, 
Uh, this is dead end, and that's a dead end. So it has to go up. Boop, 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 doo -doo. Those are both dead ends. And then that's the rabbit that... Yeah, no. I think it's just the one. The rabbit eats the lion. Look at the bones. So I don't know if the giraffe can get out. Let me just quickly... That's These are all dead ends that way. And this way. Do, 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 do. Also dead end. It's very nice of them to put a bunch of animals in dead ends of the zoo. So. Good work. Um... It is a 2D. My city. Yeah. Huh. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I think the later ones give you different color pens. I think they at least give you an eraser. So you don't have to keep clearing. They probably just died. The pen was just lay there. In its cage. It's fine. Um, eh. Nah. Nah. Uh, sharp thinking! The only animal that will safely escape the freedom is the lion, while both the rabbit and the lion. Nah. Nah. <laughs> uh, we'll make it as far as the path to the exit. The second line's thoughts are as guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. This is a great zoo. What's the big idea? Don't you know it's hard to pass time with puzzles when you solve them that fast? Sorry. They can only visit a rabbit and a lion. Terrible zoo. Yeah. Don't suppose anything on the train's gonna break, do you? I'm dying for something to do. Mm, nope. Uh, so we need one more clue, I believe. Hmm. 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 Wait, maybe, maybe the girl we bumped into is elsewhere. What was in here? This is Granny. No, I don't want to talk to you. No! Yeah, that was a zoo that I ran. The planet Zoo. Dee 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 dee. Although, this guy wasn't here before. Hey, you. One dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a little boy wandering around with only one shoe? No, I don't believe so. Come to think of it, a couple who was just here. We're talking about a child. Interesting. Do you have any idea where we might find this couple now, my good man? I believe they're staying in the fourth car, sir. May I recommend paying them a visit? A wonderful suggestion. Thank you for your assistance. Come along now, Luke. Let's go drop in on the couple in the fourth car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mysteries are afoot. Hello. It's always nice to have a light bulb. Uh, 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 yeah. Hi. Whoa there, young fellow. You're in the wrong room. My wife and I are staying here. Dreadfully sorry to intrude, sir, but we're searching for a lost little one. Did you happen to see or hear anything pertaining to this? Oh, sweetie, I think they might be talking about that darling cutie pie who just passed by. Remember? Oh, yes, yes, he was a cute one, he was. Small and very clever looking, I'd say. So you did see Tom, then? He's been missing a while now. I don't know whether it was a girl or a boy, truth be told. Tom's a right nice name, though. Pish posh, dear, I'd bet my best mall... mall walkers it was a girl who passed by our room. Yes, now that you mention it, I had a feeling that scamp might be a girl. But until you stick a ribbon on its head, can you can really tell, eh? I'm all turned around. I don't have the faintest idea we're talking about anymore. Why? A boy, Darth Mall Walkers. Yeah, I put a bow. I hate to say it, but it looks like this hot lead just turned cold, Professor. Yeah, that's the one, dear. They, they saw those, um, like the gap. On the contrary, Luke, we may have just stumbled onto some extremely valuable information. What do you mean, Professor? You'll see. First, let's return to the scene of Tom's disappearance. Vivio! Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your crayon scribbling of key. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Also, Xanry gifted a sub to VP Logics for the third month. You know that that's a silver key. Yeah, you know they got a puzzle. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help to you. It was nice talking with you folks, though. Let me give you a puzzle for the road. As you do. In polite company. Pass it on. Hmm. Eight people are playing an unusual communication game. In this game, one person has to get a message across to seven other people. It takes one minute to pass along the message. Each time the message is spoken, it can only have one recipient. 
Using these rules, what's the shortest amount of time in minutes for the message to pass to all seven other players? Huh? So you got eight people. And, um... One person is going to message across to seven other people. It takes one minute to pass along the message. Each time the message is spoken, only have one recipient. Only one recipient, but the same person can give it multiple times. So, yeah, it starts with one person. They tell it to someone else. So that's one. And then... They spread it out. That's two. And then... That's three. So it's three, three minutes. Three. It's always three. It's always three. Now I gotta give it like a nice, like, a good three. I'm it really is always three. One of these times I'm just gonna have to open a puzzle and guess a three <laughs> without reading no it. Puzzle unsolved. Uh, if the original messenger spreads the word is about, but, but, people, yeah, uh, yeah, mm hmm, yeah. Because they're, they're, you might have the assumption of, oh, every person says it once, so it's eight minutes, but maybe they can say it multiple times. That's the answer, pair of sharp tacks into you. I'm downright impressed. Still get your hopes up about finding that little one. He could be anywhere. Goodness, listen to my husband. Sometimes he can be a little negative without realizing it. I, for one, am rooting for you. Best of luck finding that little one. I got a, a camera part. Oh, hell yeah. Put that in there. Why is it always true? Uh, oh. Um. Wait, that's that part. Done! You, 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 you push down that part. That makes the camera go. Sweet! I, for one, am Rutabaga. God, why'd you say that, Belmont? Now I'm thinking about Elden Ring. I did get back to it last night. After a long break. Inspector! Tell me, are you any closer to uncovering the whereabouts of the missing child? You two are still flipping over furniture to find that tyke, hmm? Furniture? What's that? Quiet, Luke. Did you mean to say the child has been found? No, no, not at all. What I'm saying is that the child is no longer on this train. I've asked everyone aboard, but no one gave me an answer that suggested they'd seen the lad. This led me to the conclusion the poor lad either got off earlier or fell from the train. Fell off? Yes, it's entirely plausible given the way children love to run amok. When you combine that with their oversized heads, you've got yourself a recipe for disaster. I'll contact the railway police at the next station, so feel free to give up on your search. Just a moment, Inspector. The windows on this train are mounted high, and every exit is manned. Given the situation, don't you think it's unlikely a child could have made it off the train unnoticed? All right, I'll humor you. So tell me, Leighton, where do you think this elusive ankle biter got off to? Oh, God, squeaks. Oh, that's rough. This reminds me of a puzzle about dead children. <laughs> that I can't say, but something tells me we've made a rather large misassumption here. Boy, there's no reasoning with you. Fine. Keep playing detective. Nothing will come of it, I tell you. Right, right out, Professor. I mean, Inspector. Uh, where am I going? Back to where he disappeared, which was somewhere over here. Maybe? I forget. Where was he? Where was he when he disappeared? Was it by our- was it by our car? Might have been by our car. Oh, pardon me. We have a mystery! We gotta solve it. Uh, what about... Hmm! What's on your mind, my boy? You look distracted. It's hard to put my finger on why, but I feel like someone's been watching us for a while. You too, then. I've been feeling that same sensation myself. Do you think that someone might be tailing us? It's certainly possible. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. No, he can't see anything. Another shoe. If the shoe fits, huh? This looks like one of Tom's shoes, doesn't it, Professor? It certainly does. But the strange thing is that it's for the same foot as the, as the shoe we found earlier. So it is. Aha! So then, Tom must be. Oh, 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 Luke, I do believe we've both made a faulty assumption. Oh, it tickles me so. What exactly do you mean? Oh, nothing tickles me quite like a faulty assumption, you know, my boy. Imagine that. We make a good assumption that leads me astray. 
Recall for a moment, this event, the events that have unfolded thus far. He's an anamorph. It's the only explanation. Let's see. He's got two left feet. We found a tiny shoe on the floor. It seems that he's grown two left feet and shrank. It seems that Chelmy has a shrink ray. We need to discuss with him at once. That's right, a shoe small enough for a baby. The train itself is the train. Is that what you meant to type, Logix? The train itself is the train? <laughs> it's Luke's shoe. Then there was the cap we found in the kitchen, but it was lodged in such a tiny corner. I don't know how Tom could have wormed his way back there. No, but now yes. <laughs> I believe this train is made of train. Oh my god, hold on, Luke! In order to get back there, Tom would have to be no much, no more than half your size. Now that you mention it, I don't think I've seen any boys younger than myself on the train. That was my impression as well, which is why I began to consider a different line of thought. Look, what if you and I have already seen Tom about and didn't know it? You see, all the while we've been searching for Tom, we've assumed he's a small boy. But what if that assumption proves false? What if have been wrong from the start? I think I see what you're getting at, Professor. The second shoe was the same in every way as the first shoe, including which foot it was for. If that strange pair of shoes means what I think it does, then Tom must be... Batman from Batman Spider man he Just got a lot of legs and feet coming on. Professor Lane has a feeling that Tom might be not may not be the child we, sub su we suspect him to be. Move the L-shaped pieces around and arrange them into a plus shape in the middle of the board in a way that sheds some light on Tom's true identity. Oh. Oh, boy. Another block puzzle. What if that... Yeah, just get him out of the way. Get him out of there. Um. Uh. Oh, God. Wait. Right, yeah. And then, whoa. Nope. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and then that, oh wait, wait, nope, nope, can't do that. Can't do that, though. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 that boy is a dog. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Piece of cake. Wish to me the player figure instead of solving it. I mean, it is a tough thing to be like, well, what is he? And then like what you write it out. Like, I don't know how you really turn that into a puzzle. Other than being like, here's a child and here's a dog. And you have two left feet. <laughs> figure it out. Pick him out of a lineup. Yeah, I guess. Tom is a dog! Do you recall the girl we saw holding a small dog? I suspect that small dog was our friend Tom. That was Tom. There he was. So we'll track down the girl, we find the Tom. <laughs> He's a big. The professor and Luke decide to search for a young woman holding a little dog. Oh, where could she be? Where could she be now? No. Madam, Miss, Miss, I bet the deluxe rooms make our room look like a freight car. Hold it right there, man. Sammy Thunder says entrance to that car is for VIPs only, capiche? Now, I know you'd like to sneak a peek, but the whole car's booked, so that's a no-go. I bet the kind of person who can rent out the whole car must be some kind of super tycoon. Indeed, I wonder what it must be like to have that much room to yourself on a train of this caliber. Well, for now, I suppose you'll just have to keep wondering, eh, Professor? Ha ha! I don't want to know. Only you do. Mm. Mm-hmm. Charming, Luke. Uh, what about in here? Nope. Dark Cloud 2? Hmm. Animorph's theory has not been ruled out. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, uh, Tom's a dog, by the way. Well, if it isn't the famous Mr. Layton dashing about like he knows something, I don't. I was just about to head over to Babette's and inform her that her child is no longer aboard the train. Inspector, we're mere moments away from discovering Tom's location. Might I ask you just give us just a, f a bit longer to finish our search? Still don't want to face the truth, eh, Layton? Fine. But you're so intent on it and seeing how Babette is napping right now, I'll wait a lo while longer. But mind you, the moment she wakes up, I'm taking my findings to her. Got it? 
If you want to prove yourself right, bring the boy back before that. Understood, I plan to do just that, Inspector. We better find the girl with the dog as quickly as we can. Turn into a dog ray gun. Mm -hmm. It's We could just say it's a dog. Who are you? Where did you come from? Hey, looky here. You guys have solved at least 12 puzzles. I applaud you. Heartily. I can't see how I could dislike a couple of can-do go-getters like yourselves. Let's be pals, eh? It's Grousley. Okay, Grousley. Give me a puzzle. Nope, that's not the answer. Whoa, this one's gonna weigh heavily on my mind, I tell you. What's with you two? What can I do you for? We're looking for a young lady with a small dog. Have you seen anyone fitting that description? Yeah, I remember seeing someone like that pass by. We're headed to the back of the train, I think. Thank you very much. We'll just be on our way. Now hold it right there, Top Hat. I see how it is. Get old Grousey to answer your question, then scoot off without a word. I told you what you wanted to know, so the way I figure it, I should at least lend a fella a hand. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realize you needed our help. How may we be of servant? There's this puzzle that's been on my mind for ages now. A child dog's life is in danger, man. Now is not the time. Xanry! With another gifted sub. Two. Almost a hamburger. So close, but not quite. Thank you, Xandry. He's got like a lesser top hat. Short hat. How you doing, game? Maybe you'll have to have better luck with it. Want to try? Yeah. Yeah. Better be math. It better be math. I'll be mad if it's not math. A man sitting next to you on the train shows you a picture he's drawn. Let's say this picture has a total area of 10. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we got math. We got math. Can you figure out how much of it is made up of clouds compared to the area that's made up of sky? Don't think you need to guess the answer. There's a definite method you can use to work this out. How much of the area is sky versus clouds? Uh, three. Final answer. That's a lot of blood. Did you catch them? Catch all them blood thief criminals then? Um... Uh, I mean, well, it does seem to be like, like this bit goes into that bit. Um... But then what? Him. But then him. Him, him, him. And then uh, uh, this shape is the same as this hole. So that's pretty pretty neat. Um, was it like half? Is it like half? Hey, Blue Rose. A vampire just ganked game in an alleyway and slurped it up. Like back in the old building too. I'm gonna say half. I'm gonna say half. How much of the area is cloud versus sky? Uh, one to one. This should do the trick. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. It's not half. Out of ten? Yeah, it could be one to one. What, so then it would be what, five to five? But then that just goes down to one to one. I guess I can make lines from the things to be like, pow, 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 pow. Um, uh, bam, 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 bam. Mm hmm. 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 Shit, I should do that one first. Uh, nah, nah, nah. So, how's it get broken up? So, we said no. Three to three, but it's got to add up to ten. If that. And three to three is the same as one to one. So, then I don't know why, 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 would, why would that happen. My uh, teeth. Mm hmm Mm hmm It's got a lovely smile. This is like gerrymandering. Um, I solved it. <laughs> Another puzzle solved. Uh, I got a little distracted there. How much there is sky versus clouds? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's pokey. Just break it down to pixel -like boxes and count. You want me to count? Uh, well, a lot of these match up. But I guess there are two boxes that are just sky. So, yeah. So, like, these two match. Um, these two match. 
And these two match, and these two match. Okay. So then, what is it? Is it two to three? It'll be three to two, the other way around. Six four, also known as three to two. Do you think they'll let me get away with three to two, or should I do six to four? Five to five. That's just six to four. And now I would say three. I'm theory. tempted. I wish I could. Maybe, maybe I would accept three. To huh. three. Wonderful. Use the studs to divide it up. Yum 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 yum. Yeah, it does say six to four. It was three. It should be two to five because the clouds are in the sky. It should be a hundred percent sky, little percent clouds because you see through the clouds into the sky. That's how you do it. You got quite a head on your shoulders, don't you? Yeah, it's the Squidward Cloud. Squidward Mimbus. Cumulo Squidness. She's probably in the observation deck behind me. Yeah, that's the only place we can go. I got a piece of the camera. Hold on. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, I slapped someone else in there. Uh, what? How's this? What? How does this with, with it? Like that? That doesn't line up at all. Um, maybe, maybe that goes, uh, um, I think that just goes in, like, the lens. It's just kind of floating in the middle. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Todd. Thanks for gifting a sub to Laura Makes Art for their fourth month. Welcome back. I'm glad I'm appreciated. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Who is this? Who is this mystery woman? Excuse me. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, it's you! Yes, I had the sneaking suspicion that it was you who was tailing us. Flora, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. It's just... Well, you see, I just didn't want to be all alone again. Hmm. Professor? What lies ahead could be dangerous. Huh? So I stole a dog. That's why you'll have to be extra careful. All right? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I love Leighton's face whenever he's doing anything. <laughs> it's just... He's just... He's, he's, he's just a walking gorgle face. And it makes me so happy. Yes, I did forget. I forgot about everything. I didn't know there'd be continuity in this game. Oh me, oh my. Oh, he's the dog we saw earlier. Quick, grab him! Hey, Rand. Blasted, I thought we'd successfully ditched her back home. I can't believe she tracked us down. Luke, get the rope and the sack. We're out of here. It's time to heist this train. Yep, says Tom. Well, I'll be. Tom wasn't a boy after all. Right you are, Luke. Let's get him back to his owner. I suppose I'll just be going now. She says, climbing over the rail of the... The car. Uh, don't be ridiculous. Come along now. Flora's now traveling with you. The top screen shows who's walking with you. Professor Luke and Flora decide to bring Tom back to his owner, Babette. They're far smaller in non cutscenes. Interesting. They're very small. Look look at our look at our little party. On the other screen here. I'll make it a little bigger. In the bottom left corner. We we also have the dog in our party, which is a very nice touch. I like that a lot. Luke, you've been replaced. By Flora? No, by the dog. Also by better Luke. He's like you, but better. In every way. Yeah, we're mother, <laughs> we're mother three now. Yep. Yep, gang's all here. We got, uh, 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 we got Lucas, uh, Duster, Kumatora, and Boney. Everyone's here. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's mother four. Oh, man. Uh, back. Go here. Don't mind if I do. Ronkus. Need find needle. <laughs> Thank heavens you're all right, my sweet little Tommy boy. I've missed you so. Yep, yep. 
This is Tom. We were under the impression that we were searching for a boy, not a mutt with a fancy haircut. How dare you compare my darling Tommykins to some common street mongrel. Lost dogs are no matter for Scotland Yard. Next time he goes missing, find him yourself. Blimey, some folks haven't announced of sense. Come on, Barton. We got real cases to solve. There you go, Inspector. Don't you walk away from me. I'm not done talking about your atrocious manners. Well, enough of that. Welcome back, sweetie. Where did my little Tommy Kins run off to today? He's such a darling that I feared someone might have kidnapped him and been holding him for ransom. Uh, perhaps we should keep Flora's involvement in Tom's disappearance under wraps. Good idea, my boy. We don't know why she took the dog, do we? She just kind of took him. Eep. I do believe a reward is in order. Here, I know it's quite <laughs> generous, but I insist. I got a new hamster toy. Cheers, Babette. I hear we make it a stop in the quaint village by the name of Dropstone. How much longer till we get there, Professor? Not entirely sure, but waiting here won't make the time pass faster. Let's rest while we wait. A mystery solved. That's one thing that's nice compared to the first game, where basically every mystery was solved in the last five minutes. I feel like there's a better sense of pacing in the other games, where they'll be like, here's a mystery. Ah, oh, you solved it. Okay, moving on. But then there's other overarching mysteries that last. The Professor, Luke, and Flora decide to return to their quarters for the time being. Uh, people keep recommending I play it eventually, the power, so. It seems to be popular. But, um, someone also mentioned that there are spoilers from for some of the Leighton and Wright games in that. So, that's why if I, if I stream it, it'll be, uh, in quite a while. If I have a lot of Leighton and maybe a good dose of Phoenix Wright to play before that point. She's found the dog inside to roll with him. That seems plausible. I love it, others don't. You rescued my sweet boy, I insist you keep it. No, well, thank you. She's dancing? Oh, she is dancing. <laughs> She's doing the Shovel Knight one pixel squat. Look at her go. Look at her go. <laughs> That's great. Hamster time. How many lane games were made? Um, there are six main games and a couple side games. If I remember correctly, there were uh, there was three games on the DS that comprise a main trilogy, and then three games, one on the DS, two on the 3DS, that are a prequel trilogy. If I recall correctly. Same person, Professor. Oh. Oh. It's the same photo. Uh, it's, it's very, very intense face on the, like the real one. That one down there is just pogging. Um, but yeah, yeah thank you. Good. Um, what did we get for the boy? I got him a house. The hamster is attracted to this adorable little house when it's within three spaces of him, but he always ignores it and heads towards a nearby apple if the choice exists. Go! Aw, oh, come on! I'm tired! No, don't enlarge it for me. I don't want to see it. Good work, buddy. I'm tired. Me waking up at 2.30 for the stream I said I would start at 2. He hasn't watched six steps yet, but he wasn't, he wasn't able to reach his goal. Two more. Should play a Tyabog version in 1080p on Blue Stacks. Android version is HD. Yeah, I've heard that the, the, the phone versions are pretty good. Um, I don't have... I have an iPhone. I don't have an Android phone. Um, and even if it... I mean, I think it is on iPhone as well, but I don't... I don't know. It's something about, like, playing on the DS and all of its crunchy goodness that makes me happy. Even if it's objectively a worse experience in some ways. So, uh... I, 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 I appreciate the recommendation. I think I'm just gonna... The crunch is part of it. I don't know. It makes me happy. It's nostalgic, too. The hamster's the inspiration behind Detective Pikachu. When you won a Pog Bones, but your prince was a dick to a witch that one time. 
God, this is terrifying. Ah! Ugh. 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 Turn on the CRT filter in a retro game. It's more like capturing it off of an actual NES in all of its crunchy glory. Then, uh... Just like, well, you could make the pixels look better. It's like, yeah, and that would be a better experience for everyone. Dig in my cavity for your clothes. Well, I have read more than enough for the day. Flora, where have you been hiding all this time? Well, until I found that little dog, I'd just been relaxing in my room. You've got your own room? Prince was 11 years old in Home Alone. Is it really that weird an 11-year-old boy didn't let a stranger into his house? He gets way too much shit for that. You're not wrong. Uh, thank you, Alex. It's the middle one in the third car. Wow, you do know that's the room right next to ours, don't you? You were just a wall away from us, and I never so much as suspected you were there. Jaeger mage! Having a big funk. Thank you. For three months, and a silver key is now yours. Thank you so much. A funk and a funk, Professor. Uh, yep. It would seem that my powers of observation are a bit rusty. Eek. My word! Why is the train stopped? What's going on? Samuel, you don't. What did you do this time? Hey, boss man, chill out. There's a down train, like, just sitting on the track. Until we can move that thing out of our way, we're not going anywhere, man. Then get your rear end gear and move it now. I won't have your laziness tarnishing the voluntary brand. But I'm just the MC. Shouldn't we get someone a little more, you know, gear headed to handle this? Take care, Nolan. Be well. Appreciate it. He specs which they thought someone was following them. They didn't know who. But yeah. I mean it wasn't much of a mystery because they showed us her in the first cutscene, but that is for the dramatic irony. Train cars are heavy, man! I'm supposed to move it. I will not hear excuses, especially from a layabout conductor who barely earns his keep. I don't care how you do it, just get it done. Okay, okay, I'll give it a shot. Just turn down a notch, Unco. Unco? I might be your uncle, but I'm also president of this railway, and I demand you address me as such. Okay, alright, sure. Whatever you say, Mr. President. Yeah, give him all the shit. Give him all the shit! Bah, I'm too nice to that indolent, scruffy nephew of mine. All the louse does is complain. Good. Yeah. Looking at it again, it sure is a stunning train. Look at those gold handrails. This train's really something else. Uh, yep. You got any hint coins in the, in the brush out here? There you go. There's always one-ish. What seems to be the problem here? Unko means poop. It's true. Unko. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Passenger. See, there's this giganto freight train parked on the track, and it's blocking our way. Clearing the track's gonna take some time, so, uh, just sit back with some fizzy and wait. I see. Can I lend you a hand? For real? Aw, oh, yeah, that'd be way helpful. You think you can find a way to move the train blocking the track so we can, like, get a move on? I said help, not solve the only problem you've been tasked with solving. <laughs> Step aside now, we're not going anywhere until that train moves off the track. Hey, bud. Until we get this car out of the way, the Monterey Express isn't going anywhere. Let's do it. Is this going to be a sliding block puzzle? Swap the positions of the two trains along the tracks. Move the cars one at a time. Make sure the numbers by the side of each track match the numbers on each car. Oh boy, oh boy. Beep, beep. Oh, it doesn't just go sideways. We're multi-track drifting! Oh! 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 Okay. Uh, and like that. And like that. And like that. Oh no. Oh, they al I almost got it. I almost got it. I did. Wait, no. Wait, I can just do that. Um. Yes. Crap. Wait. No, 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 no. 
Wait, I can only have one car there? Yeesh. It's mean. Um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And then like that, and then like this. There you go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. This should do the trick. They're good. It looks like you're not very good at this. No, no, I'm good. There we have it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it only took me an hour. Hurry back to the train's fine schedule as it is. Zoom! Hopefully we should be able to continue our journey now. Yeah, but I reckon we're good here. Give me just a sec, we'll be up and running again. We're finally moving again! It shouldn't be too much longer before we arrive in Dropstone. I wonder if we'll find any useful information there. I hope so. I got a round part. It's round, isn't it? I missed the train ride. Hooray! Yeah, I'll save. Okay. Yeah, da da da. It's a good look at CG train. Dropstone! 50th anniversary? What a day to arrive in town. The county village of Dropstone. Professor, that cow is wearing a hat. Don't look at it, Luke! Get down! That sudden stop back there did a number on our brakes, so we're stopping here for repairs. We got at least three hours till we'll be ready to roll, so why don't you catch the local sights? Isn't this a curious village? Capital idea. Besides, who knows what information we might stumble upon in the village. Professor Luke and Flora decided to take in the sights around Dropstone. That is weirdly young for an English village. Yeah, 50 years is actually not that much for English cut countryside. Look at this poster of a train, Professor! Yes, it's quite lovely, Luke. Oh, but there's something quite odd about the picture. What do you mean, Professor? Look, Luke. Look! With your eyes! Train stations are an especially good place for dramatic farewells, aren't they? Below is a picture of a man and a woman bidding each other a tearful goodbye. Somewhere within this picture is a single, unrealistic detail. Find and circle that unusual area. Um... Something's unusual. What's what's what what's unusual? Which part of it? A woman at a train station? Um. 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 Women aren't real. Dogs aren't real. The night sky isn't real. Trains aren't real. El uh, electricity isn't real. The moon can't see shit. Yeah, it's it's a little bit blurry. Um, hats aren't real. Birds aren't real. Aren't there any birds here? Eyes aren't real. Having the window open is a major violation. The moon's being eclipsed. Wah! Thing will do. Hey, luggage on a train. Dog shouldn't be outside a carrier. Shouldn't the staff be, uh, be on the train that's currently moving? Is the train moving? He could be, like, about to board the train. I remember the answer. I don't remember this at all. A lot of ghost dwarfs. Yeah, a lot of ghosts. Bokeh isn't real. Grayscale isn't real. Suitcase isn't real. Oh. You're not allowed to skin cats in the house. Okay, great. That's good to know. Maybe it's the window? I... I, I don't know. What about... What about the window? Is that it's open? But don't windows open? Is 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 the issue that the window is this tall, but then he's opening it up and like how it can't be that tall? Is that the idea? Because if so, there are a million ways to explain that. Train windows do open. I mean, usually they slide open like a little bit, and that's clearly opening the whole way. But like. It's a bus stop, not a train station. The train shouldn't be here. It's just... It's just off the rails. That's actually a good guess, though. Well, we'll try it. But if it's right, I'll be mad. Here goes. 
Okay, I'm mad. That's stupid. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. I mean, uh, for an older train, it absolutely could have opened all the way. It could have slid up and, like, back. Like... <sighs> the frame would go through the roof of the train! Most trains of windows either slide down on the body of the train or allow only one portion of the train to open- a window of the- one portion of the window to open. Thanks to today's modern air conditioning, a good number of trains have been fitted with windows that don't open at all! Yeah, but an older train, they'd be like, No, you can totally fall out. You get the whole thing opens. Go nuts. But whatever. You still want to be parallel to the wall? Yeah, like... That- that's why it's like, well, it could just be a bad drawing, but that's the- That's the puzzle. Game admits it's on shaky ground. Right there! That was the odd section. I got another camera plot. Let me look at the camera. Let me look at the camera. Hmm. Huh. Shit. Just drop- just gotta drop a beat on this. Just give me like a- Bossa Nova beat man, what is that fucking is that Bossa Nova? Uh is this like that? Maybe. Um Uh no nah, well what if that um I think this bit sticks out of the camera a little bit, right? Like a little bit. That's over there. This part falls out every time you move the camera. This part's just kind of sticking out painfully in the side, so you can't hold it comfortably. It's good. It's such a danceable song. Harvest Moon. <laughs> F-Zero-X. The sleepy little farming place is like the chillest place on Earth. My unk, I mean the boss, is wandering around the village, and so is that inspector dude. The village is celebrating its 50th anniversary, so I bet there's tons of stuff to do. If I weren't stuck working, I'd definitely go check it out myself. They just found it only 50 years ago. That's quite young for a settlement in these parts. And it's so peaceful here. I really can't believe we'll find any clues about the Elysian box. I would be so sure of that, Luke. Remember, one of the first rules of puzzle solving is that the answer is often in the unlikeliest of places. Of course, you're right. I'll be sure to keep my eyes peeled for clues, Professor. Oh, is that taffy? Professor! I want to get some taffy. That's ru rubbish in the pit. Luke. I wonder if the artist who did this drawing ever noticed his mistake. No, he's long dead, so don't worry about him. Damn. Take this unsolvable puzzle seriously. Saltwater taffy, though. That's a bench! Sure is benchy! Remember what I said before, Luke, that you don't have to have a comment for everything? That it's not a sign of intelligence to have something to say about literally everything? That Look at that benchy bench! A bench is a bench, I always say. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. That's where you're going. You're sitting on the bench till I come back. Hello, fancy seeing you laddies. Me? They booted me off the train till they fix it. If you're after a few puzzles to pass the time, just take a peek inside my shack of wonders. I'll be here until I can come get, until I can get back on the train. Come by if you get a hankering for a puzzle. Good. Yeah, good. The whole village is decorated for the festival. That's a benchy bench. Yep. Dirt roads like these are a rare sight in London these days. Yeah. Granny, why is Justina a bench seat? She's allowed. Mr. Layton, how are you enjoying your time here in Dropstone? It's been delightful. Every once in a while, it's nice to leave the city and enjoy the countryside. The air is so clean and fresh. I'm so jealous of the people who get to live out here. They don't have to breathe from the, all the factory smoke straight off the smokestack. It's the only place the professor lets me breathe. He's right outside the professor's smokestack. That's right, Luke. We're allowed to breathe the silt. I couldn't put it better myself. There's something about this place that makes you feel like a new man. And with the village celebrating its 50th anniversary today, our timing couldn't be better. Come to think of it, your Voluntary Express turned 50 this year, didn't it? Quite the coincidence. Uh, yes, indeed it did. Sheer coincidence, of course. Still, it could have been fun to celebrate your train's anniversary here at the festival. Well, we already have a grand 50th anniversary planned. Celebration planned as at an exclusive venue in London. Was that so? 
Well, I'm sure your party will be on par with the excellence of your train. Yes, and on that note, I'm afraid I'll have to excuse myself. A good day, Mr. Layton. Good day to you, Mr. Beluga. My, it's already been a year since she passed. Time truly does just fly by. She? Who do you think he was talking about, Professor? I haven't the foggiest, Luke. I wonder. No, 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 no. Probably not a dog. Yeah, probably a dog. Oh ho! And who do we have here? Visitors from out of town? Indeed we are. We were traveling on the Monetary Express. We've been stopped here for repairs. If you're here for repairs, I bet I know where you're headed. Oh, really? It's Eggman. It's Eggman's son. What do you mean, sir? Hmm? Oh, I was, um, just thinking out loud. Yes! Just chatting with myself. Forget about it. His name's Wurtzer. Wurtzer. Say! Did you notice the festival? It's running today here in Dropstone. Today marks the 50th year since the founding of our village. Make sure you get in on the fun. The human kinder egg is back. I'm scared. Is this fair food? I could really go for something fried. Now, now, Luke. No eating till after I've had my supper. Most of the festivities seem to be taking place over the meow. Right over meow. There are even more booths set up over there. Wowee. Let's go. Monsieur. Oof. Wow, look at all the stuff there is to do. I've never been to a real life festival before. It's wonderful. That's right, Flora. I'd forgotten you grew up in that one little robot village. Well, now's your chance to make up for lost time. Let's explore. That's a great idea. Where should we go first? Well, let's go look at that booth over there. I want to see what they got. Wait for me. Ha ha ha. You two watch where you're running, or you're liable to crash into something. And that makes me liable. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's fine. It would seem that Dropstone is still rather young. Me, yeah, yeah, you know. So many things to buy. Uh, that's exactly what it is, man. That's a that's a major spoiler. So you know, keep that to yourself. Look at all the fruits and veggies on this cart. It probably belongs to the person running that little stand. It looks like the, uh, one of the wheels is dented. That must make it difficult to move much. Yeah, I bet it's a real pain. Oh, but you know, that reminds me of a puzzle about a busted wheel. Oh my god, floor puzzle. Let's go! In the back of the train yard, there's an old warped wheel lying on the ground, as shown below. A star is pointing to its axle. While no longer functional, the wheel is interesting, because when rolled on a flat surface, its axle traces a funny pattern if you look at it from the side. Of the five diagrams below, which one depicts the actual path of the axle? Um... Um, I think it's A. This is A. Anything. Just leave it to me. Huh. Piece of cake. That's right. Diagram ah correctly traces the path of the axles. The real wheel rolls. You probably won't see this wheel on a train anytime soon. Sure it'd be fun to watch it bounce around, wouldn't it? Three uh, A is the three of the English alphabet. That's right, Luke. You sure figured that one out fast. If you got puzzles, Indiana I've got answers. Jones has a phobia, and it's snakes, and it's snakes, and it's snakes. But he keeps living anyway, till he falls in a pit and he quakes. Cause it's filled with snakes, and if there's a reason, I'm still alive. When the number of snakes here is five, I'm willing number to wait for five. it. I'm willing to snake for Five it. snakes. Thank you for the hammy, sir. Oh, that's another hammy today, sir. Professor, what's in this litter box, professor? Why, that's your home, Luke. Look. You have your own litter box. But you said the litter box is the home. Yes. A home can be a home. Thank you, sir. There's a lot of snakes in the litter box, too. Ah, uh, Dingle Doof. That's for nine months. Subscription, baby. It's a boy. Congrats on that baby boy. Enjoy that ruby key as well. Thank you. Nit890, thanks for nine months. Also, sub baby baby. Baby 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 baby. Enjoy ruby key. Thank you. Uh, probably more hammies. Yeah, yeah, I intend to make more hammies. In the future. At some point. Listen, I've been busy. 
Sometimes, sometimes I have to work, make on. Sometimes I have to make a thing for a bit, and then be like, "Oh, I made a thing." Time to get back to Elden Ring. <laughs> Honey glazed ham. I'm impressed. You know a puzzle like that? I've never heard that one before. Well, I need to know a few to run with you two. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to belong. Oh. Oh. What are all these arrows for? Oh, it's a carnival game. Hey there, squirts. Try your hand at this fine game of skill. Why does this guy look like a Venture Brothers character? I'll tell you what. Since business is so slow right now, the first try's on me. Gosh, really, mister? Well, I can't say no to a deal like that. Come on, Flora, we can try it hey, together. Chad, don't be shy, grab a piece of pie or a loaf of rye. If you're hungry, you should grab a snack or a little bite. Or you could just go ahead and spoil your appetite. I have the honor to be your sandwich ingredient. Slice of ham. Who was talking about ham? Who's talking about ham? Honey glazed ham? Go get yourself some ham. Thank you for the ham, sir. Uh, professor, what is the game that Sarkoto gave you money to buy? I think Professor, it has airships and is a blast in both multiplayer, player versus player, and player versus environment, Professor. Why would you be referring to Guns of Icarus Online? The new free to start. Okay. Thank you. A bag of candy dangles from one of three arrows attached to the wall. Assuming that all three arrows are perfectly straight, which arrow ah, b, or c is connected to the candy? Uh, I gotta draw a line. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Is it is it C? The fuck is candy? Um. Perfectly gay arrows. Maybe I should just hold up something straight like my stylus on the screen. Oh no, onto the, onto the, here is even better. There's more. I think it lines up with the middle one. Hmm. Seems to line up with B. All three of them. The answer's three. Move with B. It's an optical illusion. Yeah, but I'm holding up a thing to line it up. And it seems to go to B. So I'm gonna try B. Hidden arrow D. It doesn't. It just goes this far and stops. <laughs> That's the that gotcha. Uh, Here goes. Three. The answer's three. Nice. All seems to tilt your head. That oh. was almost too easy. Too easy. Usagi Tan with oh, 32 months. Professor, I have a riddle for you. How much money do I owe in taxes this year? And then the IRS is like, I don't know. How much do you think you owe? This. He's like holding a dollar, and the more he holds it out, the angrier he gets. No, this. Two, two, yeah, no. Three, three, three. Okay, three. He's happy about three. The answer is three. Uh, good eye. Arrow B is the one attached to the candy. The reason the puzzle's tough for some people is it contains a famous optical illusion. When you obscure a portion of a diagonal line with a straight shape, the two visible portions of the line appear disjointed from one another. Yeah, taxes are soon. Nicely done, Shorty. Here's a little something for that fine performance. Really? Gosh, thank you. I gave you some random scrap from my pocket. Congrats. No, that's probably, yeah, it's just like, mm, this, mu this much? How about this much? Maybe over here? Um, what the, what the hell is this? Do I look like I know what this is? Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, you know. This is fine. It's good. It's good. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't think about it. Not right now. Let me, let me solve some puzzles. What local delicacies do we have here? What indeed. You there in the distance. What you got? We're doing some top secret festival prep back here, so you can't come in yet, okay? Okay, okay. all right. Uh, what's this way? Oh my god. I wonder what's growing in this field. Harnessing the power of nature is quite an impressive feat. It's not a feat, it's a windmill. I bet there are all kinds of animals living in that forest. Uh, you are, give me a coin. Give me a coin. Yeah, there it is. There's a pixel on the ground. 
Gracious, the weather couldn't be finer for celebrating Dropstone's fancies. Wait, hold on. Is his name? His name is Kostya. Is it because people go, oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? And he goes, I'll tell you, but it'll cost you. And then, and then they leave him alone on the side of the village where no one can ever meet him. I'm like, well, you know, we'll just leave him over there. He's not going to bother anyone. And then they say in Vizoese, <laughs> My memory's not quite it used to be, but you're not from here, are you? Waiting on the train. <laughs> Nobody paid the price, so that's his name now. Yeah, that's the, that's the curse. The entire prefix. It'll dot cost you. But it'll cost you. <laughs> his full name is But It'll Cost You. How do I know, you ask? Well, this isn't the first time it's happened. As fancy as that train is, it must be in rotten shape. Take heart, Sonny. More often than not, the train gets fixed up in a few hours. What with the festival and all, there's plenty here to do and see in the meantime. Thank you for the information. If I could trouble you for a moment, though, I'd like to ask about a relic. What is the Elysian Box? Oh, dear me. Ahem. Oh, dear me. I have never heard of the dreadful thing. Never, you hear? Hmm? Well, that's enough chatting with strangers for one day. To be frank, I was in high spirits till you came along. Now I'm crabbier than a crabable. If you really want to prove you're sorry for ruining my day, solve this puzzle. Hmm. Thank you for the bar none. Mr. Magoo. You're talking about the guy in the game or you're talking about me? A pro golfer has the amazing ability to consistently putt distances of 3, 5, 7, and 11 feet. You know we're doing some math. Strangely enough, though, those are the only distances he can putt. Currently, our golfer stands on the green with his ball 20 feet from the hole. What's the fewest number of strokes he can use to get the ball in the hole? Assume that if the ball is hit further than the distance remaining to the hole, it will roll over to the other side without going into the cup. Okay, so... So what if he did, um... Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see. He did like an 11, and then he did uh, like a like a like a seven. Um, I need to try to get to 23, right? Is that an option? 18. Yeah, and then, then wait. Ah, then if he does a five, right? Now we're 23, and then do a three. Okay, it's four. Yeah, it's just it's just four. The, the three's cousin, so it's basically three. This should do the trick. Oh, shoot! Oh, my. This, this is a pro is golfer with time I can do some pretty amazing things. Well, if it's not four... Then maybe... I got three, 23 because if I roll overshoot it by three, then I can putt three to get back in. I just assumed you wouldn't be able to get it all in... in one, because I didn't want to think about it. That is the weirdest three I've ever drawn. Three. Three. Hey, dude, thanks for gifting us sub the butt it'll cost you. It's not three? Ah, uh, well. I suppose you can't win them all. Huh? Is two? Is the answer two? What if I try three again? Let's try two. Consider this puzzle solved. What if it was and three? There we have it. If our friend the pro golfer puts two diagonal shots. What? The <laughs> pro golfers can do amazing things, like on the fly trig. Or just, you know, Pythagoras. If he puts two diagonal shots, he can sink the ball in two shots. No one ever said the golfer had to putt directly toward the hole, did they? Did they? Did they? Sure, in order to sink the putt using the method shown above, he needs to calculate the angle of each shot perfectly, but that's why he's a pro. Pretty good misdirect puzzle. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> That's the ticket. Very nice. You got a good hat on the shoulder, Sonny. I guess you need to need one to pull off that hat. Thanks. Thanks, Costia. And thank you, dear. I hope, but it'll cost you. Enjoys those emotes. Think outside the box, but think inside the triangle. 
so. Um. Nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, oh, the tree reminds me of a puzzle. Look at this crazy looking tree, Professor. It's all warped. Look at it, it's all fucked up. Can we point and laugh at the tree, Professor? Can we point and laugh at the trees different from the other trees? With a structure like that, it must be quite old. I wonder how long it's been here. Oh, look, our little conversation reminds me of a puzzle I know. Care to hear it? Point and laugh, Professor. Sure. Yeah, fuck you, tree. Trees on an old road. The country road you see here is lined with a single straight row of trees. Not a single one of them is gay. Each planted at a different time and each a different distance from its neighbor. Of the five trees labeled A3 here, which two trees have the greatest distance between them? Study the diagram carefully and draw a line between the letters of the two trees you've chosen. Your ad is stuck. Oh no! Someone tell Glacial Paladin I'm sorry. I have no control over over that. Um, what? They're planted at a different time, each a different distance from its neighbor. One of them will eventually become a close. You're free, welcome! Sorry about the ads. If I could just turn them off, I would. Uh, country I see is lined with a single straight row of trees, each planted at a different time, at each different distance of the five trees, A through E. Which two trees have the greatest distance between them? How... How is it not just A and E? Am I misunderstanding? What's the trick? It would load and then break? Oh no. Yeah, it sucks. You aren't? I'm just gonna do A and E because, um... What do you mean long- hmm. Let's see if this works. What? Maiden's apprentice strikes again! That's not a puzzle. No matter how you look at it, A and E are A and E have the greatest distance between them. What other way is there to look at it? I, don't be Don't be modest. <laughs> Alright, good. Perhaps I should have prepared something a bit more challenging for you, Luke. Yeah. That's on the level of like how many fingers am I holding up? Uh, I'm not holding up anything else than these two fingers, Luke. How many am I holding up? Th th three? You're right, it was three. I knew you would answer three, so I was secretly keeping that one lowered, but it, waiting. What's the thing about the distance between the trees? But they mentioned the like age of the trees and they have different heights. I guess you could be like the shortest to the tallest, but it wasn't even that tr I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how for next time. Let's continue our walk about the village. Okay, I got a hamster toy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Better Luke, how you doing, buddy? Um, This tiny stump attracts the hamster if he's within three spaces. If an apple's also within three, hamster goes for the apple instead. Doesn't matter. Cause we got ourselves more than I'm not so good at nine spaces. Moving. More than eight is all we need. He's gonna be so buff now. to feel this tomorrow for sure. <laughs> His level went from five to four. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. Does he look any different? I'm just gonna give him an apple. Aw, oh, come on. I'm tired. He, his art did change. Right over there. It's different. Maybe his walk cycle is different too. Uh, I played it back when it came out a million years ago, but it's been a while. He walked one step. Why does level go down? Because, um, I don't know. I mean, it tells you how many levels you need to get him to for him to be super buff. Extremely buff hamster. It's a small house, but has a wonderful charm to it. Oh, good. Good. Hi. Defcon 4. Hey there, fellow. I'm in a real bind here. Help an old gal out, will you? 
What seems to be the problem, madam? My sweet little bird fell down a hole in the ground here. I want to help the poor thing, but I just can't reach her. Do you have any ideas? I believe there's something we can try. Um, your bird fell in a hole? Are you sure it's a bird? You can't just... Oh, he is stuck in there. And there's a snake. Oh, no. Laurel's poor little bird has fallen down a long winding hole in the ground. In front of the bird are three paths. Ah, buttons. Kuh. Which tunnel should the bird take in order to make it back above ground? We'll all be. Uh, that one goes. Uh, let's just go back from the front. Um, pachum. Oh, those just connect. That's fun. Uh, pachum. And nyum nyum. Uh, let's do this one. Loop de loop. Nyum. That connects. What? Did I do that wrong? Hold on, it goes in here. And then that goes... Oh, there's the third path! It was B! It was B! It was B. Well, B for this bird! Do the trick. B is for bird. And there we have it. Hmm. Very nice. The bird can safely escape her underground confines by following tunnel B. Any other tunnel will lead her deeper underground or into the mouth of a very hungry snake. B. Birds have three wings. You have the angry snake or something else. There's my little birdie. I was worried she'd be stuck down there forever. I wish I had some way of thanking you properly. I know. Here you can have this tea set and these lovely herbs. Take them, I insist. The squished bird? Oh. Oh, I didn't see it. The tea set mini games went out of the trunk. <gasps> Professor, I love tea. You got Oasis Leaf. Use it to create tea blends. I got brisk berry used the great tea blends and bell tart. Texas tea set, touch the trunk. Mix and brew a variety of herbal teas. Add multiple doses of an herb to increase that herb's effect on the tea. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I was looking at the snake. I didn't even look at the, uh, at the top there. Of, of the... You talking about this? The bird squishing to get through the hole? It's how British of them. I like how the, you, you screenshot a chat message of someone going, Buh. <laughs> That's part of the screenshot. Buh. That's <laughs> very good. Like, uh, buh. Uh, okay. We can make tea. Oh, Professor, I love tea. Combine the ingredients to make a variety of delectable teas. Tea ingredients currently in possession can be found in the box shown on the touch screen. Tap on ingredients to learn its name and the properties and give your tea. When you're ready to make tea, tap the ingredients you want and you drag them to the teapot. And you place three ingredients before you can start brewing your tea. Keep in mind you can use more than one of the same herb in your concoctions. Once you put your third ingredient in the teapot, the lid next to it will start to wiggle. Place the lid on top of the teapot to start brewing your tea. If your creation turns out tasty, the recipe for it will be added to your list of teas. You check your list of recipes anytime attaching the tea set icon. While viewing your list of teas, tap a teacup to see that tea's name and characteristics. Once you find a tea you like, tap serve to give Luke and Layton a taste of what you've made. There are 12 recipes in all. Discover them all to unlock a neat bonus. Let's make some tea. Um, refreshing and purifying. Revitalizing and restoring. Great for the skin. One of each. Wait just a moment. Well done! Look at <laughs> It's a little sour and a little sweet yum! Who said you could drink that tea? Look! I certainly have to tip my hat to this tea's drinkability. I imagine it'll be delicious cold as well. Yep, and since it's nice and light, I bet just about anyone will be happy to have a cup. Yes, I myself am partial to its lovely fruity aftertaste. Well, if I do uh, all three of this... There you go. Your tea was no good. What a pity. We put in lots of the same ingredients, but all it made was a boring one-note tea. The real beauty of tea is the way different flavors come together. Try using a variety of ingredients. Variety. A little bit. Yeah, it's Valhalla now. Ah, poison. My favorite. This tea smells a bit funny. Are you sure we can drink this, Professor? Why not take a sip and find out, Luke? Hmm, <laughs> I just want to make this bigger so you can all enjoy just how good this image is. 
Why don't you take a sip and find out for yourself? It's got a skull of crossbones floating above it, Professor! Have a sip, Luke. It's delicious. I made it just for you. Just for you, Luke. Delicious. These smells a wee bit funny. I think I'll pass on this one. Where did I go wrong? I was so sure I brewed something good, too. Drink up, my boy. Drink up, my boy. Yeah, I don't know if I can make anything. This is just terrible. Sorry, Professor. I don't think I can choke down another sip. It's quite all right, Luke. No one should ever feel obliged to drink something as rank as this tea. Everything looked good going in. I wonder where you went wrong. You? You're the one that made the tea. Well, time to go. Yippee! Farewell. Right. Help. Why does it say help? Help. Why? What? Why does it just say help over him? Help. I'm feeling less than my best. Will you make me a tea with Oasis, Brisk, and Bell Tart? Yeah, there you go. There you go, bud. Lane drinks the steaming cup of Bell Classic, enjoying each warm sip. This is splendid, Luke. This is truly a testament to the restorative power of tea. Now that's good tea. Lane seems restored and in high spirits. I found a hint coin at the bottom of your teacup. Luke's just winking at you. Luke, did you... Did you put money in this tea? Wink! It's for all that rich flavor you keep asking about, Professor! I... Thank you, Luke. Mmm, you can really taste the metal. Look at all these booths! Now this is what I call a festival! I just love all the hustle bustle. It's so wonderful. Shall we walk around and take in more of the sights then? Definitely. They decide to check out the plaza in front of the town hall. Oh boy. Oh my god. Who are you? This is nothing but hot leaf juice. That's tea. Oh boo hoo hoo. Parting with one so dear to your heart is even more painful than the tightest wig. When she was a child, I used to read to her until she fell asleep. She looked just like an angel. Oh, nothing hurts so much as uh, separation's knife. I don't know about that. I guess I've never really been giving it much thought. Oh, fret not. I wasn't expecting one as young as yourself to fully understand a pain such as mine. Don't mind me. I'll just excuse myself now. The way he was carrying on, you'd think he just got dumped. But he seemed sad in a different way, didn't he? Best not to pry too deeply into the private affairs of others, Luke. It's not becoming of a gentleman. I'm not becoming a gentleman at all, Professor. You're right, Professor. There's a poll between hot bean juice, leaf water, sorry, bean juice, leaf juice, or water. What do you like best hot? Bean juice, leaf juice, or water? You can vote. Make your choices known to the world. Ah. Hot girl shit. Yeah, where's girl shit on the list? Hey, fellows! Pleasure to meet you. My name's Albert, and I'm just nuts about our beautiful village. Soup isn't an option. Where's Coco? Where's Coco? I heard you've been running around Dropstone asking questions, but you haven't talked to me yet. If you solve this puzzle, the king of Dropstone trivia, yours truly, will answer a question for you. What about hot, hot heat? Uh, leaf juice wins with 49%. Bean juice, 39%. Water, 13%. Yeah, hot water by itself is, uh, not really a, a beverage. I don't know. 30 pick rats, boys club. Below is a wheel of male and female portraits. Select a portrait and counting that portrait as one. Move six portraits, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Then cross out the last of these six portraits. Repeat the pattern, starting from the next available portrait and moving the same direction. If you start at just the right portrait, you can remove all the women, leaving only the six portraits of men behind. Circle the portrait. Remember, you can move clockwise or counterclockwise. We gotta get rid of all the ladies. Um, so let's say you start with this one. So, in six clockwise, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. We took it out a dude. Start on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We took out a dude. Can't do that. Well, you start with, with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a Luke. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six just takes you across for the first one. Um, so you find two two ladies across from one another. It said count the starting one. You're right. You're correct. I was like, that just puts you in a circle. Uh, what do you mean you can't kill Luke? Nope, not this puzzle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that a lady? No, that's a boy. That's a lad. Uh, what if they're NB? Where do they go? Are they allowed? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. What about over here? Well, 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 let's start with her. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five. S do you skip over them once they're out? Probably. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Shit. One, two. No. Fuck. Wait. Um. MBs are the center spoke. Start with her. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Skip over. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then how the fuck do you get over there? You can't. Not from here. Unless, well, you go from here and then go one, two, three, four, five, mm, six puts you right back there. Hmm. You're in the grass field. <laughs> They're like, I'm out. You all have fun with your nonsense. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. Uh, shit. Well, we start with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, no. One, two, three, four, no. Fucking, yeah. I don't like these puzzles. It's just like, just, I don't know, is there a way to be smart about it? We're gonna have to just brute force it and just try every single combination till till you get one that works. I know there's there's several I haven't started with, but it's just like I don't enjoy just like okay about this one, what about this one. Who did I start with? I start with you. One. One two three four five six. No. One two three four five six. No. Why are the guys gonna stay? I could start with a lad, because we don't de we'll de delete the first one. But one, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Um. Also, the one you start with, you don't cross out. Also, hey, do you not skip the one that's been eliminated? I guess not. Hmm. So I'm probably doing it all wrong. Well, I'm just gonna go with three, which would be three o'clock. Right? <laughs> I'm super tempted to just throw away a guess and be like, "What about three? What about three? Skipping dead ones. Well, you just start from a new instead of skipping over them. Um, if it was her, so start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. You stop. Oh, thank you, Iron Mouse. Is it three? Can I just three? Three o'clock? And now to test my theory. No, it's not three o'clock. Oh, my. This one is quite formidable. It's. I just. I thought we were memeing. I, I don't know. Game's wrong. Once you cross one out, you jump to the next one next to it. They don't specify is part of the problem. You cross out the last of the six, repeat the pattern, start from the next available portrait, and moving in the same direction. Wait, so then, wait, wait. So then does that mean you would go like, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, fucking this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Then you start with one? Like that? One, two, three, four, five, six? Is that what it means? But then you don't... S but if, then if you land on it... You you do let you do count it. You just start on the one. I I, I don't want to do. This. <laughs> so I don't know what the answer is. I just want to be done. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to have to run through it twenty times. But then we're going. Yeah, 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 we're just going in circles. It's just circles. The redhead. Uh, this one. Sure. That's this like backwards three. Trick. So. Damn it. Ah, uh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. Yeah. Oh. The orange red. Oh, okay. Well, that's like three o'clock. Um, if you're like one, two, three, then it's three. There we go. Consider this puzzle solved. Nope. That's not it either. Uh, well. Well, we'll only get 12 chances, and eventually we'll get there in the end. 10 o'clock? If your head is- if your clock is broken, it's 3 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Uh, the lad? This gentleman? I mean, I guess it could be? Sure. Why not? This should do the trick. Bye! And there we have it. Cool, so tell me what happened. If you begin counting from the man shown above and proceed counterclockwise around the wheel, you eventually touch remove all the female portrait. Okay, so you start there. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get the blue hair. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gets you to Flora. And then do you skip over him? And then go one, two, three, four, five. Five, six gets you to the orange red in the bottom right. No, no skip. You don't skip. Like, what? You land on what you land on, but then you you don't start from the same... Whatever. I don't care. It gave me chills. It really did. Great. Your puzzle sucked. You need very consistent rules for something like that. You skip ones that are marked out. But she was marked... Whatever. You skip the puzzle. <laughs> If you got any questions about the villager history, I'm your man. Would you happen to know anything about the supposedly cursed antique called the Elysian Box? It's hard to believe, but you've gone beyond my area of expertise. I've never heard of the thing. What I can tell you is that people in the town jump at the very mention of curses. From what I gather, it seems they have some connection to the village in the days of its founding. Unfortunately, that's all the info I can really give you on that subject. Sorry to let you down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is everyone here a clockwork robot? Why, that would be error. This building appears to be the town hall. Yes, but it looks like it's closed for the day. Well, they probably wanted to give everyone a chance to enjoy today's festivities. Luke, this reminds me of a puzzle set in front of a town hall like this one. Can I give it a go? Would I ever? The mayoral election. Three people at odds with one another are running for mayor in the upcoming town election, including these three candidates. The town has a voter population of 40 people, including them. In order to win, a candidate must get more votes than either candidate. If each of the 40 voters cast a single vote and every vote is recognized, what is the fewest number of votes a candidate needs to secure victory with certainty? Math. What's 40 divided by 3? 40 divided by 3 is like, um... It's like some kind of, um... It's like, um... It's like, um... It's like, um... Mmm. Mmm. So like 13ish. Yeah, 13ish. Not not 369. Um but if everyone got 13, no one wins, so the answer is 14. Probably wrong. One as long as it's the rest of this car, <laughs> it's the whole town. Is it 14? Maybe. I feel like there's gonna be some gotcha of like, well, actually, if they all vote for someone that's not in the running, then they only need two votes to win. Like, is it gonna be some shit like that? There's three people at, in, in the running, but everyone wrote in a different candidate. So, the, the, fuck you. <laughs> 
13, 13, 14 would be 40, yes? Right. So that's why I'm thinking 14 to secure the victory. The answer is 20. Ranked choice. Including the three, there are 43. No, they said 40, including the three. Including these three candidates, the town has a voter population of 40. So it's 40, not 43. It's 21, because it needs to be certain they're going to win, so everyone votes for someone else. 14 won't work. 21? I'm just going to put in 14 and then be mad when it's wrong. Final answer. Just leave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, I'm stumped. Wait, 21 is the real answer? Where the hell do you get 21 from? If everyone votes for something else, 14 won't work. How will it work if... It's 21. It's 20? What if one candidate gets no votes? If one candidate gets no votes, then it would be 21. You're right. Fuck. I think it is 21. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. Nice. Is it three? <laughs> Is it three? <laughs> Maybe it's three. Uh, it's impossible someone else to win with 21. What about 50? <laughs> what if you just, what if you get more votes than there are people in town? Maybe that'll work. Is it 20 though? I guess, yeah, the implication is that no one would, the candidates would vote for themselves. All right, I'm gonna go with 20. I'm gonna go with 20. Because the person that gets no Just votes would still vote me. for themselves. That's stupid. That <laughs> You're making so a bunch of easy. assumptions. <laughs> stupid. 40 votes minus those three votes leaves 37 votes. Where we'll need over half the votes. In this case, we have 19 additional votes and get 20. Even another candidate gathered all the remaining 18 votes wouldn't be enough to overcome. They're at odds with each other. I, yeah. It's probably. Whatever. That I, I can still respect that you're assuming that everyone gets votes equally. And they're like, no, no, no. Maybe it's oh, like, like there's three candidates, but it's really 1v1. So it actually is more like 20 than 13, which is like, okay, fair, fair. But then like the, no, 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 they're gonna vote for themselves. It's like, you don't know that though. If you're just trying to secure your win, no matter what, you would go for 21 votes. Because maybe the guy who gets zero votes is like, well, fuck you. I want a runoff election. So I'm throwing my vote to the other person. So now it's 20 versus 20. Like, like you don't know that. That's stupid. Oh, we should really go back to investing in the town. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. This circular flower bed is lovely. These are posters of cows. That's odd. No, it's not. You're odd. Uh, look at this little monument here, Professor. It appears to be commemorating something. Why don't we get a closer look? If everyone gets a vote, which two trees are furthest apart? Hint, A and E are furthest apart. On the day Dropstone was founded eight, 50 years ago, the villagers to toasted... I don't know how to read. Let me start again. On the day Dropstone was founded 50 years ago, the villagers toasted with red wine and danced late into the night. They also built this statue, engraving it with the word red and the date 8-12. Part of the statue is shaped like a wine glass and can be filled with water from the spout at the top. While well, the statue describes the villagers' activities on the day of the founding, it can also show where they all found themselves the day after the festivities. Can you figure out where the villagers were answering three letters? Oh, I remember this. I think I remember this. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Is the American dates no it doesn't matter. Um This came back to me suddenly because I'm being mad. Um so there's there's a statue, it's shipped like a, a wine glass can be filled with water from the spout at the top. If it was filled with water, it would cut it all in half. So instead of 812 red, it would say 813 bed. But also we're in the UK, so it would be 912, and this is wrong. So don't worry about it. And now to test my theory. 
I remember this because it made you mad. <laughs> puzzle unsolved. <laughs> I was just like, well, how in the what? How would you what? Filling the wine glass part of the monument with water creates a reflection that transforms and in the thirds of the papa. Everyone must have stayed up so late celebrating the new village of Dropstone they couldn't get up on time the next morning. I hope that they tweak this puzzle for the EU release of this. Like, I I can't imagine this shit would fly in places that actually list day and then month. Cause cause year it's month and then day. Uh so it's like that yeah, it totally works, but I mean, whatever. It's fine. According to the writing here, this village was found for settler 50 years ago. It's strange how 50 years is a long time for a person, but not much time at all for a village. Quite so. But this fact just invites more questions. Why did this founder come here in the first place? Is it the same for Japan? I don't know. They arrived in the secret 13th month. That's how drunk they were. Only uh, uh, villages in the middle of nowhere in England know about the hidden drunk 13th month. It's hard to believe he or she simply set forth from their old residence to found a new village. Yeah, you know. Korea does year month day. It's like the month and the day. Year month day. Mm-hmm. Most of East Asia follows that. Gotcha. So, yeah. I don't know. I wonder if the puzzle's different art in different territories. Anyway... That bench is very benchy, Professor. Good news. You're so smart. Cows. Lousy smarch weather. Wow, look at those gigantic cow balloons. It looks like the villagers are setting up for the livestock competition. Livestock competition? That sounds like fun. Yes, I'd certainly like to see the competition myself, but it doesn't appear quite ready to start yet. While we're waiting, can we go see more of the village? Certainly, we were we can return later when the competition commences. Yay! They decide to walk around until the livestock competition starts. That's some cow. Those cow balloons are something else. Neat. Oh, the competition still hasn't started. Yeah. No, professor. Uh, I'm upset. But I found a coin. I'll put it in your tea later, Professor. Please don't. As a gentleman, I feel it is my duty to take one of these balloons. That's very good. I want to pet the mamu. No. Professor, you got squimched again. Hey, Shiv. I was hoping that, that if you came by stream, that would be the first thing you did, and I'm glad for it. Um, it does flip into 12-8. Hey! Okay. Thanks for looking that up. And I, I, they did. They did it. Luke, you're right there. It's extremely funny. It's literally why I took him off BTTV and put him back as a tier one. Was so we could squish him and turn him grayscale. And all that other fun stuff. Uh, you got a lot of uh, cats and bunnies in here. These are so cute. Hmm. This cat sculpture certainly is expressive. Yep, he's a cute one. Oh, if you like cats, Professor, oh, I got a puzzle for you. Flipped cats. So is turning a cat around. Oh, no. I don't like this drawing of a cat. One of the three color pictures, Abe, you the same pictures, the black and white one displayed on the far left. Can you find which one? Only difference is the picture on the far left is that its contents flipped left, right? So it's the same puzzle as the flowers, but with different art. Great. Um. Um. Uh huh. But what are the differences? What are the differences? What is different between A, B, and C? Why am I struggling to find the differences between these three? Wait, what? What? They just look the same. They just look the same. The same picture? Height? <laughs> it better not be height. See, it's different background lines. Uh, oh, they are a little bit thinner and offset. So it's not C then. <laughs> what about A and B? What is different? I feel like a child. And not... Is there a good way? I don't know. I'm just like that. I, that's the. 
Eyelash eyebrows. Oh my god. In B, they're slightly longer. Or rather, in A, they're shorter. So it's B. Yeah, because they're shorter. Wow, that sucks. That sucks that that's what it comes this down to. Do the trick. And not like figuring out the correlation between what's black and, and what's white it. when it's flipped and being like, okay, well, that one flipped around is like that. It's like, no, no, no. F spot the difference between the art and then B rhymes with three. Yep. Well, thanks for that. Great. You always make it look so easy, you. Thank you, Luke. Uh, tap a tap a tap. Yep, a tap a tap a tap. Nope, didn't mean that. Mm. Flipping around, nothing to do with the puzzle. Nope. Just makes it slightly more tedious to figure out what's different between them. Because it's finding the differences and then finding which one matches the original. So flipping and making black and white just makes it slightly more awkward, which is fine, but again, it doesn't play into the puzzle. It just makes it take longer. So whatever. Cats don't have eyebrows. Sure they do. Cats can have as many eyebrows as they want. Uh, I just love cats. Thank you, Luke. Um, quite the variety of paints. Hmm. Luke, did you know that you can spell paint without... Did you know that in order to say paint, you have to say pain? Luke. Oh my god, it's Lois Griffin. Greetings! I don't think I've seen you around these parts before. May I ask your name? Of course, I'm Herschel Layton, professor of archaeology at Grenhel Gresson Heller University. Charmed, sir. Welcome to Dropstone, Professor Layton. Did you... <laughs> Titanic Thanks. Uh, now that you said it, I do, I do see a ship. I do see a ship in there. Hey, Lois, remember when I was in Professor Layton? Hey, this reminds me of a puzzle. Uh, my name is Dorothea, and I'm a maid at the service of the Anderson family. Tell me, what brings you to our humble village? My companions and I are after an artifact known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it before? Can't say that I have, but the master is quite knowledgeable about <laughs> curiosity such as that. The master, madam? Oh, yes, excuse my thoughtlessness. I keep forgetting you're new here. I adventure there's not a single resident of our village who doesn't know Mr. Anderson. Don't draw this skull. Wouldn't she have a normal skull? Because that's cartilage? Never mind. I see. Well, if it's at all possible, we'd very much like to meet Mr. Anderson. Normally, I'd say he's, he'd be glad to receive you, but lately he's been preoccupied with his daughter. I don't mean to pry, but has there been some issue between Anderson and his daughter? Well, yes, just between you, me, and the wall, his daughter has been secretly planning a trip alone. Secretly planning a trip alone? Is that your way of saying she's planning to run away? Uh, yes. And what's worse is that the master is starting to catch on that something's going on. Wallbot is listening. <laughs> oh no, wise Wallbot. Between you, me, and the wise Wallbot. But after much talk, we servants have decided to cheerfully see the master's young daughter off. So you're in support of allowing this girl to go off on her own. Why is that? Because the purpose of the trip is to fulfill the last request of the young lady's late grandmother. I see. May I inquire as to what that last request was? Well, I don't mean to pry, but uh, I'm going to pry. Here's my metaphorical crowbar. I see. Yes. Says dear. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't see a problem with this. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, well, I mean, your skull's made of skull. What do you want? What more do you want? I myself have only heard scraps of the story from other people, so I can't say much. But whatever the request, it's one that the young mistress seems to feel is extremely important. But look at that. Here I am gossiping away when there's supper to prepare. Please excuse me, Professor Layton. I need to get back to work. Oh, before you go, rat, she's gone. Maybe it's me, but it sounds like Mr. Anderson's daughter's leaving home for more than just going on a trip. And yet, for some reason, the servants are cheering her on. How odd. Yes, very. And I th and think about the consequences should Mr. Anderson find out what's been going on. The servants must have a truly solid reason if they resolve to keep a secret like this. What could it possibly be? I'm getting the feeling that Dropstone isn't as ordinary as it looks. You're not the only one, Luke. But enough speculation, let's go explore more of the village. Okay, Professor! Let me get out. We gotta go fight 
a man. Let's fight him. She has no sinuses. She has no grace. Uh, that must be the farm. I wonder if the cows are out grazing now. I want to graze in a field, Professor. A mansion in the woods. Sure wish I had one. A mansion? No. Anything. I wish I had one anything. I think I see train tracks way up beyond the mountains, Professor. Game informed me of an error. Oh, there's her skull. Yeah, 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 that's what your, what's, what her skull is. There is one boat inside of you. And it is the Titanic, unfortunately. Floating some ideas around. You're a mess. I never forget a face. I don't know any of yours. You must be from the Molentary Express. Since you're new to town, let me clue you into a few key facts about Dropstone. I know you're interested, so don't act all bashful and reserved on my account. Listen, if you know, know one name in Dropstone, make sure it's Mr. Anderson's. Not only is the fellow swimming in money, he pretty much runs Dropstone. But he's a swell guy who treats everyone with respect, even the mailman. That'd be me, by the way. I always say you can tell a heck of a lot of people by the way they treat their local mail carrier. But even nice guys like him have troubles. I hear he spends all his time fretting about his daughter. That reminds me, I just saw a pair of unusual characters head up toward Mr. Anderson's house. The two said they were police from London, but something about them seemed downright fishy. Two people, huh? Are you referring to Inspector Chelmy and his assistant? Chelmy, you say? That sounds right. He said he had official police business, said he needed to see Mr. Anderson. What possible connection could there be between Mr. Anderson and the Elysian books? Seems that Mr. Anderson serves as head of this community. It's only natural that he'd know about who and what passes through this area. He's a big fish, all right. You're right on the money about that. Heck, even the owner of the Molentary Express pays, stops in to pay him a visit when he's in town. Yes, I bet those two officers are being waited on like kings at Mr. Anderson's as we speak. But enough chit-chat. We've got a festival going on now, so go have some fun. Fun, you say? Fun going to Mr. Anderson's mansion in the woods? I believe I will. Me? I'm a world traveler, but I'm stuck here until I can score a ticket on the Monterey Express. I was hoping for a freebie, so I told Beluga one of my puzzles to break the ice. Unfortunately for me, he got all hot under the collar when he couldn't solve it. Maybe you'll have better luck with it. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? I'm able to solve any p oh fuck. Um It's a sliding block puzzle. What rotten luck while trying to pick up your luggage, you find that your bag is at the very back of the pile. The baggage porter unloading the luggage claims the boxes in the hold have prevented him from unloading your bag. Use your wits to move all the boxes out of the way and reclaim your luggage. Which one's mine? Which which it's in the back, but which one is mine? Um, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, get the later I'll get. Gam, this isn't even the first sliding block puzzle I've had today. Oh, man. Mm hmm. Wait, I can do that. Yep, that helps. That helps a lot. Um,. Do that, and then uh, some, some, a little, some of that, and then maybe a little bit of that. Try one of these on for size. Uh, sh what if? What if? What if? Mm hmm. Just so. Just so. Great. Uh, <laughs> um, a little bit of backtracking, maybe. Um, well, li I'm listen. It's it's all I have is it's all I have left. Are you goddamn kidding me? How do I get it out of here? Is this something? No, this is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. Wait. This should do the trick. That wasn't that bad. Huh. Wonderful. Oh. Be sure to show the baggage porter how you how you did it so next time he can get your luggage for you. He's a pooch. Why is it always weak folk? Uh, we get we get who is this puzzle god? Give me some pog bones. You're a pretty clever bunch, aren't you? With folks like you around, we might actually solve the mystery of the Voluntary Express. People say the train occasionally makes a stop at a phantom town found on no map. Could just be a wild rumor, though. Who knows? An unplotted town? Wow, I wonder if that's true. Thank you, chat. I feel very pog bones today. Um, I have, a, a, a like, a wood etching next to my mirror that says, um... Live, laugh, pog bones. I see it every day. In the mirror, when I when I get up to remember what I have to do every day. <laughs> every day. Uh, do you think that there are chickens in that barn? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, how I wonder. Oh, every day, Gordon. A ride the Monterey Express costs more money than I can scrape together. See, I'm a rambling man. If only I could try afford to ramble by a luxury train. Mm-hmm. Beep, 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 beep. The mansion seemed big from far away, but it's massive up close. Oh, blimey. Let's go. Wowee, look at the size of that mansion. I bet you could get lost in there. It is impressive, to say the least. I'm sure that massive manor belongs to Mr. Anderson. So that's where Inspector Chummy and his assistant went, right? I'd like to see this place myself. Can we go take a look? No! For now, I think our best course of action is to gather what information we can in the village. Besides, I imagine the Andersons have their hands full with the two guests they currently have. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. This is West Floor here. We bumped into her on the train. Ugh. Ugh. Phew! That should do it. Good afternoon. What are you doing there, sir? Me? Oh, I'm just doing a little fishing in this here lake. Sounds like a lot of work. Have you had much luck? Actually, that's a good question. Now I think about it, how many have I managed to catch today? Oh, I might be a bit of a puzzle. You've cast a large net out in a pond to catch some fish. Every part of the net is in the water except for the two ends, which you're holding in your hands as shown below. The pond surface is small, but it's actually wider underwater, so parts of your sunken net aren't visible from the surface. Assume that there are no tears in the net, and that its rim is constructed of a single length of rope that ends on the shore. How many of the fish visible in the pond will you snare when you pull the net back up? Um... Um, okay. So it's, um... On the inside, it, so it's that one, and, and that one, and that one. And this one, and that one, and that one, um, and that one. It's three. Oh, you want a cliff? Yeah. It's seven. Three. Just leave it to me. And then... Maiden's apprentice strikes again. And then, look. That's right. You can imagine the unseen parts of the net connect, which should look something like the illu illustration. The net will catch a total of th th seven, three, seven fish. Woohoo, what a haul. Tonight I feast like a king. Well done, Gabe. I'm proud of you. Uh, that's a cute little piece of waterside construction. Isn't it, though? Isn't it just delightful? Uh, yep. Yep. The view from that mansion must be out of this world. Yeah, anything else? Probably. There are hint coins everywhere, man. You gotta be pretty accurate, too. Yeah, there you go. Back to town, then? Oh, hi. You there! You seem more important than the detective. Hello, and thanks for the hydrate. <laughs> he's dreaming that he's a cat. That's why I eat meow. Ugh. Professor, I think this fellow here fell asleep standing up. Judging by his uniform, he must be a security guard. I wonder how his employer feels about his nap. 
Perimeter is secure. Please confirm identity by solving this puzzle. Snork! He snorked. Tangled ropes? Three rope loops are tangled together with a single red rope. If you were to pull both ends of the red rope, a single knot would form in the middle. Can you figure out how many of the rope loops would get caught in this knot when it forms? Remember, even if the loop appears to have been pulled into a knot, you shouldn't count it in your answer if you can pull the loop free of the red rope with the tug. Ah, God. Um, see, if you pull, if you pull it like that, like that, then, uh, those will loop through, and then, yeah, okay. So then, hmm. So then, hmm. Hmm. So how many of the loops? It's not just like, oh, yellow would get grabbed. It's like, how many times? Uh, this one ain't bad, is it? I think it'd be this one, right? And then... Hmm. Calm down, chat. Uh, pull those. Wouldn't those get grabbed too? It feels like this one would just kind of f float out. But then what about these guys? What about these these guys? Is... Tell me it's three. Could it be three? What if it was three? I don't think the blue one gets caught in at all. Um, fuck, I'm gonna throw a three. I made an oil face, that's never happened. It's two? Hmm, think about the direction number crosses the red rope. I hope it's three, though. You tell me it's two, but it might be three. Three, two, one, two. It turned that into a two, so let's try two. Consider this puzzle solved. No, it's not two. I should have oh, trusted my gut and gone with three. This one is quite formidable. Told you three. I know, I know. I should have listened. Three, oh, three. And now, to test my theory. What? Oh, Since when has three my, ever been this wrong? This one is quite Sir? formidable. Point zero 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 three. Hmm. Three on three. What if it was, uh, four? What about four? You I don't have the right- Oh, you don't theory. have the right. By the way, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have uh, the right. Well, I suppose you can't win uh, more. Hmm. If you tug the rope out, no, it doesn't count. Right. But what if it? Hmm. 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 You can pull it out, it doesn't count. Well, the, the the big blue one just goes around the outside. Around the outside. The yellow one. The left part is not inside of it, but I think the right part is. No, maybe the yellow one isn't. But it might be caught in because of the teal one. So, I don't know. Uh, uh. Only the left part is in. Yeah, the left part is in. That would be one. Mm. Zero, it, it's one or zero, maybe. It's only three loops. Right, but it's how many times it gets stuck in there. I think it might be one. I know everyone in chat saying zero, but I'm gonna this try for one. This should do the trick. Cool. Uh, well, is it, I suppose is it actually you can't zero? win them all. Told you it's three. I thought it was three. Let me try three. Hold on. All right. Three. Th three. Th three. Three. It doesn't know what number this is. Clearly that's a three. 
What about this one? <laughs> okay, that's... Well, I can do a better gongo than that. Oh. Damn it. What if I put in a question mark? It turns a question mark into a one? <laughs> How does that work? Huh? <laughs> Zero. Final answer. This should do the trick. Don't talk to me until I solve my puzzle. I want that on a coffee a mug. Gentleman leaves no I want a coffee unsolved. mug with a top hat that says, Don't talk to me until I solved 30 pick rats worth of puzzles. Good thinking. Not a single loop will become truly entangled in the rope that forms, in the knot that forms. When you pull the red rope and form a knot, one loop will fall away, the other two will hang from the red rope free of the knot. But you can't you can't pull them loose from tugging though. You'd have to run them over the whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, man. Whatever, man. Correct answer confirmed. The rope fucking breaks and all the loops are free. We didn't mention that the rope was made of uh, very brittle plastic. See, tiny or not, it just shatters. Well done, sir. He must be some kind of mad puzzle genius to be able to talk about them in his sleep. Yum yum. You like the Sanic? I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. I gotta find a a day to go drag bath to a theater <laughs> to watch Sonic. It's Inspector Shelby. Oh, I I plan to see it. Oh look who it is! Hello, Inspector. Are you returning from the Anderson Estate? I don't know where you get your information, Layton, but you're as sly as a fox. As a matter of fact, I was just there, but the servant said Mr. Ander Anderson himself wasn't home. They said the bloke is off presiding over some livestock competition. A likely story, I'm sure. Yeah, no spoilers. I'm curious, what connection do you see between Mr. Anderson and the case you're investigating? Not that it's any of your business, but perhaps you can be of help. I've heard rumors the bloke had tried to find this Elysian box in the past, so I went to talk to him. Uh, what, what you got, Dialogue? What, 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 what's troubling you? Didn't enjoy it as much as the first one. Morbius and Sanic are at the same time in theaters. Yeah. Clips from Ghost Stream may be really interesting. The game start watching the playthrough. The problem is two of the clips and the highlights video where this is major plot twist. Might be a good idea to add those clips out of the video. Um, that's a fair point. Uh, in the past we have done some spoiler tags in highlights. It's usually just up to like Gam and I just kind of shrugging at each other. Uh, we can be better about that in the future. Um, about throwing in a spoiler warning. And I can uh, update the, uh, the description and stuff to mention that. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I figured that some of the clips that do have spoilers only really work as spoilers if you have the context. Um, but it's still a fair, fair comment. It's like seeing the end of a movie. It's like technically it's spoilers, but you might be like, I don't understand what I'm looking at, so it's fine. But I, point taken. Not trying to be defensive about it. It's also baffling with context. Yeah, sure. Uh, when I got to the house, though, his butler told me he wasn't home and that I should leave. Uh, there's boys jump aside code. People just shut up the won't finish it. That's a fair point, Alex, but I would still would rather put in a timestamp if I think it's warranted in the video. In this case, I didn't think it was warranted, but again, I appreciate the feedback. You remember the clip and know what will happen. It's possible. Yeah, it's fair. Um, you saw Cam then. I mean, yeah. That's just me. Gotcha. Though. I, well, I'm sorry that happened, and I and I do appreciate the feedback. But thank you. Uh, can you believe it? I'd bet you a tenner he was just pretending to be out. I went out of my way to see the man. The least he could do is offer me a proper cup of coffee. Yeah. Also, a game typically does avoid spoilers. It is also difficult for a game like that, because uh. Any clips past like the first 20 minutes, <laughs> but uh, whatever. I'm not trying to justify it. I, I I hear what you're saying and I I, I don't disagree. But thank you. Uh, why would Mr. Anderson be interested in the Elysium box in the first place? It's anyone's guess, Luke. We won't know more until we can ask him in person. I guess we better head over to the livestock competition that Mr. Anderson is judging. Fine, let the blasted bloke judge his precious livestock competition. Then I won't be there. As far as I'm concerned, the whole thing's a frivolous distraction for the rich. Speaking of which, 
I can only assume his obsession with the box stems from the excess of time and money on his hands. If you see anything that might help this investigation, report it to me straight away, you hear? We're always happy to cooperate, Inspector. Now please excuse us. Off you go. Come along, Barton. We've work to do. Okie dokie, sir. All right, we better hurry back to the competition grounds. They return to the site. Oh, right, Flora's here too. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like every now and then she's like, I want to look at the things. They're like, all right, let's do it. But then like major conversations. She's just politely standing off to the side with nothing to add. All right. <sighs> Captain Sword asks, we then only done a super recent stuff. The game's like 12 years old. I don't know not. I think, yeah, no, it's fine. Where you draw the line? Mm hmm. No, and I mean, and I'm, I, I have frequently gone on. There was a hint coin there. Um, I've frequently gone on the, the tangents talking about spoilers and such, so. Certainly the last thing I want to do is, is, uh, uh, spoil someone, so. I'll throw in some timestamps. Uh, boy, oh boy! Darth Vader is here. I'm in a tight spot. I wanted to make a clean cut in this board, but I botched it kind of bad. It is case by case. Uh, can you think of a way to turn the pieces into a solid square? Board splitter one. Oh no, these puzzles! Here we have an oddly shaped board. Since this board is rather unwieldy as it is, you've decided to cut into two pieces and rejoin the pieces to form a square. Assuming you aren't allowed to flip either of the pieces over once the board is cut, where should you make the cut in order to achieve the above? These ones are always like, like these are like quintessential Layton, where once you have the answer, you're like, duh, obviously, but it might take you ages of just like, well, it could be like this, but it also, it could, it could be like that one. Well, maybe not that there, but maybe like, like, like over like this way, you need like a shape like that. It's just like, oh, it's so fiddly. Just cut a hole. Just cut it in half. This one isn't bad. Well, it is the first one. Um, it needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's to be a 4 by 4, meaning uh, you just gotta chop. There you go. Yeah, it's not bad. I hear I go this complaining. It's trick. it's because I remember like the level five version of that where it's like, and oh my fuck, you gotta it. like like fit this shape into like that other hole that you create, and it's like, nah. yeah. He's 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 fine. Was it three? The answer was three. That did the trick. Thanks. And go back to building that shed. Build that shed. I got a part. I got a part. And throw it in there. What you got? Uh, camera. Uh, oh. Is this... Wait, isn't this the one I already got? Is this the new part? I don't, I don't know what anything is. I don't know what any of this is. Um. Uh. Yeah. Nah, huh? That kind of fits. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe- oh, that- oh, that looks pretty good right there! That seems like that probably goes there, um... 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 Yeah, I'll just leave- for, it's fine. Uh... Help! 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 Help me, Professor! I'm parched! I'm parched, Professor! Oasis leaf and a double dose of brisk berry. You got it. Coming right up. Double dose of this. Maybe a couple more. Just trying to cram it into the top. It's overflowing. That tea was no good. There's smoke coming off of this tea! We may have unwittingly invented a drink that should never have been. I'm no coward, but I'm not brave enough to drink any of that stuff. Our course of action is clear. Let's seal this recipe away and never make it again. Let me do it again. Um, was it two of those? Or was it was it two of these? Oh, it's two of these. Right? I forget what he said. You want? You want? Whatever. He's thirsty, right? He doesn't care. Daily 
delicious. I just love how sweet this tea is, Professor. There's something that just brings me joy to see uh, uh, Luke's portrait with the word help flashing beneath it while he looks happy. There's something about that that just warms my tired heart so much. I just love how sweet the tea is, Professor. It's a bit too sweet for me, but I understand why so many children enjoy it. Help! I think I could drink just a whole pot of this stuff myself. Just watch me! Luke, no! You got quite the sweet tooth, Luke. Let just try not to drink it too fast. He still he needs more. He needs a second pot all to himself. There you go. There you go. Luke drinks the steaming cup, enjoying each warm sip. This tea show sure hits the spot. It's sweet, and it's got me ready to start walking again. That's good tea. He's restored in high spirits. There is a hint coin at the bottom of the cup. Luke's winking with both of it. He's just blinking. Luke, do you know how to wink? Yeah, you just wink. Good work, Luke. I'm so proud. Uh, let's go. We have to look at some cows. Hell yeah. My goodness, look at this place. Well, we made it back in time to catch the competition. Hey, hope you enjoyed it, Pikachu girl. Welcome back. Uh, if we've been informed correctly, Mr. Anderson is judging the entries. So he should be around here somewhere, right? Indeed, I wonder which of the gentlemen walking around here is our man. Uh-oh, looks like the two men over there are getting pretty hot under the collar about something. Here looks like a Chinese buffet chocolate ice cream. I see that. I wonder what the matter is. What happened? What happened? Just look at that mangy coat. Anyone with two eyes can see that's no bovine of mine. His name's Clabber. I know what's gone down here. Someone swapped out my cow for this lemon. But what do you want me to do about it? Can you at least point out which cow is yours? Now how do you expect me to do that? Oh, brother, this is gonna get ugly. What well, seems to be the problem, sirs? This fella here seems convinced someone swapped out his prized cow for another. I'm telling you, there ain't no cow of mine. My girl is perfect from horns to tail. He's gonna cut over and there's just a single lemon sitting on the grass. With a blue ribbon. It's a lemon. See what I mean? There's just no reasoning with him. We can't start the contest with him carrying on, but I don't know how we can clear up the situation. I'll take care of this. I bet the cows would know if any monkey business went on. Or any monkey business. Of course, why did I think of this myself? I'll leave this one to you, Luke. I'm gonna go get a corn dog. Excuse me, miss. Can you help us out here? Mmm. I see. Mmm. Did you find anything of use? No. If I had to sum up our conversation, it'd go something like this. Misinformation. Five cows are grazing at the festival. Two of them are true moo cows, a breed that only tells the truth. But they only moo, so it doesn't really matter. The other three are now hey cows, a different variety that always lies. Using the following statements from each cow, mark all the now hay cows. Tap a letter to mark a cow below it. Mark the cow below it. D is a now hay, I promise. Oh no, C isn't a true moo. A ain't a now hay cow, no way. E's a now hay if I've ever seen one. B's definitely not a true moo. Hey mouse, how you doing? Is this, yeah, big milk is getting in here. No way. Chai, you true moo or no way? I'm not not a no way. Uh, so D is a no way, I promise. Let's say that A is a true moo. They got a T. And then they're saying that D is a now hey, I promise. So then, boom. Uh, C isn't a true moo, says B. So that means that they are a liar, tentatively. Say that this one's... They're not a true moo. So wait, 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 that's, that's that. Eh, shit. That, and then this. And then, uh, let's say that B's telling the truth. Well, we believe cows, right? We trust cows. Um, so that's on the truth. And then C's a liar. C says, A ain't a no, now hey cow, no way. 
meaning that A is a now hey, meaning that they're lying. If that they're telling the truth, there's a poll. Are you a true moor or no way? Hey now, hey now. Right, so if, if A is uh, telling the truth, then C is lying. Saying he's not, he's a liar. But if he was a liar, then A would be saying that C tells the truth about A being a liar. Wait, but no, C's saying that they're, yeah, that they're telling the truth. Uh, I'm already, the dream is over. Uh, I'm already confused. I, I got myself confused. Let's go opposite. Uh, B's definitely not a true move. So he's telling the truth. Yeah. So, B's definitely not a true moo. B is a filthy lying cow. And B's saying C isn't a true moo, which means they are a true moo. They tell the true moo. And then C's saying A ain't a now hey cow. So A's telling the truth. And then A is saying that D is a now hey. And D's saying E's a now hey if ever I've seen one, but they're telling the truth. So that checks out. They're clearly not cows, they're just people. 53% uh, of, of chat are true moves, and 47% are no ways. I'm gonna go with this. Just leave it to me. Three are true moves. Three. Well, I'm stumped. There's only two trues? Did they tell me that and then I forgot? Is that what happened? Because I would definitely believe that. You screwed up! Two of them are true moo cows. Sweet. Nice. I messed it up. Uh, I did for gore. A to not D, B to not C, C to A, D to not E, E to not B. Mm-hmm. F for gore. Uh, hey now. Okay, so then what did I mess up in that? Because that seemed to check out, but clearly it was wrong. Um, three. So I had these two marked as, as liars, but I need another liar? Who else is lying? Hmm. Those were good symbols. They were fancy. Uh, D is not now how I promise. So... that You're telling the truth. As far as I could tell. Oh no, C isn't a true moo. Which means that C is a true moo? So you're true. A ain't a now hey. Yeah. E's a now hey if I've ever seen one. But you're lying. And then E's saying B's definitely not a true moo. Which is true. So what am I getting wrong with this? Do I just want to do the opposite? What? I, I don't know if it works like that. Um... Let's, let's, let's try it. Uh, get a true move. They're contaminated. They're gonna contaminate. So if it's the opposite, uh, A is saying D's are now, hey, I promise. Um, but you're lying, and you're saying that D is true, which is true. B, C isn't a true move, which is true. C says A ain't a now, hey, count, no way, but they're lying? And they are a now, hey. D's saying E's a now hey if I've ever seen one. And they are. And B's definitely not a true moo. And they're not. They are a true moo. Hey, it does work. It's smart. It's some kind of smart. Hmm. I learned so much Let's about this the, the, the dairy products. The answer is switch to goat milk. The answer is switch to nut milk. Nut milk. From the tit of the nut, straight to your mouth. Cows A, C, and E are now hays. You assume each cow to be a now hey or a true moo and run through each of the sta statements. You'll eventually realize all statements are true, but A, C, and E are assumed to be now hey's. The answer was, of course, three. It looks like these two ladies swap places while waiting for the competition to start. No way. Oat milk is pretty good. Things should all be sorted out now, though. No way. You betcha. Look at that build, that lustrous coat, that soulful gaze. That's my cow, no doubt. Everything's okay by you? Better than okay, kid. With my darling back, I'm a shoo for that blue ribbon. Thanks. This man also has a little bit of a Titanic inside of his head. 
Well, Luke, you sure have a way with animals. Oh, Flora, I forgot you were there. That's nothing, really. Yeah, they could they could brand nut milk and oat milk as milkant. They could do that. Look over here, you two. They're about to announce the winner. Uh... That one. Oscar show-stopping milk maven, Moo Tilda. Hold on now, you mean to tell me my sweet Maramoo didn't take first place? Too bad you swapped your cow back, Clabber. If you kept quiet, you'd be the winner, eh? I was robbed. The competition must have been rigged. Rigged, I tell you. To think he went through all that trouble to get his cow back, then ended up losing because of it. I suppose it goes to show that things in life don't always go as planned. And being right isn't as important as winning. Right you are, Professor. Say, shouldn't Mr. Anderson be around here now? It's going to take some effort to find him in a crowd this dense. Let's look around a bit. But there's only a few people. Oh, oh you're being mean to them, Professor. You picked on my boy. I'm so proud. Oh, no, puzzle. You ever hear the old saying, the clothes make the man? Well, from the look of your duds, I'd say you got your act together. Try this puzzle on for size. Size, like clothes. Get it? Like clothing. Men, A, B, and C, each start off with pants and shirts of a single color. A wore red, B wore blue, C wore white. Then they were blindfolded and swapped items of clothing. After they took off their blindfolds, here's what they said. A, no one's shirts and pants match. B, looks like C's only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. C, I don't know if I like these red pants. Change their clothing by tapping on them and assemble their current outfits using the clues given. C's got red pants. Uh, and then what? Um, no one's shirts and pants match. C's only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. So then, boop. They don't match. A also says they don't match. So then, uh, only one of us didn't get to keep any of his. So, okay, so they both have a thing. So he's got the blue. He's got the red. Um, maybe like that. No one's shirts and pants match. It looks like C's only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. I don't think it's red pants. Let me answer right now. Consider this three. puzzle solved. Is the answer three? The answer was three. Who changed ah, these old men while they were wonderful. blindfolded and why? I think they did it by themselves in the middle of a park and then were just giggling about it. And the less we ask them about the whys, the better. Puzzle solved. Indeed, it was a three. In three, there's nothing tackier than when your shirt and pants don't match. That's fashion rule number one. Rule number two, no one can pull off sequence. With that sweet suit of yours, you're golden. No swanky nightclub will turn you away, I guarantee it. You have swanky nightclubs in your little English countryside village? That sounds awesome. That bench is full of bench, Professor. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, we did it. The day is saved. Why didn't he be blindfolded? For the fun. I guess we never did manage to meet Mr. Anderson, did we? What a pity. I had a feeling he'd provide us with a lead on the Elysian box. Hey there, fellows. We never met before, have we? I heard you chat about Mr. Anderson. I thought to myself, hey, I can help. Here, I'll point him out. He's that one. But you gotta solve a puzzle first. Solve a puzzle at breaking kneecaps. That's the, that's the game. I just saw Mr. Anderson around here a minute ago. He shouldn't be too hard to spot with that beard and hat. Yup, he's a real gentleman. He always looks spiffy with his cane and little dapper bow tie. And he doesn't wear glasses in case you were wondering. There he is now. Hi, hey, Dan. How you doing, Dan? Use the clues in the above statement and find him in the crowd. So he's got a beard and a hat. And uh, a little bow tie and no glasses. Um. Um. Yeah, um, a bunch of them are facing away from us. In fact, most of the ones wearing hats we don't know. Well, I guess he has a cane too. So, is he is he one of these lads? Um, yeah, that one. Oh, is that one? The chat's pointing. Hmm, maybe that one. Hmm, that one. Uh, the beard and hat. 
Little bow tie. Doesn't wear glasses. How do I know it's not the one sitting on the bench versus the guy who has his hat blowing away? Chat might be right. Might be that one. This guy over there. Beards aren't mustaches, right? Yeah, but I guess he can't see. Is, is, let's just say it's this one. And, uh, I'm just and not going to worry about it. Test my theory. Cool. Sweet. Oh, awesome. My. This one is quite formidable. So it was the other one? No bow tie. He didn't have bow tie? Maybe he was just bent over it. You don't know? I have one in there. We'll buy this lad. And now to test my theory. Bruh. And there we have it. Sweet. It looks like the wind tried to carry off his hat. Oh, bother. He's hiding in the bush. Oh, my guy's playing Fortnite. Good day, sir. Might you be Mr. Anderson? His eyes. Oh, his eyes. They're very good. They're very good. The one and only, my friend. And whom do I have the pleasure to be speaking with? Read the directions one more time when you feel. Yeah. Try again, but better. He is staring. The name's Herschel Layton. My friends and I have come to this fine town in search of the Elysian Box. Thank you, Tombstone. See? I thought a man of influence such as yourself might be able to offer us some direction. The Elysian Box, you say? Why would you want to go chasing after a thing like that? So you're familiar with it, then? Familiar? No, but I do believe my dear mother once searched after the very box you speak of. Interesting. Please elaborate. That, that again, Gam, but if the eyes were, like, way smaller. Oh, well, my birth mother died when I was very young. The mother I speak of is actually my mother-in-law, Sophia. She founded this village way back when, a kinder soul I never met. Sharp, too. Yeah, I can, I can make, I can make that, that, that art bigger. There you go. I married into her family, but she treated me like her own flesh and blood. Seeing how I never knew my own mother, I suppose it would be fair to call Sophia my real mother. Oh, Ed's got it. That's pretty good. <laughs> the egg for the nose. Even after my wife passed on, Sophia continued to treat me as one of her own. Mother Sophia looked high and low for that box, but she never did find what she was looking for. So she made efforts of her own to search for it. Fascinating. Tell me, where might Sophia be now? She left us last year. In her last days, she spent a lot of time holed up in her room writing. Sadly, I never found out why she was so intent on getting her hands on that box. I see. I'm sorry uh, for your loss. Thank you. Well, my mother may have had knowledge of the subject, but she's gone now. Now you know as much as I do, I regret that I could not be more help to you, sir. Not at all, Mr. Anderson. I've learned a great deal from our conversation. You have my thanks. No one more thing before you go, Mr. Layton. Take a look around you. Look around you. Look around you. These picturesque... I mean, it's not gonna look great, but... Actually, no, it lines up perfect! Well, would you look at that? That's satisfying. These picturesque hills. These happy people. Dropstone has been blessed with so much. Sophia turned this place from nothing into a village full of warmth and camaraderie. Dropstone mustn't ever be allowed to wither and fade like so many other villages. Hey, big cave. No spoilers, okay? It's Lavender Fest. Until one day. After all, too many sacrifices were made to make this place what it is. Ah, oh, forgive my ramblings. Once I start talking, sometimes I have trouble stopping. Enjoy your time in Dropstone and be well. Good day. Yeah, that'd be fun, dear. Down. I guess that's another dead end lead. Yeah, we can. Uh, oh, pal. I wouldn't say that, Luke. It appears. You, you can be wide again, chat. And stretch out. It appears this village is inextricably linked with the Elysian box. It's not robot skin, is it? I'm not gonna confirm nor deny if everyone, including Layton, is a robot in this one. I also find Mr. Anderson's choice of words interesting. What do you suppose he meant by sacrifices? There you go, Gam. Is that the symbol for degrees? <laughs> yeah, stretch out. It, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 you got extra leg room on the plane. It looks like our mystery only leads to more mysteries. Mysteries upon mysteries. 
They decided to head back to the train station. What are you doing here, child? Oh, no, I don't like that. Mr. Anderson's a real upstanding fellow. He made this village a place I'm glad to call home. Yeah, hum. Yeah, I'm pretty much the slickest dresser in all Dropstone. See this hat? No one else can pull off a look this edgy. Edge, comma, lord. Mmm, you're back. Main mysteries. James and the boy-sized peach. James and the peach-sized boy. James and the boy. James. Oh dear, oh dear, the train's scheduled to depart any minute now, and she's still not here. J and it's not that small peach. James and the... I didn't realize this peach was that big. It's pretty big. Everyone's efforts will be for naught if she misses her ride out. Oh my, oh my. Maybe women just need more time to get ready for things like this. Oh, why must she make me worry? Who are you waiting for? It's none of your business. We haven't even told the master about what we're doing. Luke, perhaps we should leave him be. Sometimes it's best not to barge into the affairs of others. If he doesn't want us to comment, then maybe he shouldn't be thinking out loud. Yeah, tell him, Luke. Tell him. James and the I swear this doesn't happen, Peach. Peach and the giant James. Peach and the nectarine that's big enough to make you think it's a peach, but it's actually not. James and the suggestive emoji. James and the spider who I had a crush on. That's the real answer. For some reason, all the old-timers here are really cagey about the origins of Dropstone. I got a hunch that something strange must have happened here before the village was founded. Mmm, mysteries. Mysteries. Oh, I forgot you were here. Flora, the place is positively crawling with people, isn't it? Ah, you mustn't scare me like that, Flora. Didn't know you were walking behind me. Careful, Flora. If you don't watch where you're going, you're likely to run into someone. Oh, sorry. This is also new to me that I forgot to pay attention to where I was walking. Understandable. After all, it's quite a change of pace from London. James, whose peach is in another castle. Flora, you sure are excited. Just don't stand around gawking for too long. We might accidentally leave you behind. Wink, wink. Why are you, li why are you winking at me, Luke? Wink. Be a shame if we left you behind, wouldn't it? Wow, what's that? Ooh, and look, there's another one over there. Huh? Professor? Luke? Where'd you two go? Eek. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, no. Professor, floor is gone. Oh, dear. We must have gotten separated in the crowd back there. Let's retrace our steps. James and the anti-homeless bus stop bench. There can be only one. Oh. She got Kyrie. Well, she had a bit of a personality, and that was getting to be too much for the writers. It's going to be awfully hard to find her with all these people about. Now, where could that girl have gone off to? Whew. Flora, where'd you run off to? Sorry, there are so many people that I must have lost you. She's actually fine, though. I turned to look at something, and before I knew it, you two were gone. Well, I'm relieved you found your way back to us. With so many people around, who knows when we might have found you again. I'll be more careful from now on. I promise. Hey, you know, I caught wind of something very interesting when I was wandering around back there. What did you hear? That a man named Romy was asking around after the Elysian box. If we can track him down, maybe he can tell us something we don't know. I heard from one person that he's been wandering around near the station. That's interesting news. Let's head into the station and see if we can find Romy. Way to go, Flora! That's some top knop intelligence you gathered out there! Hee <laughs> hee, oh, it was nothing. She did a thing! She got kidnapped and forgot about kidnapped and she did a thing. Well, alright, let's go to the train station. Bum! Bum, 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 This whole festival is being put on by the Andersons, the wealthiest family in the village. As you're new here, let me dish for a moment. Have you seen their place at the north end of town? It just turns your eyes green with envy, hmm? Miss Anderson has a young daughter who's grown up to become quite a beautiful young lady. Yes, her name is Katia, Katia. And she's the unusual combination of beautiful and sweet. Plus, I think she's very respectful towards her father, unlike most youngsters. You? Oh, me? Yes, you. 
I didn't do nothing. Exactly. Be better. Oh, kids these days. The only thing they love more than sassing their parents are their over those oversized pants. Oh, the youths in their big pants. Oh, sorry, I do believe I've gone on a rant. Do you need something from me? Uh, no, we were just walking by. Uh, have you ever heard of the Elysian Box? Hmm. <laughs> it's a new name to me. I can't help you at all, so will you leave me alone now? Oh, but you know, you did just remind me of a gem of a puzzle. I know that concerns a box. Swimming in paint. The tiled box. The two boxes shown below are actually the same box from two different angles. Using the visible faces, re reassemble the pattern of the box by placing the tiles in the unfolded view of the box. Don't forget, each tile needs to go in the correct square face in the correct direction. Oh no. Um. What if it was, um, uh, like, uh, like that, and then you spin it? I think? Does it need to spin? Does it need to spin? You need to, or is it, is it good like, but uh, 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 is it good like that? Because it's gonna turn, I think it needs to be like that. Um, and then that's pointing at a little guy. Uh, evil cubes? That little guy's doing a thing like that. Um... And then the heart is on the other side, but it's also which way? Uh, uh, what's in the box? Which way does the heart go? Uh, it's gonna have its back to the thing, and it's upright. When it flip, I think it needs to turn like that. Mm, upside down, because it's gonna turn like that, and then turn that that way. Think about the edges. Oh yeah, the edges make that with the with the the spade in the middle. You're right. I was trying to connect it to the triangle, and I was like, but that's a lot of folds, and my brain's getting it's getting hot. It's getting spicy in my brain. Um, and then this guy goes here. I think like that. I think. Cause that would fold down like that, and then go like that. Like done. Cause that would be like this. I mean, that would just be there. That's fine. Wouldn't it? Or is it, mm, is it like this? As many folds as my, my brain. Where's the clover pointing? Uh, side? Up? Side? It's facing the same way as the little guy's standing. Clover and man? Clover and man? Yeah, like a uh, what? Like a what? So it was like this. That would be upside down, right? So isn't it like this? Circles opposite triangle. So is oh, so it's these. But then, what the? It's gonna be like that, and I'll play that. It's gonna do to do. It's gonna root to do. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna boopy do. I can't figure out this clover. It's making my 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 single brain cell very very fast and overheated. Um. Can't really see things in my brain. Circle is face down in top view. But isn't it isn't it where we put it? Clover, but faces circle. Clover faces- the clover is facing the circle, right? Then you got it as is. 180 of the clover. Does it need to spin? Clover butt? It needs to be like this? It's- it's- it's like one of those ways. Hmm... Cause that would turn... Flip around like that. What if we fold that around like that? So then that I think that's it. I think that's it. Ooh. Consider this puzzle solved. Oh God! Our I did not have confidence. No puzzle unsolved. Certainly, to spin around in a circle. You got it, Dan. Thank you. Was it hard converting the 3D shape of the box into a flat 2D image in your head? No, the other way around. Converting the 2D flat shape into 3D is the tricky part. 
My brain is so huge. I had a ton of help. <laughs> I did the first couple, maybe. Hang me on the laundry line and call me a bath mat. I never thought you'd solve that one. You seem like a nice man, so I'll be straight with you. I wouldn't talk about that box in these parts. But why? Well, it's complicated. I've given you my advice, so smarten up and follow it. Professor and the professor stopped solving other people's puzzle problems because they were just rude to him. Oh, Mr. Layton, do you have a moment? Certainly. How may I be of assistance? It seems you've done a great deal of investigating today. Tell me, during the course of your inquiries, that you didn't hear anything about my daughter, did you? Your... Uh, you, you have a daughter? I... Yes, Katya. You see, she hardly ever comes home since her grandmother, Sophia, passed away. Sophia and my daughter were very close, and Sophia's death came as a great shock to Katya. If you should see her, would you t please tell her that her father wishes she'd come home? If a fine gentleman such as yourself delivers the message, she just might listen. Unfortunately, our train is leaving soon, so I may not be able to be much help at all. Bye! Katya's my, no, our only child. She means everything to me, and I'd be forever in your debt if you could help me. I wonder what this Katya lady's all about. Your guess is as good as mine. But judging by her family and breeding... B breeding? I would guess she's both beautiful and refined. Oh, thank you, Leighton. Professor, get a hold of yourself! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm with Luke on this one. To the train station. Nope. Okay, there's a hint coin behind the arrow. Uh-uh. Professor, hold on a moment. Moment. Could that man over there be Romy? You know what? It absolutely is. And I was just like, oh, I've talked to him already. I heard that you've been inquiring around the village about an antique known as the Elysian Box, although he wasn't here before. What? I'm dumb. Oh, yeah, that thing. Folks say that freaky box kills whoever manages to pry its lid open. I just found out about it during the course of my travels, but that box isn't what I'm really after. Well, if I may be so bold as to ask, what are you looking for, sir? A phantom town that's nowhere to be found on any map. A place only the Chosen may visit. The only way in, I hear, is on the Voluntary Express. That train and its many mysteries have been the subject of my research for years. From what I can tell, this artifact you're after, this Elysium box, is also tied to that town. Wow. So, when can we set out for it? How do we get there? Yeah, that's the detail I haven't pinned down yet. Maybe you whisper a word while inside the train and then whoosh, the track goes in a new direction. It's probably something like that. I'll just have to keep searching until I find a way in. Interesting. Thank you for your time. Professor, did you hear that? I think we finally got a new lead on the Elysian box. It's a bit early to celebrate, but it looks like our journey in the Voluntary Express isn't over yet. All right, you two, let's start making our way back to the station. Okay, Professor. To the station. Zoom. Zoom. Back on the train. Hey, bud. Yeah, you got at least 30 puzzles under your belt. Nice going, bro. But if you want a challenge worthy of a real rock star, give me a holler. Oh, do I? All right, slide this block around. No! How's that festival treating you, dudes? Pretty righteous, huh? This train isn't quite ready to move yet, so while we're waiting, I'll lay the sweet puzzle on you. Yeah, dude. Sammy's necklace. Hey, Angelic Guardian. This game has... Quite the story. Sammy has eight chains with seven links each. He wants to connect all these chains to make a totally awesome necklace. That's a single loop. The jeweler says he can open and close a single link for $2. As shown below, Sammy could open an end of each of the eight chains to make one long necklace that's a single loop. However, that would cost $16. And the truth is, there's a cheaper way to get the same results. Using the cheapest method possible, how much will it cost to make Sammy's necklace? Yeah, what? It's not two chains. Is eight chains. This man has his life so much together, he's got eight chains. I'm in shambles right now. Um, uh, so, uh, eight chains with seven links each. Why does the number of links matter? Uh, elite beat agents. Oh my god, yeah. Just steal the pliers and do it yourself. Yeah! Uh,. Uh, you can open it to close a single link for $2. So every opening and closing of a link costs $2. So if you're able to open up a single link and just mash a bunch in there, does that work? <laughs> Is there a way to make that connect? So it's a single loop with multiple in the same... Probably not, but... 
Hmm. Uh, some necklace. Yep. I mean, there's gotta be some kind of trick to it, right? Because in the obvious way... I like how they just set you up with the premise of, like, the obvious answer is not the solution. There's something else. Is it three? Doing three dollars? Final offer. Find a cheaper place to do it. Because if you had a chain... If you had a chain, and then you opened up this one, and we're like, what if, like, that loops in there? So you got this one, and then, like, another one sticking out. And then, like, one more. So why not? Now you got yourself, like, a fun spinning chain of death. Close that off. That's just fun. Hmm. Yeah, a single loop. Now it's a someday. They're great. They are on phones. A single loop. So if you had yourself a chain, and you opened up one end, and then you can grab another one, stuck it on there. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do before I close that up? Right? Right? Hmm. A chain fidget spinner. Yeah, it sounds painful. Uh, there's something here I'm not seeing. I'm gonna throw a hint at it. Yeah. The number of links in each small chain is a crucial clue. I was... I was like, there's gotta be a reason why they're specifying it's seven links in a chain. Number of links is crucial? So... Um... Uh, open all the links in one chain? Is that fewer than seven? It is. I mean, eight is the total. There's eight chains, but if you open it up... So, okay, wait, 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 wait. So if you take your seven chains and open up each one... So you got, like, all these, right? Then you attach each one... To a chain? That- that doesn't make anything that connects. That's two chains. That's like a weird... Like, curtain of chains. Uh... Opposite way around. Opposite way around? Every link on one chain, then separate them. So you have a bunch of loose... Oh, but then you use those seven, uh... So instead of having them stay connected, you separate all of them. So you have a bunch of loose bits like that. And then looking at the background, you then use those... Seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Oh, but you're destroying one of them in the process. So you got rid of that one. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that's, that's, yeah, that's more, that's less expensive, that's, that's cheaper. You're smart. Hey, you ever think, you ever tell, you ever tell you smart? You kill a chain. Don't tell that to two chains. That man's got two chains. He's got his life together. Um, how much would it cost? If it's two dollars per open and close, that's 14. Which is like three. If you, if you, if you, if you squint. It's like a three. This should do the trick. So with a bunch, a true oh, gentleman it's leaves like, no puzzle unsolved. It's probably technically, I don't know. It feels like way more work to do it that way. To save two dollars. So he's mething the necklace of his dreams for only fourteen. The necklace of his dreams. So yeah, four minus one is three. <laughs> there you go. Hey, dude. The Monterey Express is back in business, baby. Get ready to ride, folks. Hey, you guys better hurry back to your seats because the train is ready to rock. I missed a bunch of puzzles. Puzzle 31 is just called Pass the Apples. Great. It's fine. I'm not here to do every puzzle. I'm here to solve the mysteries. Huh? Layton stopped where he was walking, and Luke walked into him. That was very ungentlemanly of Luke. Thank you so much. <sighs> She's got protagonist hair. Hmm? <laughs> I love Layton so much. I love Layton What's going so on over much. there? This is goddamn face. Oh, 
he's in his mind palace. Come back later. What's going on over there? I believe oh. we may have stumbled upon Mr. Anderson's dear daughter. Yeah. That's one heck of a send-off. Considering the size of the party, I doubt she's just going on holiday. No. Oh. oh, chat. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, but you're right. He's breeding stare. Katya is the daughter of Dropstone's most influential man, Mr. Anderson, and has boarded the Voluntary Express. Several villagers seem to came to see her off, yet she travels alone. Where is Katya headed, and why is she making the journey there by herself? Safe. Yep. Mm, yep. Yep. Good. A diverging path. Dun dun. Make a cop alerts. Uh, dear gift to that sub to uh 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 uh, uh but it'll cost you. That was a little bit ago. Via Spires with a dollar redo. Ob Mons with 76 bits. Country Road. It's taking us home. She's hunting better, Luke. <laughs> no. Run, little man, run. White Hawk Workshop, 35 months. The answer to the next puzzle is 35, I think. I hope you're right. VJ Bots, 13 months. What was in the box, Professor? Don't worry about it. Mars on fire, 32 months. I ate too many airheads. Now my stomach hurts. Hope you feel better. Skull Winks, 30, 27 months. Guy on the right side got those Gucci slides. Hmm. Uh, that gets reached late in DS game. The first starts with looking nonplus. The next is a small smile. Third is a large smile. The fourth is a large smile and pointing. I think it's more and more into this as the series goes on. That's excellent. Tombstone Saint, 25 months in a tier two. I watched the April Fool's VOD today and holy crap, I couldn't stop laughing. Thank you for everything you do. I really needed a good laugh. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. It was a good time. Unpleasantness incarnate. Thanks for five months. Professor Lat Yon. And Sisam89 with 17 months. Thank you. And I thought I was done, but spoke too soon. And Mei Chan. Thanks for the prime sub. Hello. Enjoy a crayon scribbling of a key and all that. And the emotes. You can thunk and thonk and everything you want. I hated it. I needed a bad laugh. Ugh, I need a bad laugh. Can't stop thinking about the phantom town we keep hearing about. Could the rumors be true? If I recall correctly, the next stop on this line is the perfectly normal town of Luxembourg. They're advertised as being perfectly normal, so... It'll be fine. Well then, how do we get to the phantom town? That's an excellent question, Luke, though I don't have the answer. But if the Monetary Express does indeed head for parts unknown, the crew will know something about it. Talk to the train's crew. I promise there are none, maybe none, no fewer than 30 robots in that town. Um, okay. I think it's the start of a new chapter. I know I just saved, but whatever. It's the start of a new chapter. I think it's as good a place as any to call it for a stream for today. Uh, but we'll probably pick it up and back up tomorrow. We made it to chapter three, making good progress, maybe. I don't know how long the game is. I don't remember. They're all roughly the same length. Ish, maybe. Whatever. Um, I thank you all for joining. I hope you've been enjoying Professor Layton and the, the box, what kills people. And uh, if you haven't caught the Curious Village VODs, those are on the VOD channel. You can, indeed, give it a look. Um... Let's raid somebody! And the Lushu- Oh god, it's the Lushu box. Oh no. Um, how about... Let's raid Jeff. Space Hamster. Haven't raided him in a, hit, in a hot minute. He's playing some Kirby! So you know what I'm gonna ask for the raid message? This is Bar Presto, if you got it. Otherwise, uh, po uh Poyo is good too. Space battle. <laughs> no. It seems real chill. It's a chill, weird time. They're very weird. I like that it's just got the weirdest vibe to it. They're, they're, they're. It's a good time. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thanks. Oh, God, that Kirby's got a gun. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thanks for the stream. I, you got a gift sub while I was streaming. You weren't even there. Damn. No. Stinky communicates. Uh, I played all the latent games uh, back in the day myself, but I've only streamed Curious Village and now this chunk of this one. So, maybe more to come. Good stinky clip. A good stink master. But chat won't be able to be wide for the end of stream, the last few seconds. 
What's going on? What's going on with the sneaky man? Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Tombstone Saint. <laughs> this is a couple seconds before the raid. Bye, everyone. See you, maybe see you tomorrow. More, more puzzles. More math. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is now, now for the VOD watchers. Oh, that was it. Okay, one more time. One more time. Stinkmaster General must speak. He reaches his paw over, goes who, and then takes it back off the key. He wanted to say that. Anyway, uh, take care, VOD watchers. Thanks for VOD watching. Hope you've enjoyed part one of Diabolical Box, which came inside of a Diabolical Box. Uh, take care. Be well. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Professor?